Hey, Pete. I'm working on a college application, and it says I gotta tell them about myself. More like sell yourself. It's the worst. You got any advice? Well, take me. Hi, I'm Peter Parker. I'm 25 years old, I have a bachelor's degree in biophysics, and I'm in love with the greatest woman ever. <laughs> Humble brag. Who is the best journalist in this city. Word. Go, MJ. I try to live up to the example set by the other greatest woman ever, my Aunt May. Humble brag again. Damn. And a while back, I was bitten by a radioactive spider and got superpowers. I, I can't put that in my essay. Hey, I'm laying the track as I drive the train. <clears throat> I've used my powers to help the city and stop a lot of people who wanted to hurt it. Like my mentor, Dr. Otto Octavius. His lab got shut down by an old colleague, Norman Osborn. Otto retaliated by releasing a bioweapon. In the end, I managed to stop Otto. But not without great cost. That was pretty good. But I'm no Peter Parker. Exactly. You're Miles Morales. You're 17 years old and a student at Brooklyn Visions Academy. What else? I guess I... <clears throat> Help out with my mom's work in Harlem every now and then. Uh, she's Councilwoman Rio Morales. And there is a girl I like who's spectacular and inspiring. And I think is one of the best artists in the city. And I also got bitten by a radioactive spider that gave me superpowers. I learned how to be a Spider-Man from the OG. But I learned how to be a hero from my dad. He was killed by Martin Lee in the City Hall bombing. The good I try to do every day is the good my dad planted in me. But it's been hard. Even with superpowers, sometimes we can't save the people we love, no matter how hard we try. A hero is someone who doesn't give up, though. And I don't plan to. I don't know, man. I can't talk about me without talking about Spider-Man. Sure you can. You just have to... Uh... Yeah, why don't you just start another draft? Promise me something. Anything. If this doesn't work, take me out. It'll work. I don't have a lot of time left. I want a chance to say goodbye. I'm not going to lose you. I will never let you go. Have a bell for a reason? Take your seats. I'm here! Good morning, class. We have a new teacher joining us today. Hi. My name's Pete. My, my, my Mr. Mr. Parker, uh, and we are all very lucky today because this is physics class, and physics is awesome. <clears throat> Ever wonder 
how some insects and uh, birds, reptiles, can just run right across the pond? Two words. Surface tension. Bathroom! Okay. Now, surface tension is all about cohesion. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, in equation form, surface tension, gamma, can be calculated as the force exerted parallel to the surface of a liquid. F divided by the length, L, of the line over which the force acts. Can anybody... Uh, I... I, I need your help. <laughs> uh, Mr. Morales, is it? Uh, are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? I'm sure. <laughs> okay, class. Uh, read chapter four or five or whatever. Miles, I need this job. If the principal comes back and sees I'm gone, I'm gonna get fired. I know, but you gotta see this. Day. I'm so getting fired. Principal Evans already hates me for being late this morning. Bro, I told you to be on time. It's fine. We'll be back before we know it. Good, because I had my college application review with the school counselor. Oh, you finished your essay? Haven't started. Oh, well, let's get to the city and take care of Marco quick then. Sam J. Hey guys, you might want to get downtown fast. Swing it through Brooklyn. Jameson had you on the ground for the bugle? Still can't believe old Trip J is your new boss. <laughs> really loving the new regime. You'll whip him into shape in no time. So, what's up with Marco? It's been years since our last showdown. According to witnesses, he was running down Broadway yelling nonsense. They say he seemed angry and paranoid, delusional. He just exploded. Man. Hopefully we can calm him down. I've seen people lose control like this. Be careful. Good thing there too, Spider-Man now. Good luck. Thanks, MJ. Might need the new tech we've been cooking up too. No way. They're untested. Barely prototypes. But you brought them, right? No comment. before he hurts someone, or himself. He's lining up, bro. Maybe he's hungry. To toss the big guy a snack. What's the plan? Keep him busy. I got an idea. Oh, crap. Still angry after all these years, Marco? You should try yoga! <laughs> Must be more of a Pilates guy. That was your idea? Never said it was a good one! It was supposed to be a normal day! Use physics, have awkward conversations in the teacher's lounge! 
some gallons here. Got it. Thanks, Genki. <laughs> Should have stayed away, spiders. Don't think we got him right where we want him. I admit I may have spoken too soon. And he's definitely getting bigger. He's climbing. We're so close. The water tank. Spider-Man? I just wanted to live normal. Like everyone else. This isn't the way, Marco. For a guy like me, there is no other way. This is getting out of hand! What happened? I ended up outside. Just keep going up and I'll meet you at the roof. The water tanks are only shot. Miles. I just wanted a regular life. You can still have one! It's too late now. My essay. Get into any college they're wanted. Or Spider-Man would. Right. Brainstorm later, Mouse. Focus.
He's trying to eat me! Let's give him a drink instead! Did we do it? Toys. The suit's last software patch wasn't stable, but here goes nothing. <laughs> the web wings? They're flying, but we're not out of this yet. Marco's in Pier 4 Beach. What happens if he gets all that sand? Pinky just did. Gonna need you ASAP, Miles. Yeah, I see him already. Right. I'm right behind you. Just get myself into! You've gotta calm down, Marco! Innocent people are in danger! But them, but not me. They wouldn't listen to Marco, but they can't ignore Sandman. Sand everywhere. Marco, it's gonna be okay. I haven't been okay for a long time. If you need help, all you have to do is ask. You're the ones who are gonna need help. 
when they come for you. Fate you will not share. <laughs> I've been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. Seeing this? Hold on a sec, Miles. I got it. You're gonna be safe. Yeah, same here. Hey, Genki? I know, I know. The whole city's telecom network is down. What's happening to the requests that are coming in? They'll all get queued, but... Wait. Uh, I'm gonna try a workaround. Work fast. Right before the app went down, I saw a request for help at Liberty and Broadway. Headed there now. What a mess! Marco, what got into you? There they are. I've got you. Hold on. You okay? I am now. Thank you. Spider-Man, Chief needs your help. Spider-Man, got a minute? Got a call with the precinct up ahead and the line cut out. We gotta get through to set up triage. On it, Chief. That did it. Uh, Mr. Parker, I need your help to get the app back online. What do you need? Get to the roof of the building on Worth and Lafayette. What's the plan? It's gonna be hours before the telecom network's back up, so... We're gonna create our own network. That's a big job. How long have you been planning this? Well, dreaming about it since seventh grade, but planning? Uh, for the last two minutes or so. 
there should be a launcher around there. What is all this stuff? Environmental study by a new startup. The launcher is for high altitude weather sensors. And this startup gave us permission? Yes. I checked with the head guy. Super nice. Seemed excited about helping out Spider Man. Okay, tell me what to do. You still got that 3D printer built into your web shooters, right? I need you to build something real quick. Just sent you the blueprints. Got him. This looks like a drone. We don't spy on people, Genki. Oh, no, no, no. It's all opt-in. Just New Yorkers sending messages to the app, which gets routed through these drones. Which I call Focused Relay Neighborhood Data Spots. F-R-N-D. Did I just make a friend? You did. <laughs> Seventh grade me was so wholesome. Okay, now, how do we get this thing airborne? There's a lot of competing signal traffic, so try to follow the path I marked on your visor. It'll give us a clearer signal. Local network should be online. Let me notify the app user. Reports should start coming in any minute now. We did it! Back in business. There! Crime report just came in! Back it up! Let's go! We got plenty of time. The cops are busy with all this sand stuff. So let's clear this place out. Come on, load him up! He's here! Smash him! Stealing weapons? Not on my watch! This is a plan! Squash the spider! Whose idea was it to have a gun club in the city? I think I'm gonna start a petition. Replace all the gun clubs with something better! Like a compliment club! Compliments don't hurt anyone, and they're free! For example, you take a punch really well. Good job. Got a gift for you, Spidey. Hey, I think I'm onto something. Less guns, more compliments.
That was a big crew. Taking advantage while the city's covered in sand. Wish I knew what got into Marco. More of them coming. Let's give him a warm welcome. Spidey style. as long as we're at it, we might as well give it an upgrade. We don't need anything fancy. We just need to see citizen reports. Totally. While the patch is updating, we should widen the net. Let's check in with Miles. Over there. She was having trouble breathing. Miles, you busy? What do you need? Get to the roof of that building nearby. Yo, you sounded stressed earlier. You doing okay? Yeah, there's just a lot going on, and I'm hungry, and the vending machine only has those plain low sodium table crackers. Oh, man. That sucks. I'll manage. Hey, so I'm finally doing that app upgrade I've been talking about with a little help from my friends. <laughs> that's, that's a brilliant pun that doesn't make sense to me yet, but it will in a minute. Okay, I'm here. There should be a launcher somewhere around there. I don't see anything that looks like a launcher. Maybe it's under the sand? <laughs> okay, I see the launcher. Now what? You're gonna 3D print a friend. Get it now. F R N D. Let me guess. Friendly relay network drone. Close, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is that it uses spatial and temporal correlated signals. Over the air computation? You're a genius, Genki. Oh, you. I marked a path for optimal network stability. If you stay in the path, we'll get a stronger signal. Network is connected. New crime report. I see it. On my way. Boy said Spider Man was at the gun club. 
Gotta move before he gets here. Hey, need a hand? Lost your keys? There's a locksmith up the street. All of you guys are for one armored car? Seems like overkill. What if instead of stealing you, I don't know, try to help rescue people? I dare you. I'll never make it out of these cliffs. Miho, are you okay? Yeah, ma. You okay? See? I'm downtown helping Gloria. Oh, have you met with Mr. Sumita? Uh, no. Kirihiro? Spider-Man isn't going to get you into college. I'll make it, ma. I promise. Gotta run. Enough of this. Bring in the big guns. Big guns? <laughs> work. New requests just came in. Genki, nice work on the app. This will help a lot of people. Thanks. Miles, let's hit these last requests and get back to school. I'll check it out. again. Did he escape already? No, I'm at the raft. He's right in front of me. I have a hunch. He's a tight. Let me talk to his doctor. Okay, now you pissed me off. Okay, I talked to the doctors. Is there a sand crystal thingy near you? Yes! Okay. The doctors say Marco's mind is broken. Literally shattered into pieces. Freaky! So why are these sand dudes attacking me? Probably bits of his subconscious trying to protect whatever's in that crystal. But listen, if you can find all the pieces, they say you might be able to make him whole again. Being a sand person sounds complicated! <laughs> Okay, Marco. What was your subconscious protecting? What in the name 
minute I was with you, and the next, you were gone. I'm talking, Crystal. Okay. Seems like it holds a part of Marco's memory. MJ said that there were more crystals scattered around the city. Gotta keep an eye out. Hey, you wanna grab that last request? Looks like some VIP stuck in a limo. On it. Genki, is Mr. Sumita still there? Yeah, he's with Haley right now. She's trying to stall him for you. Nice. Hopefully he's gonna tell me how to write my college essay. You're not done with that yet? You know, since I already got into ESU, I could help you. Nah, you do too much already. Plus, if you help me get into college, you never shut up about it. Yeah, that's true. Stay away from that limo! Ah! It's the spider! Get him! Paparazzi's bad enough! The paparazzi with guns? Watch out! Y'all are the worst, you know that? Why can't we all just let people be people? You're not gonna win this! Let's check on that person in the limo. Gotta come see who the VIP in the limo was. I shudder in anticipation. Sealing a hydrant, then I'm on my way. Mr. Jameson, it's Spider-Man. You with me? Flying in. On your left. Hey, Spider-Man. Look who it is. What? Uh, where am I? Spider-Man! Jonah, my sunshine. You okay? Help! I've been abducted! What? No! I, I, I'm helping you, man! Come and get a photo with us! Mass criminals kidnap beloved newsman! Some things never change. Just be nice to the doctors. No, oh, they kidnapped me. I did not consent. I... I... Oh. Uh, menaces. I'm surrounded by menaces. But J. Jonah Jameson is not going anywhere, you hear me? I'm not going anywhere! Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? Mr. Parker, where are you? Uh, Principal Evans. Hi. Yes, this is me, Peter Parker. I, I'm sorry. There was an emergency, and I, I'll, I'll be there soon. I promise. I better see you in ten seconds. Or... Oh no. Um, are, you're uh, breaking up. I will soon. I can't believe I just did that. <sighs> Where's Mr. Sumita? Oh, he just left. Something about going on vacation? What? That's incredible, Haley. Also, while you were gone, I found out that I got the Rand Scholarship. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, bro, that's like a full ride. Well, big day for everyone. I'm really missing out. Oh, man. I can't watch this. But I also can't look away. Hmm. Principal Evans. Yeah. Guess who decided to show up today? I, I know this looks terrible. Looks? And I, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's more than looks. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. This and is this is the last ridiculous. thing that I wanted to happen, and it'll never happen again. I've had enough of this. No, I look. No I, more excuses. Your job is to protect these students, not to abandon them. 
You're fired. Dude, you being Spider-Man, it must be so hard keeping a job. Uh, but I'm sure that you're gonna figure it out. Hey, sorry about the job. You weren't the worst teacher we've ever had, if that helps. Think I can put that on my resume? Well, listen, there's an open photo call at the New York Bulletin. I just sent a shot in yesterday. It's not much money, but it's money. That's Robbie Robertson's paper. We used to work together at the Bugle. I think I know just what he'd like. Thanks, Miles. No problem. I might send him a few more shots, too, if I have time. Robbie always said, don't show me the city. Show me New York. That's something. There. Now to submit and... Peter! How you doing, son? Robbie, hi! I know this is out of the blue, but I wanted to let you know I just sent in a photo for your open call. Wonderful. We can definitely run this. I gotta duck into a meeting, but if you find the beating heart of New York anywhere else, send it my way. It's good to hear from you. You too, Robbie. Thanks. Sorry about that. always talked about going here. She'd walk across the bridge every Sunday to get the freshest vegetables in the city. 
but one time she was late and the guy in front of her bought all the tomatoes. And that's how she met my grandpa. Well, look who's in the neighborhood! Spider-Man! Yo! Spider-Man! Spider 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 you can't came! Thanks. We should take this on the road sometime. Sounds like a good excuse to finally build that spider mobile. Whew. I didn't know you could move that fast, Spidey. How does it look? Was that good? If it's great, post it. If it's not, let it die. Okay, you can send it to me. And also, am I prominent in the picture? I do represent a larger customer base. Looks like one of Marco's memory crystals Miles told me. Haha, <laughs> the bodega beef. It was already a rivalry for the ages when it was just David versus Goliath. But when Tails had to deal with the bodega copying his success by using the exact same mascot, it stepped up to a whole nother level. See you guys again? Man, in my boots, in my gloves, this is a nightmare! Time to check out that crystal. Someone's watching us, Kimia. But I don't want you to worry. That's my job. Marco thought he was being watched. And who's Kimia? Sandy in all the wrong places. Might be time for a change. That should work for Robbie. We'd hide out here whenever Jonah was about to blow. <laughs> I finished a lot of assignments sitting at that bar. And a lot of grasshoppers. <laughs>
Gonna have to flag that business transaction. This is my best. Spider-Man! Hate to interrupt a business meeting, but... Wait! You know I don't! ambulance nearby. I can take you to it. Oh my god. Thank you. Now you're in much better hands. Bless you, Spider-Man! I nearly hit somebody. I better do something. Wait a minute. Try, try. I think you ran a few reds, guys. No, you ain't taking us. One up for the good guys.
Hey, MJ. Hey, I'm headed to your place to drop something off. Is the back door unlocked? I don't know. I left in a hurry this morning. I'll just meet you there. Okay, cool. You and Miles get back to school, okay? Yep. Yep. Quite a first day for you. Hopefully tomorrow will be quieter. I am sure it will be. I'll see you in a bit. Ugh. What's worse than getting fired? Telling your girlfriend that you got fired. All the underground tech. Without the tinkerer, they were picked apart like vultures. I'll let Miles know we can put this stuff to better use. Come on back to Jersey's house. Home to New York's finest homes. Ah, here we go. Now, I'll admit, I first walked into his shop because of all the articles about his new flavors. But his traditional ones would have kept me coming back. Sometimes a classic is a classic for a reason. If you're looking for two dollar bills, man. I think the bag on 101st has some. There's an ambulance nearby. I can take you to it. You're amazing. Thank you. There. You're all set. And I hope the worst is over now. Thanks again. You've really earned how cool that costume is. was awful. Tan Man really made a mess. Seems like you're getting the hang of that thing. <laughs> well, it is convenient in the city, but I'm not convinced I'm a bike person. You convinced me. What's wrong? I got fired. Oh. You were so excited about this job. I know. I had the whole semester planned out. Next week, we were gonna make a potato-powered helicopter. I'm so sorry. I might be joining you in the unemployment line. Jonah already cleaning house? Sort of. He's instituting a radical meritocracy. Yikes, what does that even mean? It means that whoever doesn't write a front-page story in the next week is fired. Oh, well... You'll be fine, then, because you're the best reporter they have. What you got in there? <laughs> Unsold some Karia books. Running out of storage at my place. But you got great reviews. I sold 14 copies. Nobody wanted to read about some Karia. The Bugle is the biggest outlet in the city. I can make a difference there. But if I get fired, I don't know what I'll do. Do you even need the Bugle to do what you want to do? I tried making an impact from the outside and... 14 copies. Now I... I need to change things from the inside. I haven't had time to clean. <laughs> Back room? Yeah. I'm just gonna tidy up a bit.
May mortgaged the house to keep Beast afloat. And now I'm sinking. Oh man, I've been wanting to play this. Just need to find the time. I'd like to take some time off, but I can't really afford to. What about selling the house? I can't. I mean, I could, but I can't. If you need time, I can cover the mortgage. No, no, I can't let you do that. Plus, you said Jonah might clean house. I won't let him fire me. I know how much this house means to you. We'll figure it out. I don't deserve you. Hey, so, have you thought any more about moving in? We talked about this. I need to be in the city, close to where the action is. But think of all the romantic dinners we could have here. When was the last time you were home for dinner? Fair point. Hey, what's this? Is all this May stuff? Yeah, I need to donate it, but not just yet. What are you looking at? Some pretty cute old photos of you. Man, I haven't seen these in a while. Huh. I think that was in my bedroom. Why did she take a picture of that? Balance. What does that mean? Wonder if this is still there. I'm gonna go take a look. Let me know what you find. I'm gonna keep looking at these photos you've never shown me. Ugh, adorable. Where was that hole again? I, th I thought I I heard a, a rat in the wall. Hey, what's what's wrong? It's nothing. I was just. When I was your age, I was head of the debate club, captain of the soccer team, and second violin in orchestra. Every year, I wanted a new feather in my cap. But when I tried to add honor roll student on top, I fell apart. Instead of being good at a few things, I wasn't good at anything. So, I scaled back. Balance is a process, not a destination. I'm still working on that. Now oh, come on. Come on.
Maybe May had a point. I can't take too much on. Something's gotta give. I should go check on MJ. Uncle Ben, looking good. Oh, May, the size of those glasses. <laughs> Got a tip. Raft's moving a couple of inmates to Ravencroft tomorrow for evaluation. They say who? No, but I'm gonna find out. <laughs> MJ! <laughs> Whoa. Doctors haven't cleared me for MJ hugs yet. Sorry. <laughs> You too. I heard about May. I'm so sorry. So how was Europe? Yeah. Sorry about all that. I was being treated in isolation here in the city, and I, I didn't want you guys to worry about me. Is it the same thing your mom had? It was. Past tense. We think it's in remission. Harry, this is... <laughs> I can't believe it. You look... Great. I feel great. Oh, you have to get to work. Dinner tomorrow? Coney Island? World time stake? It's a date. <laughs> <laughs> That's new. That's a little skill she picked up when we were in Sakaria. Sorry for coming by unannounced and all. No, are you kidding? You want to come inside? Actually, I was hoping you might have time to go for a ride with me. Sure. I'm surprised the frugal flyer is still on the road. I was thinking we might roll like we used to. Ooh. Uh, is that my old bike? Nah, I, I found it on the internet. It's a close match though, right? Wow. Yeah. It's even got the same stickers and everything. You sure this isn't my bike? You ready? Where are we going? You'll see. Come on. Try to keep up. You sure you're up for this? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling good. I was using the cane just for insurance, but I don't even need it. I think you have more energy than I do. So, tell me everything. What's been keeping you busy? Just substitute teaching in between getting fired. I've also been tutoring a high school kid. He's... special. Reminds me a little of me, actually. <laughs> Lucky kid. I never would have passed Honors Calc without your help. Hey, I read about your old boss, Dr. Octavius. He must have been crazy. That's one way to put it, yeah. I wish you'd been around. Perry, why didn't you tell me you were sick? I'd have been there in a shot. You wouldn't have liked what you'd seen. The treatment was horrible. I was floating in a tank with a healing agent. It gave me awful nightmares. A tank? Wow. Experimental stuff. Wait, we're at Midtown High. Is that actually where we're going? And neither confirm nor deny. Uh... This place looks exactly the same as it did 10 years ago. Oh. Uh. Thanks. Come on. Why'd you bring us here? We both hated high school. Remember that time Flash and his buddies cornered me and broke my laptop? We lost that presentation. For the Young Entrepreneurs Competition. We'd worked for months on that thing. And the state meet was the next morning. I had a backup on a USB. But it was in your locker. 
We called the school begging to let us in. But they said no. It was after hours. We were so desperate, we walked around the entire school, <laughs> trying every door. <laughs> Until we got to this one. <sighs> wait, what do you... I remember we had to jimmy it. <sighs> Shall we? Sure the drive is upstairs in your locker? Pretty sure. What? You said you were sure. I was. I mean, I am. I mean, why are you asking now? Next up the bat is rookie all-star, number 12. Hold up. Eric Monticelli. It's right field, Rick. Monticelli What's he doing here on Friday night? Season. Listening to the game? RBI. Show us that rookie of the month stuff, kid. You're gonna be on this team forever. Let's make a run for it. No, wait. Folks, we're gonna see him around for a lot of years. The fans just aim it at something loud. On this team to Bucket, this recent home nah, crash. too messy. And they're rising Flash, to the get ready to be tackled. Yeah. Hey ah. Nice. Come on. This is what criminals do. Am I a criminal now? I forgot to tell you I showed our presentation to my mom. She thought it was really great. She had one critique, though. The name. She said we should rename it Heal the World. Holy cow, that's perfect. Right? Once we get to the top of the stairs, your locker's right there, right? Get down. Did he see us? I don't think so. Split up. We'll meet back at the gym. Hey, who's that? We're in trouble. We're in trouble, Mayday. You little punk. Someone in here playing tricks, huh? I could really use a refill on my web shooters. Wait, I think I have extra web fluid stuff in the photo lab. This is all still kind of new. I gotta get better at fluid management. Jim, Jim DeLocker. Easy. Jim, Jim DeLocker. Easy. Kids gotta be around. Path is clear. Time to move. Up online. 
definitely a kid. Vince. No such Spider's best friend. Okay, where did I leave my web fluid stuff? I know I put these under here somewhere. Ah, gotcha. should figure out how to increase the capacity of these things so I don't run out. Now to meet Harry at the gym. Oh, the gym is on the other side of that fan. Gotta get past it. Old backpack. Forgot I put that here. Gotta start keeping track of these things. Get away from this guy. Gotta distract him so I can get out of here. What's that? This is me making a break for it. You can just stay where you are. Stop running away. I bet Harry's already at the gym. Gotta hurry. from that door. Really sorry for the mess, Rick. Okay. Now, you can't tell me we don't have a damn ghost. Just a spider. Dude, how you got caught? We gotta grab that thumb drive and get out of here. Let's cut through the gym. Okay. It's all coming back. That was crazy. Well, this place looks the same. Except no security guard on our tails. <laughs> Which gives us a minute for some hoops. Are you sure you're up for this? Question is, are you? Oh, let's see it, big talker. A little rusty, no biggie. All you? Nice. I am so happy you're feeling better. Seriously. Thanks. Hey, I didn't get a chance to see what you did with May's house. Nothing yet. I've been busy and... I don't know. It feels weird to change it. I get it. That must have been really tough, Pete. No rush. Well, when MJ moves in, maybe she'll help with the house. I don't know. You don't think she'll help? I don't know if she'll move in. Oh. I mean, it seemed like you guys were doing good. She was at your house? We'll figure it out. We always do. Eventually. All good. Next time. What's the score? I have no idea. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me here. I needed this. Me too. But we're not done yet. I know that look. What are you up to? Still think you can find your old locker? Where do you think that security guard is? Probably still in the East Wing. Then let's get that thumb drive out of your locker and get out of here. We gotta make Flash pay for breaking your laptop. Just let it go. 
can't just let him get away with it. He's captain of the football team, and I'm a backup singer in Glee Club. He's gonna get away with it. Our best revenge is to win that competition tomorrow. <sighs> Finally. Quick, get under there. Gotta get him back in that elevator. Uh, check this floor three times already. Oh, damn. Somebody in there? What's going on? Is uh, this guy part of all this too? Nope. <laughs> Run. Hey! Dude, we're gonna get arrested. Not if he doesn't catch us. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the kind of nostalgia I like. You still got that thumb drive? Yeah. Gotta make it to those doors. Almost there. Open up, it's the police. I called the cops. You're in trouble now. No, but hold them off for just a minute. I got an idea. What should I do? Don't get caught. Wait, I keep forgetting. Us? Yeah, they're in here somewhere. All right, you two spread out while we get this guy's statement. Now to get the guard alone so I can get the thumb drive back. They're in here somewhere. <laughs> the guys are looking, but we need your statement. Tell me what you saw. Well, uh, right field Rick. Uh, I mean... Check it out. What have you actually seen? Whoa! Here. A seat. Nice. Now I just have to distract this last guy. Don't move. I'll be right back. He's alone. Now for something I like to call the upside down pickpocket. Nice. That should put me right above him. <laughs> so he's probably waiting up for me. Got it. Huh? What was that? How am I supposed to get out of here? I huh? just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Damn it. Gotta You're in the make office. you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> good? It's not the cops. It's my dad. Dad, I told you I'd call you when I got home. It's your mother. What happened? Uh, Peter. Would you excuse us for a moment?
Harry, what is this? You know, I still think we would have won state if we'd presented. Lots happened in the last 10 years. It's a miracle I'm even sitting here now. I got a second chance. And I'm gonna take advantage of that. But I need you with me, Pete. Wow, this is uh, a lot to process. Why don't you come by the lab tomorrow? Check it out. You have a lab already? I'll show you some of my ideas. And we can talk about it some more. Deal? Sure. Pete, we're gonna heal the world. for tomorrow and do not fail again You busy? I need whatever it is. I'm down. Need some help with a babysitting mission at the rack. Sounds fun. Fill me in on the way. How's the essay going? It's it's going. Uh, I'm gonna head out though. Pete, call for some backup. We're just. It's better if I don't know the details. I'll be fine, Ma. Espera un momento. Um, you know how there have been a few nights recently where you've been working late, and so I also worked late. Well, I wasn't working. Don't give me that look. I'm not in any trouble. It's just, um, I've been going on some dates. Dating, actually. Oh, right. And there's this one guy. I've seen him a few times, and it's, well, it's going well. Ma, what are you asking me? I'd like to have him over. For Barcelona. I'm sure there's some spider stuff I can be doing. I can give you some privacy? No, I'd like him to meet you. And I'd like you to meet him. But if you're not comfortable, I totally understand. Ma. Look, you had me at Patelon. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay. Después. Better head to the raft. Maybe these wind tunnels can give me a boost. <laughs> There's another one. I should catch. 
catch that updraft. Whoa! I'm getting the hang of this. I should check the view. Love a windy day. Hey, Miles, we're just getting to the raft. You on your way? Wouldn't miss it. Who are babysitting? MJ got a tip yesterday that Scorpion's being moved to Ravencroft. Not enough resources for him since Sandman became his roommate. Scorpion can definitely throw a tantrum. I'll be there. Hey, it's another one of Marco's memory crystals. Should take care of that. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to wake you up. We don't have to fight about this. Crush this crystal. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but everywhere I go, I see them too. Work, the corner store, in the park. They're tracking us. Marco was really freaked out. Wonder if whoever was following him is still out there. Listening to the Danacast, get this, now the fastest growing podcast in New York. Hold on to your knickers, Jonah. I'm coming for you. For you new listeners, welcome. The Danacast is your spot for real takes on real news about real people. Did y'all hear about this train worker, Dennis, who single handedly kept the train from you? Did it if your mom ever teach you not to steal? <laughs> 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 Y'all better think twice next time. Nice. I mean, if I was rich, I'd take advantage of that backdrop, too. I'd also be worried about constantly launching balls off the roof, but I guess they can afford it. That guy's getting up in those people's faces. I'm there. Spider-Man! We're ending this now! Could use some strong hands. Think about it. Fireworks? Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit before someone calls the cops on them.
Hey, man. Glad you could make it. Uh, looks like I'm just in time. Keep it moving, Gargan. Ready for the next one. Next one? Thought we were just babysitting Scorpion today. for fireworks. We gotta go. Should have stretched. Your head will make a fine joke. Whoa, those blades are sharp. You must be new in town. Hi, I'm Spider Man. In case you didn't know, these guys are bad news. Definitely want to keep them in prison. Get out of our way. It does not concern you. All right, guess we can skip the welcome wagon. Spider Man! Who the hell are these guys? I was hoping you knew! We'll cover you! Keep them out of the ship! On it! Avoid them! Hi, Doc! Take out the defenses! Overwhelm the guards and break down the door! They're trying to get inside the ship! They want Scorpion and Lee! We gotta stop them! What do you even want with these guys? It seems like your club has plenty of members! You will They just keep coming! Common misconception! Spiders are not actually insects! But that's maybe beside the point right now! Keep fighting! Dang you, Boomy! Cover Spider-Man! Yeah. Focus it! We can't let him get... What are you, Vultures, kid? Our quarry lies within! 
They're definitely going after Scorpion. You can't let them get inside this ship. Get in Civilians on the way. It's bad, man. What happened out there? Did those guards get to safety? Hello? No signal. Better hurry up. Whoa! It's getting worse out there. Get to that guard. 
this amount of electricity will fry him alive. I need you to stay away from the water, okay? Thanks a million kids. on Scorpion. Damn, right? 
face here. Subdue the strike and your knees bleed. You're not taking him. And you are naive. They are ours. Let's see you try. all of them. Spider-Man! Things just went from bad to East River on fire bad. That's... Well, okay. I'm on my way. We'll deal with Scorpion later. Come on! Come on! It won't start! I got you! Hang on to something!
First responders are on site now, at least. <laughs> Police are still fishing, but there's no sign of them. Any luck upriver? Nothing but debris. Who are those guys? Whoever they are, they're packing some serious tech. And now they got all that, plus Scorpion and Lee. Hey, whatever they're planning, we'll find them. We'll stop them. Yeah. Pete. When I saw Lee inside that ship, my powers, they... You think his energy got entangled with yours? I don't know, man. But it feels volatile. Wherever Electric Blue came from, it saved the day back there. Hey. We'll put Lee back where he belongs. Promise. Don't leave me hanging. I'm trying to soak over here. Not on my watch. Come on. <laughs> You're too much, man. Call you back in a sec. <laughs> Not my birthday, guys. No need for the surprise. I'm trying to help you out here. This trouble for a little Christmas. So I tell the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. No one has seen Marco in years. I would have been there for him if I knew he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there, but they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Hey, Miles. I'm getting used to hearing that voicemail of yours. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Yeah, hey, Uncle Aaron. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah, I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Miles. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big.
Another day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective other than their penchant for animal skins, but one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind like that. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. I just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsor. Hey, do either one of you guys have a permit for those? Whoa! Mike! Mike! He's still breathing, but I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah, uh, where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you, personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them. So, we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Spider-Man? Wow. At least I can still wiggle my toes. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. <laughs> hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call, but watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns, like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Bro, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. about some shady characters selling bad Yo, yeah, wait a second! Spider-Man! Call the boys! He ain't losing the shit, man! Yeah! <laughs> 
Birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh man, I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. to steal from an armored truck. know that the bags banks use don't have big dollar signs on them? I know. I was disappointed. You know, I saw an old grandmaster playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Dead. Never seen anything like it. Those guys. 
felt like they came out of a cult. Better tell Pete about them. this crystal. Hit him, Spidey! It's my turn to follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco thought no one else could help him. Feel for the guy. There's an ambulance not too far away. I'll drop you right off. Oh my god! Thank you! Just a little bit farther! There you go. Everything's gonna be alright. Bless you, Spider-Man! Marco's memory crystal. Let's get it. How's it going, my sandy friend? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal has my name all over it. I find them, and they're waiting for me with all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? Waiting for them with weapons? They knew who they were dealing with.
should have known it'd be cultist. You'd be wise. The full beacon is... Careful where you point that thing! You can stop the spider yeah. man! Yeah. You're afraid to come oh. down! Okay, let's see what we got. They're circling me, Miha. Oh, wishing I'd just stayed home with you, Kimi. Helped you with your homework. Made you the one meal that I know how to cook. But it's too late now. Kimi is Marco's daughter. I had no idea. Just check back in on Marco. He's steadily improving, making more and more sense. He's even eating again. Doctors are hopeful. Good work. Swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Just 
little bit farther. Hope that wasn't too rough of a trip. Take care. You're amazing, Spider-Man. Thank you. Sometimes, I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city. People will be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. Definitely work. Reminds me of the people who ride into the bugle. And a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. But saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. safe inside, and the fire department can take over. We're good. Someone needs to do a better job hiding their stolen tech. got to do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again.
Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? How's school? College? Anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code for my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. You would have made a decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this.
This isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con. Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Miles, club fair, remember? You on your way? Oh, right, that's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music. Wait, just a sec. <laughs> What's up? I'm stopping you today. Do you think you're worthy? There's an ambulance not too far away. I'll drop you right off. Thank you, Spider-Man. And touchdown. They'll take good care of you here. I can't thank you enough. Also, my boyfriend's your biggest fan. City seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if he's having better luck than me. Okay, Genki. I'm good now. Lay it on me. Club fair, remember? You on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. Have so many questions for him. Be there soon. buildings watching, the other players trash talking, and the sound of rubber hitting asphalt? There's a reason they call it the city game.
Building's being broken into. Am I interrupting? Good! That one almost had me sh Dress for a sec. Uncle Aaron's got a stash here. Better find it. Hell yeah. I can pull that panel out. Circuit box? Guess I'm zapping my way in. Opened the door, but it activated that first switch. There must be more circuit boxes nearby to activate the rest of them. There's a box. Uncle Aaron must have set these on a timer. I'm gonna have to spark each box before it runs out.
And that's all of them. Should have access to the stash now. Pretty creative, gotta admit. Me too, Unc. Wish Dad and Uncle Aaron could have made things right before he... Yeah. Tag in now. I think there's a prowler stash nearby. somewhere else open up plenty of these before don't mind if I do There's tech. Everything good, kid? I've got a few unauthorized access attempts for my stash at the shipping yard. Yeah. That group that took Lee showed up. They must be real good if they found it. Even your dad wasn't able to. Dad? It was the first showdown between Officer Jefferson Davis and Proudman. Had to hide in that shipping container for hours just to lose me. Almost wish he'd caught me right then and there. Never wanted to get involved. Well, I'm glad you're out of the game now. Stay safe, punk. Same, man. We'll do. Guns? Yeah, that's gotta stop. You don't do long range. Not our <laughs> Sorry in advance for turning all your illegal stuff in. I'm gonna shoot him! Yeah. <laughs> 
keeping New York safe. That's what it's all about. I know I left my backpack around here somewhere. All right. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She left to get something from her car and then she never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. Gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I could find out more. Do you have any of her personal items? Yes. She left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man, sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man! Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Send you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. See yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. This is all Here he is, dream. Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production. But it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy, someone people can depend on. Very interesting. 
And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch? Sorry, gotta go. Um, I'll call you later. Or email. That could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person and clarify some things. All right. With those guys out of the way, let's see where that tracker signal leads. There she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. Time to squash a spider. You're dead, Spider-Man. He's ours. You hide. I've got these guys. This is gonna be good. by yourself? It's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. <sighs> Consider this car. <sighs> Thanks to Spider-Man. Our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the Quan. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I can tell you are clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. Oh, man. I can't... Seems like you might need some spider help. Yeah, I had everything planned out. The clues, the screens, the art, the people, everything has to be perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I got you. Can you explain a little slower? What happened? <sighs> okay. I want to ask someone to homecoming, but he's special. I couldn't just do flowers or chocolate. 
I got some screens, and I want to light them up with the message, but the generator's busted. Guy who rented it out to me won't answer. What a scam. I think I can help. Thanks. I rented the generator from Reynolds and Company Rentals. I'll send you the address. On it. Generators are going for a lot these days. This baby's ours. You understand? That's no ordinary rental transaction. Mess around. Here's that nap time you want. Ain't nobody stepping on me. Mess around and find out. takes care of these guys. I should check on the salesperson. Thanks, Spider-Man. Glad to help. Your client asked me to look into a delivery delay. I guess we got our answer. Yeah, about that. I'd love to deliver this thing, but those idiots already did so much damage. If she's salvageable, it'll take weeks of repairs. Mind delivering the bad news for me? Can do. Better call Vijay and give him the bad news. Tell me some good news. Well, it's news. Generator's busted. Wait. Okay, I'm not out of ideas yet. Just come back. I've got something else in mind. Since the generator's no good, does BB have any backup ones? I know they keep generators on the roof, but they're all overpowered for my setup. We'd blow a fuse. Unless we find something underpowered. I should be able to pick up that low voltage frequency. And your electrical powers would fill in the rest. Theoretically. Worth a shot. Or a shock. I've got a friend who would love that joke. Found a generator, but it's deactivated. See? That should work great. Mind giving it your special spark? <laughs> got the voltage we need. Now we just gotta route it to the ground floor. Yes! I knew you'd figure it out. Maybe I could connect these power nodes. seems to be traveling through an old circuit. Uh, yeah. Maybe I could go into electrical engineering. Thank you. A million. <laughs> oh, maybe you should call yourself the Great Electric Spider. Thanks. I like Spider-Man just fine. Oh! Just got a text. He's on his way. Uh, don't go just yet. I could still use your help. Just hide. Nijay's texting me. What? A whiteboard? Oh, Vijay, what are you up to? Hmm. Wait a sec. 
That's the equation he helped me with on our first date. Study session. Study date? Spider-Man, that's the first clue. Mind flipping it? <laughs> okay, looks like I'm going this way. <laughs> okay, what is this? Aw, that's the movie we saw when we had our first kiss. Look, lip balm and all. <sighs> but still, best kiss ever. Spider-Man, the poster is stuck. Can you give it a tug? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Vijay must be in the quad. Time for the big reveal. Find a seat and grab some popcorn. Vijay? This whole thing has you written all over it. I've always known you're a special guy. And I'm lucky you're my special guy. I love you, Lucas. Will you... Will you... Uh... Home? Ah, uh, not exactly. Oh no. Gotta be something I can do to help here. Need to use my chain lightning. <laughs> Homecoming? Oh, VJ, of course. Matching sequin placers? Hell yeah. Phew. That was close. Thank you for making this possible. Holy crap. You really got Spider-Man in on this? Best day ever. Anything for love, guys. Happy for you both. Enjoy homecoming. I've got a report that Lance was kidnapped. That Lance? Can be anywhere. Who took him? No clue. But if anyone can find him, it's you. Not the wildest thing I've attempted all week. I'm in. No, no, I do. Everything okay? Lance! He was kidnapped by Midtown. Don't you guys have like a huge game against them tomorrow? That's the whole point. Look, they explained it in this note. Pretty sure that note leads to the Stewart building, but we can't access the roof. See why we called you? Yeah, I'll look around. Mm, that RJ kid. I knew not to hold the door for him. Wait, the Stewart building? Wonder why the Midtown kids took Lance there. Did you find him already? <laughs> not quite. But I have to know. Why the Stewart building? A BV kid won a robotics contest against Midtown at Stewart Robotics and Engineering last year. Midtown lost. Sounds like Midtown is super bothered about it. They'll be even more bothered when we get Lance back. <laughs> it looks like the right place. It looks like RJ left another note. Okay. If I want to find Lance, I'll need to shine the UV light on the mural somehow. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I could re-angle these beams. Sweet. I'm sure that old box won't mind if I just give it a little love tap. Hit a message. I knew it. We BIPOC artists are birds of a feather. To find the next clue, all a band together. Hmm. BIPOC artists. 
Haley's the art expert. Let me give her a call. I heard you're looking for Lance. Did you find him? Not yet. Midtown's making us work for it. But I could use your help, sending you a pic. BIPOC artists. Birds of a feather. Hmm. There's a bunch of BIPOC murals at Rodney and Third. Don't know what Aliband means, though. Thanks, Haley. I owe you one. That thank you was plenty. But I'm always down for coffee. You got it. A ton of murals here. Gotta be a hidden message on one of them. How are we doing? I'll find Lance soon. I think. Midtown's hidden messages on murals around town. Right now I'm at Rodney and Third, trying to find the next clue. Where Anders Oliband's painting is? <laughs> Makes sense. Oliband? Midtown mentioned him in the clue. But who is he? Evie's own premier art prodigy turned research fellow at the Musée de la Vie in Paris? Maybe Midtown's jealous they don't have an alum like that. Competition is stiff, but your tactics are stale. The greatest in the region shall soon prevail. Hey, Haley, got another clue for you. Sent a pick. Hmm. Greatest in the region. If it's about another mural, you might want to try North Williamsburg. Didn't BV and Midtown have a chess match there last week? Yes. Regional. Ended in a stalemate. Aha! That explains why Midtown's so bitter. I'll check it out. Two murals this time? Man, Midtown really doesn't want us to find Lance. Good thing Brooklyn Visions has Spider-Man on their side. Red and blue flags? Could there be two paths? They get all this so there are two paths then gotta hand it to midtown they spent some serious time on this one like ridiculously impressive Main Street has hundreds of locations. I need more details. Wait, why didn't the second one light up? There must be more to do. How'd they even have time to set this up? I guess if I have time to be Spider-Man, 1121. That must be the street number. Finally. Okay, what's it say? 1121 Main Street. That must be where they're hiding Lance. Hey, Miles. Speak on it. I think I found Lance. 1121 Main Street. Knew I could count on you. around here, buddy? Maybe he's in here. Lance the Lion. Time for you to head home. 
One of you must be RJ. Spider-Man? No fair! Brooklyn Vision's cheated! Whoa, Spider-Man? Guess BB couldn't figure it out on their own. Thanks for the fun and games. But I've got to get this guy home. Any luck? On my way back. And I'm bringing a fluffy friend. Lance! You found him! Is he okay? Did it hurt him? Looks safe and sound to me. They had him in the garage. It was kind of dusty. He might need a bath. Anyway, hurry back. We're all ready for him. On my way. <laughs> Lance! You found him! Yeah! Spider-Man got him back! You did it, Spider-Man! Thanks for getting Lance back safe, and just in time for the game. <laughs> Lost drone at uh, somewhere o'clock. Can't be too hard to find. Don't they have tracking chips in them? Yeah, except this one stopped responding. It might be tougher than Maybe I thought. All right, be there me. soon. No, she'll never go for that. Hey, I heard you lost a toy drone? It's lost, but it's not a toy. I was using it to gather aerial footage for my senior project. I'd look for it myself, but it lost communication at... Uh, 300 feet X and 140 feet Y. That's the Northeast building. Can you help? Our senior projects are due Friday. Oh, right. Wait, you knew that? I, uh, get around. Hear lots of things. I'm Spider-Man. Oh, okay then. So you'll look around for me? I'm on it. It must be stuck on the roof. Check the tall building on the northeast corner of camp. <coughs> That drone has to be here somewhere. There it is. Hey, the data's corrupt. Can't turn the camera on, but it's rebooting. Awesome. Thanks. Well, since you're up there, would you mind snapping a photo of campus for us? I can make that happen. We'd like a shot of the sky bridge from the rooftop. Could you take it? Composition and that lighting. You've really got an eye for this. Could we get a couple more? A shot from each of the other two super tall buildings around campus would do it. Okay. Get to the tall buildings, snap a couple of pics. I can do that. Recruitment office? Is this senior project part of this year's AV Club recruitment video? If this shot doesn't wow the new kids, I don't know what will. Okay, so next. I forgot we need to capture students in their daily life. Just... just three shots of that, and we're golden. We want to capture the eSports team, the drone club, and the greenhouse.
action shot of the drone. You capture their movement beautifully. in action. tinkering with the drone. Camera's still busted, but at least it still flies. One last favor. It's the last thing we need, for real. Could we get a tour of campus in one continuous shot from the air? You can meet us up on the rooftop to start the fly through. All right, I'll get something nice for you. day's work that'll do it thanks to you this recruitment video is really gonna shine don't suppose you'd be down to do 10 hours of editing for me better let the master cinematographer handle that part Mask is showing a prowler stash close by. There it is. Should be able to move that no problem. will keep the will in place. What's up? So all that help you gave folks at Booth and Visions, they banded together to make you a thank you gift. That's sweet. But Spider-Man can't accept gifts. Unless it's hugs. Haha. -ha. Hugs are great. But I think you'll put this gift to good use. Swing by the rooftop garden when you get a chance. Hey, Miles. 
got an alert from the stash at my old place. You live in that penthouse? Back in the early proud days, when I was on Fisk's payroll. Fisk? Yeah, I know. You'll remember when I got the keys. I wanted to impress my big bro so badly. But he was ashamed, because he knew how I got it. Whatever Dad felt, I know he always loved you. Appreciate that, nephew. Maybe one day I'll believe it. Still a lot I don't know about Uncle Aaron and Dad. I wonder what other stories they had. is the best. I'm gonna miss this place when I go to college. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. you will about social media, and I can say a lot. It's helped so many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Let them go! Wait a minute! You think you're worthy? in the open. Call this one an audio... Gets for this. I wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May's stuff. 
That sand crystal. I ask them what they want, and all they say is the beast inside me. But that ain't been me for a long time. Just like I promised you. Promised his daughter. That's why we haven't seen Sandman in so long. We gave it up for her. Sorry, MJ. You've got my full attention now. Go ahead. Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But... Spider-Man, over here! Don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. <sighs> Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too romantic. Ah! I'll talk to you later. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? that a robot? Hey, it's Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man, thank you. Hey, Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. Good time to test out my pulse blast, then. Time for my latest upgrade. Oh, you should spend the best for us. Hey, Clark, did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider Man. Leave it to me. I'm coming! Just 
Just hang on. Oh, I'm stuck. Get me out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Fire and rescue's on its way. Are you okay? No, I'm good. But I saw somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark. I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? We're not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Take some maneuvering. We've got everything worth taking. We keep digging for more. This whole place is gonna come down. The prophecy says we don't die today. Be a follower of the flame. Start trusting him. Follower of the flame. As soon as they're done with the deserter, we're out. The explosives will bury whatever's left of him and the evidence. Gonna kill someone. Wait, I've fought these people before. Organized and fanatical. Yeah, I'm getting big cult vibes. What about the intruder that's been skulking around? They can't stop all of them. Now we keep looking for supplies. <laughs> we'll need them in the days ahead. What are they? Oh no. I didn't say anything to the police. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. What's your deal? There you are. 
Never did like me smoking. Yuri? Little likes call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried. Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Trust the flame. Everything hurts. That should work for Ronnie. The Spider-Men aren't the only superheroes in New York. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. was. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this... Place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? I diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Chief. I just checked in on Man and Annie. That data does not cross-tabulate with the 
reaching the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not the bee you're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, well, I know. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. How it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? I wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. 
It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome to Space Research. The origins of life on Earth were made a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? <sighs> Gotta think this through before signing on. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the Energy Lab and the Agricultural Lab. Ultralight drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. What are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. <clears throat> cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool. May would have loved this place. Accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. <laughs> Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Hello? Right? 
I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. And you see, if you let B be the base of the member system and one the degree of the root to be extracted. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to Sorry. bone division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for understanding. See you soon. The latest employee of the is far from facility. Dr. Foster. Congratulations. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow! I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope. False alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it.
If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Someone's getting beat up over there. Not on my watch. Hey! Are you crashing my fight or am I crashing yours? Oh, you're done now. Sweet. I gotta bounce, but I appreciate the assist. <laughs> All right, but the next post-fight piece is on me. <laughs> Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? <laughs> hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Ah, oh, man. We were sure it was there. <sighs> Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. <laughs> Littering? Come on, man.
Okay. What in the... Arachnid, come on! Now have your boss with the main get this kind of tech! A true hunter knows how to come up. You could have just said I don't know! Get him out of the air! Seriously though, where'd your boss take Lee and Gargan? Your criminals? Not far. They're enjoying their freedom. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> Should take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. Gonna miss these chases when I'm in Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. You have renter's insurance! Up, up, and you won't get away! No, 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 no! Nice cloaking tech. Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? Oh, come on, Bertie, let go! Come on! Stop my ticket for this ride! I'm gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can take up some building records. Where are we going now? MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta 
draw one of them away. Find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of access. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. These Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. Oh, that's fantastic! We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. That's everyone. Now, what were they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others. All around the city. I'll send this to Ganky. But he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded, so I'll join you soon. Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. I want them hungry. You hungry too? <clears throat> nice to sleep here. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shadow and toy for a test drive. Rounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking fields operation. Good. Beetles, talent drones, ammunition, rations. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich. We're well connected. We're both. To next. Looks like this is the only way. A research lab? Yeah. 
Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Craven studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpower gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh. That's the Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hey, MJ. I have another name for you. Craven. Seems like he's the boss of these guys. And he's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. enough to draw his blade. The lion was stronger, faster, more cunning. Hunt up down! The trail is done. Just for a minute, we go. I'm ready. Okay. I 
could really use some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't... Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! Nice, doggy, kitty, robot! They're no joke. Heal! Roll over! Play dead! Finally! I was wondering when animal control would show up. Remember your training! guys putting together quite the team. This the best you can do. They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment.
teaming up with supervillains for some hunt. There is prey. Felicia. For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. <sighs> Can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. I see you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. He killed Scorpion, and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean... Lee? I don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sam. No way! And Felicia's on their list, too. Black Cat, your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and... We're going to find Lee Miles. I promise.
your basement. Where are they guarding? Come here, Birdie. Tell me a story. A map of a base. Any chance you can show me what's waiting for me there? Disable that relay, they won't be able to call for backup. Nice. So you've been to two other blinds around Harlem, huh? Better scope out the other blinds. Maybe they'll lead me to a base. Hey, dude, I'm back. What I miss? If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and. We're going to find Lee, Miles. I promise. <sighs> Guess I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? I think I can put this to better use than them. about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborne, has got a decent rep. At the very least, he hired my favorite bee scientist, AKA apiologist, Dr. M. Young. They're the foremost expert on colony collapse disorder and a pretty sick ukulele player if you happen to follow them on the socials. So, young Osborne, your foundation has a lot of work to do repairing your father's legacy. But, so far, you're off to a good start. Don't forget to pay your rent on the first, or, you know, withhold your checks in protest. Whatever, do you. Later! What's the score? Action! Spider-Man! Meet consequence! There he is! In the air! <laughs> Yeah. 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 That was actually 
see a pretty good workout. Hey, Miles. I have those addresses Pete mentioned for a few Black Cat safe houses. Head into the first one now. Thanks for offering to do this. Pete can get kind of blindsided by Felicia. I know you're busy with your college essay. It's cool. I always have time to Spider-Man. Looks like Pete was right. This is definitely a hunter blind. Maybe I can find out if there's a base nearby too. Cody! Taking a little peek inside. What else is at this base? A couple of webs should do the trick. Still need the base location. One more blind to go. Hey, MJ. I'm back now. You were just telling me about... Sorry, what was it again? Thanks for offering to do this. He can get kind of blindsided by Felicia. I know you're busy with your college essay. It's cool. I always have time to Spider-Man. Sounds like you're as good at work-life balance as I am. I'm scrambling to finish my Hunter story. I might save my job. But you guys, what happened to Scorpion? And Lee in the wind. Can't focus while he's out there, MJ. Don't. Don't let it eat you up. Might be best to just focus on the task at hand. That's not all. When I face Lee, I got some new powers. They're blue and weird. Uh, I mean, I'm no expert on spider powers, but C could it be from stress? What you're going through, it it's a lot. But you're not alone. Even Pete and I, we're still figuring it all out. One thing at a time, right? We'll find him. I know. Thanks, MJ. And Miles, be careful with Felicia. You can't trust her, no matter what she says. Warn her about the hunters and get her out of the city. Understood. Let you know when I get there. What's the ETA on the cloak coming back? Minutes? Super Q outpost team! Mind if I straight up demolish it? I never have to worry about my camouflage glitching out. We're suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof, feckless government officials, and a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Get the word. Most insidious dilemma we face is that of the faceless. It seems another masked vigilante is bringing their illegitimate justice to the streets. 
All reports indicate an individual disguised in purple and sporting a take-no-prisoners approach to the illegal activities they perpetrate. Some of you have criticized Spider-Man for not going far enough. But you still. But I can't believe what I'm saying. That's not in their jurisdiction. While they shouldn't be out there in first place, at least they haven't sworn themselves as judge, jury, and executioner. We have systems in place for this people. If this new hero really wanted to enforce order to the fullest extent of the law, they'd join the police department. Why is it so hard for some people to follow the rules? This is the chaos the Spider-Men inspire. And why must I be the sentinel of statutes? Now, how about some ads? The other Spider-Man's got this. Coordinates are showing a stash near the top of the Braxton building. Police must have missed impounding a lot of this tech. Just send me out of your crap and forget to mention lasers. Why'd you stash tech in this skyscraper? Ever heard of the Braxton Heist? Uh, no. Exactly. It was my debut score as the problem. First time working with a crew, too. We went in to steal prototypes from Braxton's secret tech division. But this kid double-crossed us. Who? Never got a name. But she was good. A pro. 
thief in the truest sense of the word. Wasn't mad, though. It was a valuable lesson. Starting to get why you were Dad's toughest case. <laughs> Good looking out on the stash, kid. Wonder who got the best of Uncle Aaron. Not many people can do that. Okay, everybody sit. Stay. Not to brag, but I could have programmed those way better. Place looks like it was ransacked. Perfect chance to use the AR tech Genki upgraded. Scratch marks. Huh. Any sign of her? Found some scratch marks with traces of metal. I'll run it to see if it matches her claws. Just have to isolate the molecular components of the metal filings I found. Titanium. What else? Looking good. Who says science isn't fun? Tungsten, a match. Did it. It's her. Scuff marks from her shoes. She must have been hustling. She was grabbing something from that box on the wall. Looks like an emergency stash box, but it's empty. Must be missing something. Hunters. That should be enough to reconstruct the scene. They attacked. But she's on the run. They're already on to her. This is exactly why the city needs to be warned about the hunters. She could have. Keep me posted. Whoa! It's gotta be her. Well, this went from a friendly warning to a rescue mission pretty quick. I just hope I'm not too late. Alicia's resourceful, but everything we've seen from these hunters has me kind of worried. You're worried about your boyfriend's ex. That's compassion. Looks like I just missed them. Any signs of where they went? Let me scan the area and see. Another stash box. This one's still locked. She risked her whole life to get to it. I gotta open it, but the power's disconnected. Another node down.
This is the power line that was severed. It went down there. <clears throat> Bet the generator could power that stash box. my web to the generator. I can get into the box. This looks right. Nearly there. I did it. I'm in. Paris. MJ, how's your French? Non-existent. But send me what you got. Okay. There's some instruction manual for a Wanda Watoom. Watoom? Hmm. I'll do a search. Give me a sec. Hunters. Wherever they're headed, I should follow. According to a translation of the Mystic Arcana, that Wanda's old. We're talking BC old. Supposedly, whoever wields it can create portals to pretty much wherever they can think of. Like magic? She gets her hands on something like that. I can think of some uses for it. Miles, let's just stick to the plan. We're in position. She's ours. <laughs> Whatever that one does, it does it brightly. She's doing with us. She's already a face twice. Now Nobody saw that, right? Either Black Cat's doing magic in there, or I'm missing out on a hell of a rave. are true. Translates to my reason for living. Time is short. Mm. A new partner? With Felicia? You never know. last of them. Now let's see what's up with Felicia.
Little spider wants to play, huh? Why won't you help me stop this guy? You're Spider-Man. You've saved the city before. You'll do it again. Spider-Man was right about you. You only care about yourself. Look, kid. Not that it's your business. My girlfriend's in Paris. And I got her into trouble with some bad people. Have you ever done something for love? She needs me now. If only I could figure out how to go more than ten feet with this thing. MJ said not to trust you. <gasps> Red's a smart one. But you gotta make your own choices, kid. There's the captain! Take her alive! You should go! Portal out of here! The instruction manual for this artifact was not clear! You seem to be getting better at it. What's better enough? We're gonna figure it out. Together. Damn. Lucky attitude, kid. It's Spider-Man, not kid, thank you. All right, Spider-Man. Let's see what you've got. Behind you. That had to hurt. More of them. On the roof. Hey, use this portal. Target acquired. I needed the distraction. In there. What the fuck? There's a turret now. Another portal for you. I'll take all the help I can get here. Any magic tricks for bullets? You got wet! Hit the turret and take it out! Hey, Spider-Man! Think you're here for the sea lion exhibit? Oh! I wanna see that! Did you know sea lions can swim up to 25 miles per hour? Focus! Hunters! Lots of them! Craven must really want you! I'm not available! Stop the spider from hunting her! Trying to wear us down. If they want me, they'll have to kill me. Let's not have it come to that, okay? Surprise! That was sick. Uh, how are you with dogs? More of a cat person, and these aren't dogs. They bite like dogs. Worse. Watch the portal. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing everything at 
it. I might be on my last life here. No, we're getting you to Paris. Your girlfriend needs you. You really are Spider-Man. Over here. She's everywhere. I cannot catch her. Here, focus. Think Eiffel Tower. Au revoir, Felicia. What's up with Felicia? She's safe, for now. You finished your story? Just send it to Jonah. Wish me luck. You got this. Dude, head to Coney Island. What? What's up? You know how Mysterio just got out of prison? Well, he's opening a new attraction there. He could be the hunter's next target. Good call. And guess who else is at Coney tonight? Hint, you've crushed on her for like over a year. Come on, bro. Don't bro me, bro. You and Haley are made for each other. If you don't ask her out, you're violating laws of nature. We'll see after we check on Mysterio. Spider-Man, thank you for coming. I'm looking for my Grandpa Earl. He kept talking about meeting someone here, and now he's gone, and... Can you please help me find him? Any clues on where he might be? Just this picture. He was staring at it all morning. Hmm. This looks familiar. Some kind of exhibit. This looks like it was taken 60 years ago. Around the same time of year, too. I'll find him. Don't worry. Please hurry. He gets confused, and I just don't want him to get scared or hurt or... Hmm. No, Grandpa. Let's see what I can find. Those flowers by the sea lion pool. Is something else there? My wonderful Earl. Yep, this is him. Hey, I didn't find your grandpa yet, but I did find a note for him. It name drops a botanical garden. My grandparents used to take weekend walks through the botanical gardens. That has to be where he is. I'm so close! I have to find Grandpa! This inhaler has Grandpa's name on it. It can't be too far. If I could figure out what's in the inhaler, I could probably create a trail leading to Grandpa.
Let's see here. Ah, that's not right. That's not right. Done. Hey, your grandpa isn't at the gardens. But I was able to create a trail using his inhaler. That should lead me right to him. Oh no, really? Please hurry. He needs that thing like he needs lungs. Lately, I've been so busy. Sometimes taking care of him felt like a thing I had to do. But the thought of losing him... All I want is to sit with him. What's wrong with me? Don't be so hard on yourself. But trying to keep responsibility straight is tough. Trust me. I get it. You're doing your best. by the lake. I'll hang with him until you get here. You did? I'm on my way. Stay right there. Hey there, sir. Spider-Man? Whatever you think I did, I didn't. <laughs> Your granddaughter's looking for you, sir. Granddaughter? Huh. Well, tell her I'll be back in a minute. I propose to my wife here. Right here. Where we sit. Man, you're making the rest of us look bad. How'd you ask? First off, we had to go to the zoo. Never met a soul who loved animals more than that woman. I was terrified. I meant to ask her at the meerkats. <laughs> she said they reminded her of me. But my knees were knocking, man. I couldn't see straight. We left the zoo and just kept walking. Ended up here. She... <laughs> if you saw her, man, just perfect. But clumsy. Nearly fell into that pond there. <laughs> Face first. You ever been in love, Spider-Man? I, uh... <laughs> maybe. It's beautiful. Nothing more beautiful. Can I tell you something, Spider-Man? I know I'm fading. It's scary as hell. Thought I'd be ready, but nothing gets you ready. Nothing. When I'm here, it's like she is too. Like I'm living it all over again. All nervous and sweating and whatnot. And I look into her eyes, and it's like I'm home. I was so nervous that day, Spider-Man. Almost didn't even ask. It's like I blinked, and she's gone. I'm sorry. You said my granddaughter was looking for me? Let's go see her. I should have guessed you'd come here. Sorry we lost track of each other. It was my fault for wandering off. But Spider-Man took good care of me. Had a nice chat about your grandma. Oh, yeah? She used to love this spot, huh? 
I feel like I spent every weekend here with her, feeding the duck. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I don't know much. <laughs> Gotta change it to Miles first. Then I'll scope out the park. Incognito. I don't see any bad guys. Hmm. Then should we take a closer look? <laughs> Hello. I'm Quentin Beck, master illusionist. And this is Betsy, my business partner, and Cole, my technical advisor. And this... is the next generation of entertainment. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Excellent! Cool. A brave young man, ready to experience the future firsthand. Is there anyone else out there with courage in their hearts? Come on, come all, and experience the future! There's a kiosk up ahead. Just keep moving. If you enjoy your experience, please tell your friends and feel free to visit one of the many Mysteriums now open around the city. Our free trial ends soon. Thank you, Betsy. I'm sure you will. Now to customize your experience. As you look at these images, I want you to think about your future, your hopes and your dreams. Ah, yes. I'm getting good data. And we're done. No way! <laughs> Enjoy the show. Don't worry, I'll be watching and listening. If at any time you begin to feel uncomfortable, just let us know. Enjoy your dream come true. Nice!
to it. Fast. I think if you finish the song, you might hit a break point in the program. There. You should see an exit. Make your way to the... Okay. Time to go. Are you okay? Yeah. I am very sorry. We will do our best to find out what happened. But until then... Miles! So, uh, what's up with that? Oh. <laughs> uh, the future of entertainment still has some bugs to work out. Hi, Pete. <laughs> Cool shirt, cool shoes, uh, really cool shoes. Cool everything, really. Hey, Miles. Thank you. Uh, guys, this is my best friend, Harry. Uh, he just got back from overseas, and he's starting up a new research foundation. You mean we're starting up a new research foundation? <laughs> hey, good to meet you. Uh, new job, huh? Still gonna have time for tutoring? We'll figure it out. Shall we? 
Actually, that thing back there really messed my head up. Can we dip? Okay. Nice meeting you, Harry. Yeah, you too. You, you good? Yeah. Actually, uh, I'll catch up with you later. Hey, we should really check it on Miles. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, I will. Okay. Well, they seem nice. <laughs> Not too bad they're gonna miss out on the best night of our lives, huh? <laughs> All right, here's the plan. Tonight is the greatest hits album of our childhood. And the top three singles, each of our favorite attractions. Welcome. All right, let's do this. Step right up. You have no idea who you're up against. <laughs> Good luck. You'll meet it. Now, Pete, you got this. All yeah, right, players. Fingers on the trigger, eyes on the target. And they're off. The great Coney Island Open returns after three years, and our returning competitors seem to be in the highest of spirits. Harry, what are you doing? Distracting you. Duh. Not that it's working. Oh, that's dirty. Go, Pete! You're taking his side? I don't root for cheaters. Ooh, burn! And our returning champion keeps his crown! <laughs> Hold up! You guys want your prize? Oh, we're good, thanks. I look good in the crown. Next on our top three, MJ Watson featuring the Speed Demon. <laughs> yes! Let's hit the other rides and games on the way. If we do enough of them, we can win something from the prize booth. I knew I read that somewhere. God, I hope the speed demon is as terrifying as I remember. How did I let you talk me into this? Ah, stop and smell the popcorn. How can you think about food right now? You know me, I have many talents. Sure. Spinning vertigo ride out of the way. <laughs> Forgot how much I love that one. One more down. Ready for round two, Pete? One of us has to be. Step on oh, up. It you know you want to play with swish, fun. swish, fish. Never knew you were so into basketball, Harry. With all this energy I've had lately, I'm into everything. Oh, there he is. for our ticket. Dolphin racing? Maybe some other time. Throw the ball. Knock him down is calling our name. A baby could. Heard pyramids are the most stable structure. Let's test that out. I know somebody who blew 20 bucks trying to knock him down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not supposed to be able to do that. And another one's gone. Ready to put our love to the test? Okay, you two go get declared soulmates. I'm gonna fly solo. See if I give off Casanova vibes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> soulmates, huh? No pressure. What does this thing know about us? Maybe that you should move in with me? Or maybe that everything's too up in the air to think about it yet? Yeah, maybe. Whoa, that can't be right. 
What is this thing reading anyway? Our body temperature? <laughs> or our skin's pH? Highly doubt it's that sophisticated. Over here, let's do this one next. Go karts, anyone? <laughs> Wait, you're driving? Hard pass. Come on, you two lovebirds. We've got more park to explore. doing here looks like he's a mechanic and saving the day <laughs> thanks for pulling me out man it could have been really bad maybe we should try the roller coaster <laughs> how excited I'd be to ride the speed demon again. Whoops. <laughs> Dolphin racing? Maybe some other time. Okay, I know we promised no real-life talk, but I need one call for us. MJ, you have to come by EMF. You can check out Pete's new office. Ugh, I know, I have to. But I've been so busy trying to impress Jonah. Her boss. Wait, what? Jonah Jameson? Slimy shock jock Jonah? Who's telling you what to do? Uh, only if I want to stay employed. You really did need a night out. Huh? I loved this ride as a kid. The feeling of flying was such a thrill. It looks so small now. Pretty sure all of us exceed the height limit. You sure? <sighs> Very funny. I think I'll go see if that claw machine is still finessable like old times. You two coming? We'll catch up in a sec. Glad he's doing what he loves. Killing it at the claw machine? I'm at the foundation. It's great that he gets to make a living helping people. I'll bet your book helped more people than you realize. Always looking on the bright side, huh? Better than the alternative. Coney might be the best place to people watch. True. Oh, I want a hat like that, guys. Mm, not your color. Now that one. That would take confidence I don't have. And maybe a beard. A beard? Mustache? Maybe. Ooh, see that couple? Aren't they cute? Very. You look so young, though. Hmm, high school? Is that what high schoolers look like now? They're babies. It's like we're getting older. Nope, I refuse. I don't believe it. Claw Machine has a new high score. Couldn't beat it. Tragic. Ah, skipping this ride. Oh, my shoes. It's so nice to just wander around and people watch. I honestly don't remember the last time we let ourselves relax for a night. Seems like it's been forever. <laughs> Stuff just always gets in the way. Man, Pete, you must have had one packed tutoring schedule. Ha! <laughs> yeah, so. You two have always had your noses to the grindstone. Sometimes you gotta stop and smell the roses. Says the guy who started a foundation two seconds after finishing life-saving medical treatment. I know how lucky I am to have gotten a second chance. I have a responsibility to make the most of it. Work hard, play hard.
Cotton candy, anyone? I can't. Strict diet. Doc's orders. Too sweet for me. Windows, man. Not Windows. How's it feel? Weirdly high. Or do you mean being this handsome, this charm? Being Peter. Being Peter is nice. I think we could both use more nights like this. Yeah. We always say we will, but... Let's pinky promise this time. Just not right now. Too high. All right. Postponed pinky promise. Woo! <laughs> Oh, needed that. So relaxing up there. Hmm. Two more. Those are really moving. <sighs> Everything okay? Yeah. Oh, smells incredible. Hey, Harry. Want to get that chili dog you were craving yesterday? Too early for that. I want to cap the evening off devouring as many chili dogs as I can fit in my pie hole. What's your secret admirer one? <laughs> Who, Jonah? Nothing. Not a word on my article yet. Still can't believe he's your boss. Let's just find something to hit. I remember when the pizza didn't Whose face were you picturing? On the moles? Classic transference. It was totally Jonas, was it? Harry's right, Pete. If we get in line now, we'll be standing here all night. All right, little hydras. Come out, come out wherever you are. Is that a dunk tank? That's kind of dark. No, no, thank you. You weren't any good. Really? You used to be really into swimming. Didn't you win state? It's like you said, MJ. People can change. Thanks, Pete. So many marks. Weather, smell of hot dogs, people laughing. Look, you kind of even see the stars up there. Pretty sure that's a plane. This could be a good one. Hey, Pete, this is the best night of my life. Hey, Harry, me too. <laughs> I want to have my birthday here this year. I didn't think I'd get any more of those. There'll be plenty, buddy. Painting the town something, you know this. Red. Red. <laughs> Sorry, my head's all over the place. No, no, and it's out. You know I'm right about those stars. <laughs> How about this prize good? right here? I thought you said you go easy. It's in a handbag.
surprise After with our you. name on it. Looking good, Pete. <laughs> Such a gentleman. You know I'm never taking this off, right? You're gonna wear that to the office. Doing okay? Co-founder approved. I'm really nervous. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what are the chances the person Harry gave his prize to would be the single writer sitting next to him? I mean, it would be one heck of a meet cute. Should we tell her? Tell her what? What are you two whispering about up there? <laughs> Just reminding MJ to keep her hands inside the vehicle at all times. Showcase of the night. The muscle up. Oh, you know it, baby. Never did hit that bell. But the dream always kept me coming back. I think this will be the year. <laughs> gets to see these. Amy's got some talent. Expert color theory at work here. Feels familiar, yet modern. Well, somebody remembered a thing or two from AP art. Hey, sexy. How was your day? Muscle up. Muscle up. Muscle up. Muscle up! Muscle up! Muscle up! Welcome! All right, all Who's right. up first? Pete, come on. <clears throat> nice! <laughs> Take it easy, Harry. Don't hurt yourself. The only thing that's gonna hurt is your Parker pride. Boys, boys. They're both pretty. That was something else. <sighs> yeah, I have no idea how I did that. Okay, how about we do something more chill? Looks like the Ferris wheel line has died down some. Okay, uh... <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let you two go ahead and be cute together. I'm gonna go see if I can win a couple more unicorns.
You look really happy. It's funny. Harry's getting a second chance, but I feel like I'm getting one too. You two are gonna make a hell of a team. <laughs> The bugle posted. Did Jonah put you on the front page? Oh, you're gonna be an editor. I should have brought champagne. Hunters and scorpions and explosions. Oh my. Jonah posted the new guy story. Oh, MJ. Uh, yeah. It already has five thousand views. <sighs> I've got to write a different kind of story. Win his trust, somehow. Hey, you'll come up with something. You always do. Thanks. Sure. And, hey, if you need some help from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I'd say we make a hell of a team, too. Even if I do forget the champagne. Next time. What you call your sable stingray? Still workshopping it. I'll let you know when I find Harry. They're moving in on the raceway. That's where Tombstone was working. He's tough, but so are these guys. Hunters, start your engines! And may the best spider win! I knew he'd get the race. Spider-Man or Tombstone? We got both! MJ, you found Harry? Not yet, but I saw Mysterio. Kevin's Goon Squad doesn't seem to be interested in it. At all. And they must only want Tombstone. Thanks for the tip! Yeah. I'll keep looking for Harry. Additional units are on their way. Could you come back later? Now isn't really a good time! 
joke! Get rid of the fight! This should be over soon, if you'll just bear with me! I got these guys, Tombstone! You just worry about breaking through that net! Never thought I'd see the day you defend me! You and me both, Lonnie! But these guys' this boss wants you dead! He's a hunter, and he's making supervillains his prey! Yes, he's not open to a call from my role officer about how I turned my life around. Since he's already killed Scorpion? Probably not! Down here and fight! Get the fighter off our backs! Once and for all!
I'm sorry! We sure do. Spider-Man? I know, I know. But first, what are those things coming out of you? I think it's my treatment. <laughs> Dr. Connor said it's some kind of self-learning exosuit, but I had no idea it could... Wait. You know what this means, right? We both have superpowers. Just think about all the stuff we could do to heal the world! Sorry. I, uh, guess I still gotta figure out how this thing works. Well, it's a real shame neither of us has a state-of-the-art science lab to run some tests. I'll go make sure the coast is clear. Meet you there. Give me a call when you're ready. I saw what happened at Coney. What was that? Well, uh, remember my friend Harry? Yeah? That was him? How? Honestly, no idea. I think it's this treatment he's been... Oh, that's Harry. You gotta go. Hey, I cleared out the foundation. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> swing by. Man, how many times have you said that in minutes, literally? Good, good. Ah, the Manhattan Bridge. Can you believe they started building it in 1901? Finished in 1909. I thought it was old when I was a kid, but now it's just amazing the history that's in this city. for peace have been rejected by calls for violence. From, you know it, Spider-Man. An attack on what was once a destination for enjoyment now stands desecrated and defiled. Our cherished Coney Island was victim to a free-for-all brawl destroying iconic attractions and history itself. Some of my fondest memories were at Coney Island. 
My father used to buy me the nickel pop and hot dog combo, and I, like any self-respecting American, would overindulge. Now, it's all been taken from me. To make matters worse, Spider-Man seems to have brought a new friend along for his night on the town. Just what this city needs. Another vigilante to take the law into their own hands. One person wasn't enough for you to corrupt Spider-Man. You need two acolytes to do your bidding. Add to the pile of unpleasantness, the hunters and reformed criminal Lonnie Lincoln, AKA Tombstone, and you have a recipe for the ruination of any normal person just trying to have a night out. These hunters are clearly after the Spider-Man and any of their accomplices. They're as much a blight on this city as the heroes protecting it. I'm sure Old Glory Mayor Grant loves what this does for tourism. See what else this thing can do. What are you doing? Science, buddy. I'm doing science. <laughs> so, Spider-Man, you told MJ, but not your best friend? To protect you. I, I wanted to. Right. Yeah, I get it. And that kid you're tutoring, he's the other one? Uh, a lot happened while you were in that tank. Trust me, I know. <laughs> nice and gentle. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. What the hell happened here? Um, we were, we were just, um, doing some experiments. Where's Dr. Connors? Uh, maybe he took the day off? No. He doesn't take days off. I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll call you later. I need a minute. Harry's got superpowers? This is all happening so fast. Wait, what's that? Hey guys, I'm getting a strange spider bot signal. You got that too? Uh, Genki, you testing something? I was just about to call you guys. A bunch of them just ping the network out of nowhere. They're using some funky wireless protocols. I'll check it out and let you know what I find. Looking sharp. Uploading info to the Spidey server. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for more. Send me the data when you find them. I'll try to track down who made them. Hey, long night. Hey, MJ. Harry and I stayed up doing tests on his suit. And we may have had too much pizza. 
It was really nice. <laughs> Just like the good old days. So I gotta know, what's Harry's radioactive spider? I've never seen anything like this before. It's some kind of exosuit that completely eradicates any trace of his disease. Dr. Connors really outdid himself this time. That's incredible. And great timing, considering what happened at the park. Any leads on where they might have taken Tombstone? Not yet, but if I hear anything, you're my first call. Oh, you're the best. Yeah, I know. Okay, what's next? <clears throat> we still haven't figured out who made that weird spider bot. Gotcha. Hey, Yuri. I tracked the followers of the flame to an abandoned clinic in Chinatown. We go together, maybe we'll find their boss. So you can leave them to die too? Not unless I have to. Look, this cult needs to be stopped. You want to come along, it'd make things easier, but I don't need you. If I went, I could keep an eye on her. Coney Island. First off, the latest news from first responders is many injuries, but... Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help Please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Let's scan these vines. really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. One's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Can't wait to see this grow. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yeah, just gotta patch this up. Webs should do the trick. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. Ah! 
May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? And I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Spiders, got something for you. Head to this location. Felicia? Hey, Felicia. Heard some chatter about the steel foundry in Williamsburg off a radio I swiped from those hunters. Sounds like tombstones there. He could use your help. Thanks. Glad you're all right. Did you make it to Paris in time? Yeah, I did. Figured I owed you one. Both of you. Even if the other Spider-Man couldn't be bothered to make an appearance. Uh, yeah! Oh, about... You can save the explanation. We've both moved on. He's a good one, by the way. He really is. Well, thanks for the tip. I'm not sure I'd be able to find Tombstone in time without you. Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself. Those fashion school rejects won't be getting the drop on me again. Ta-ta, spiders. Miles, let me take this one. You're gonna miss your essay deadline. B what if... If Lee's there, I'll take care of him. Spider-Man can wait. Miles can't. All right. Just keep in touch. Hope Felicia's lead was right. Gotta get to Tombstone before Craven crosses him off his list, too. She go inside? Nope. How is this going to work? Just team up like normal, or... How long you been tracking these guys? A few weeks. Heard rumors for a while. They leave bodies in their wake. They care a lot about the Crimson Hour, whatever that is. The hot new club in Hell's Kitchen? Wow, that just popped out there, huh? Who says stuff like that? Not me. Good enough. When we find their boss, how will we know it's their boss? Something tells me these people aren't fans of society. Let's look around. Huh. Take out the cultists and keep moving? Sounds good. So, it's been, what, a year and a half since... How have you been? You don't have to do the same work. We're here on a job. Stay down. Please. Fool's beacon. How can you be sure to fire me? Because the play is short. Has he ever been wrong? Hey, everything okay? It's not small talk for me. I was worried about you. I'm fine. I was angry before and sloppy. But I'm better now. Ember down! Steady. This must be Spider-Man's doing. We'll find you soon enough, Spider. signs of their boss yet. Let's keep going. Uh, it's locked. And I bet forcing it will trigger an alarm. Doesn't look like it takes keys. Must be a way to unlock it around here. Is this 
supposed to be a good thing or a bad thing? How does any of that look good? Looks like the cult uses tattoos to show off their ranks. Seems like new recruits are always paired up when they join. Good way to keep an eye on everyone. Wait, I've got an idea. You want to share with the class? Just watch. That's it. The door only opens when it sees the correct pair of tattoos. I've got mine. You see anyone with a Hephaestus tattoo? Please, please don't wake up. And not the tattoo I'm looking for. Great. There we go. Second time's the charm. Ugh. So, you got any tattoos? Just the one of Spider Cup's gravestone. Come on. Really? You run away again, he won't be so forgiving. Trust the flame, for everything burns. <laughs> for everything burns. Did you hear that somewhere before? I'll do. Let's check on the prisoners. We'll get you out of here. The door controls are in the next room. Hurry! How many followers are in the building? I... I don't know. A lot. We're gonna get you out of here as soon as we can. Please. I'm not supposed to be here. We'll find a way to get you out. If the flame lets you. Hey, you okay in there? Hello? We're here to help. Don't be so loud. So the controls are in the next room. Someone's bound to see us if we go through the doors. If they're the followers of the flame, is that the flame holding court down there? I don't think so. He is still worthy. Let all doubt be washed away as we celebrate this Ember's passage from Titan to... You doing okay? You sound... Let's hope there's more here than that screensaver! See the door controls anywhere? I'm not sure. The wiring for the cells leads right here. Stop meeting like this, Yuri. People will think you're trying to kill me. Never thought you'd be able to trick anyone into joining one of your little clubs again. Love is not a trick. None of this is love. I extended my hand when nobody else would. I doubt you, nor the fool's beacon there would have done the same. But what would it take for you to love me? Tell me where you're hiding and I'll show you. <laughs> the old hospital north of Astoria. Stop by any time. If you're both worthy, You 
you knew who the flame was this whole time? No! I had my suspicions, but I wasn't sure until I saw him. How did you two know each other? You had another group like this when I was a cop. I shut them down. He got away. Go after him. After we help the prisoners get out. the door up above. It's the only way out. Wait here. We'll make sure it's safe. You want to handle the door? Why not? <laughs> okay. First things first. How does he know who you are? My voice. And I was chasing this as a cop. He enjoyed it. I was. You can always tell me how I failed. <laughs> What else do you know about it? That group he ran with before? When we got close to capturing him, he told them it was finally time. He helped them so nobody would talk to him. And they let it. He's a monster. Out of the little extra kid. There's no stopping the problem. So this is the first time you've seen him since he got away? I tried to track him down for months. But other cases got in the way. They knew he was around me. And the followers of the flame! Are they like his old group? The old group was all These people? I don't know what's bigger. They're number one with their confidence. Now let's get those folks out of here. Shouldn't take us long to get to the hospital. Yuri! This is the most obvious trap I've ever seen! And I fought Trapster. We can't wait on this one. You don't know him. I do know that we can't help anyone if we rush in there and get killed. We need a plan. I'll scout out this hospital base of his and make sure everything's safe. Happy? That's one word for it, sure. Another word would be slightly less stress. Have you heard the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either! But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds? He finally landed himself where he belonged. Behind bars. <laughs> Now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. 
people. Do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I can think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. Snout. Be on my way! Sorry guys, but I'm not leaving without that sand crystal! Marco, what's going on in that head of yours? I tell them to leave us alone, but they don't care. They shoot me with a net, try to hold me down. And I was... damned before I knew it. I'm so ashamed, but I had no choice. I've gotta get back to you. The Hunters were after him! Marco had to do something, or else he'd be just like Scorpion right now. Some Hunters are trying to stake out a roof! Why hasn't been... You okay over there? <sighs> Gotta be honest, not loving the hidden ambush spot! <clears throat> That looked expensive, sorry! Nice to know even hunters have trouble with their tech.
Is this a Jonah? Parker, put me down! Hey, get this. It looks like these imposter spider bots are getting pinged by some third party. Like someone else is tracking them? Exactly. I just need to figure out who. Collect any others you can find. I need all the data I can get. Nice one, Genki. Got us one step closer to solving this thing. That's perfect. My best friend's kid painted this. I remember her showing me a sketch of it the day before it went up. New York is nothing without its people. Someone needs help with a photography project. Not sure how Spider-Man can help, but I'll give it a try. Hello to you as well. Ah, uh, I wanted to get a candid shot. I want to be a real photojournalist, you know? Document the city as it is. Like this photo, captured by Peter Parker. That was his first cover photo way back in the day. I want to do that. Oh, wow. Can't believe you have this. First cover. I think I actually remember when he took that. Mr. Jameson, it's Peter Parker. I called about selling you some photos. See, my uncle just passed and our mortgage is due and- Parker, I didn't ask for your life story. Sorry. I'm sitting outside the bugle finishing my coffee. If you can get here before I'm done, I'll look at your photos. But I'm warning you, I drink fast. But Mr. Jameson, I'm biking down Fifth, the traffic- If you want something, you go after it. But- Tell me something, are you a New Yorker or some slack-jawed tourist? Um. New Yorker? Then when something's in your path, you yell, coming through! And if something blocks you, go around. New Yorkers always find a way. You know why people live in this town? Is it the cheap rent? The low cost of living? No. This godforsaken hellhole is the greatest city ever created. Hey, move your ass. Yours is the ass that should be moving. Come on, I gotta get to work. I clearly got the right of way. Right away, mine. Mine alone. Oh no! Fish! Stop looking for an excuse and keep going! Check uh, the idiot. smell! Breathe it in, Parker! That's all you big apple! Oh, Mr. Jameson, I should focus on the road! Oh, am I boring you, Parker? No, sir! Oh no, construction ahead. I'll never get it. Eyes on the prize, Parker! Excuse me, can I come through? You're a New Yorker! Tell them you're coming through! Say, look out, halfwit! These are my streets! Couple weeks, two, three... Hey, beat it! Two-wheeled menace! Hey! Halfway! Don't sorry, excuse me, scooting by! Uh, Parker? Pathetic! Be a man about it! 
Show them your manhood! Yes, sir! Wait, what? Almost there. I'll cut through Washington Square Park. I'm a few steps away from killing this coffee, Parker. You better haul ass. Kid's gonna get himself killed. Thanks! Stop sounding so timid! Sorry! And stop apologizing! Sorry! I mean... Focus! Is that guy getting mugged? Happens all the time, Parker. <sighs> Act like you live here! Be a New Yorker. A million people in this city, <laughs> sweetheart. Spidey ain't coming. Hey! Leave him alone! What'd you say, you little toothpick? <laughs> Hey, what are you, a tourist slack mouth? Just kidding. What you say, you little? That's it. He's going down. Tear your pocket, nerd. This is gonna hurt, but not like permanently. Oh, look at this feisty little stick figure. The bigger you are, the the that you're fat. I didn't mean that. I'll twist your little pinhead off. Yeah. You making fun of me? I did it. It was fun, even. You okay? I am. Because you stopped to help. Thanks. Looks like they roughed up my bike, too. How will I get to the bugle in time now? Uh-oh, my photos. All but one of them are ruined. May needs this money. And I need this job. I can do this on foot. I have to. Out of the way! I'm a New Yorker! Coming through, people! Is he? Mr. Jameson? Peter Parker. You're late. I have something you're gonna wanna put on the front page of the bugle. Cocky little guy, aren't you? Just trying to wear my confidence on the outside. Like a New Yorker. Parker, this is terrible. Your lighting is flat, your composition is awful. God knows why you're shooting on film like some kind of caveman. And your nose is bleeding. But you're in luck. I need a picture of the spider creep for tomorrow's front page. Congratulations! You're officially a bugle photographer. Really? Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. Are you okay? Because you've been staring at that for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, can you tell me how to meet this guy? Peter Parker? You don't want his career. You want yours. But what I can tell you is that he learned to go after what he wanted. And if one route didn't work, we'll find another way around. Okay. I'll find another way. Give me an action shot I can bring to the Buga. Oh, well, sure. This good? Yeah, and when you jump, angle left so I get your silhouette. I... I will. You got it. Ready, set, jump! Go, Spidey! See you next time! Look out, turkeys! New York are coming through!
sand crystal. More Marco memories scattered all over New York. Sorry to break it to you, but the beach is that way! Despite all appearances, this is no day at the beach! Finally, we open up this crystal in peace. I lose the grapes at the school and come home. Walk through the front door. But you're not there. They are. What have they done to you, Kimia? Craven's real twisted for putting Marco's kid in the middle of all this. Gotta look for more crystals to find out what happened. Marco's memory is returning and he's agitated. The doctors are piecing together what happened. It, it sounds like it's not all his fault. I'll let you know if I hear more. Let's see what Dr. Young is up to out here. Peter, thank you so much for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great. Let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Let's go. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Who knew rats ate bees? Bee wolves, bee gone. Gotcha. Nice. You've completed the data set. Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be realistic. Here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. estate agent a real estate agent bingo careful low battery Man, you've completed the set. The drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful.
friendly people, what's been up? I found the sweetest email in my inbox today, and I just had to share it with you. It reads, Dear Danica, I know you're reporting on high-profile stories these days, but if you have time, I'd like to forward a public thank you on your show. I'm a BBA senior who would never have gotten an A on their final cinematography project if it wasn't for Spider-Man's help. I was so grateful, I decided to name my new hamster after him. It meant a lot that he took the time to help me, given how much he's had to deal with lately. Sometimes, the smallest good things make ripples. If you read this, thanks for reading. Sincerely, Odyssey. Oh, Odyssey, I love stories like this. Small things make such a difference. So, here is my challenge for all of you. Do something small today. Give a stranger a compliment, buy a friend a coffee, put a coin in the meter next to yours, anything. You never know what good it'll do. Well, that seems like enough advice for this episode. Take the most care, everyone, and take care of each other. Welcome to the real-world trial for our ultra-efficient battery bicycles. Nice. We'd love you to take a bike for a spin, passing through 10 checkpoints to measure real-world battery metrics. Head to the bike rack in Central Park and hop on. Your badge will grant you access. No need to make headlines. This is a job for plain old Pete. Now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. Okay, let's head to that first checkpoint. Checking in at the checkpoint. Concert happening today. MJ and Harry and I have been to some great shows in the park. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. This bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. things blow up on me, but this would be my first bicycle. Gotta hurry. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. The bridge is blocked. Gotta get over there somehow. The battery will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runaway. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating outdoor temperatures are the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. That's a 
lot of nesting boxes. Peter, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and beetles, so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Bee Bodyguards, Queen's Edition. Giving new meaning to Queen Bee. Good one. These are Queen's Bees, but not to be confused with Queen Bee. Identified predator detected. Uh oh, what's that? Better go check that out. Whoa! That bird! It's going after the nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha! Meropidae albicollis, the white throated bee eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoot this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real world mode. Cool. I can really encourage this bird to get going. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey, bird! I can't follow you if you don't move. Get going! I'm giving you a little push. Mush, birdie. Keep it moving, buddy. Gotta shoot him to scoot him. This is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that.
we've got a prowler on our hands. If that gas truck blows up, it'll take out the whole block! Yeah, we're not doing this today! There's an ambulance nearby. I can take you to it. Oh my god. Thank you. We're close. You're doing great. There. You're all set. And I hope the worst is over now. Bless you, Spider-Man! Turbines 
eyes are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the webways. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. Here we go! Huh. Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Court and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. This is really high. How can such tiny turbines create so much energy? Fly free, little turbine! Kabam! One more! There we go! Great! They're all happily launched! I'll just head back! The turbine's been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that! Palindrome's attacking the turbine! I've gotta stop them! You guys again! I really wish we'd stop meeting like this! Stay out of our way, and we won't have to! Uh, really? I'm in your way? this turbine back in place. There. All up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. You guys need help with that? Fight him! Just how many of you are there? Here comes the bang! What are you protecting? Regularly scheduled programming. Sand crystal time. I start yelling, losing my cool. If they did anything to you, I can feel the sand about to take over. And then they splash me with some chemical. Don't know what it is, but trying my hardest to stay awake. I'm fading fast until. I see. Black. Must have used some strong stuff to knock out Sandman. But what happened to Kemia?
Okay, Dr. Young, bring it on. Hello, Peter. Let's do one last training session. You know the drill. Help the drone identify predators as well as optimal nesting sites. Just gotta boot up the drone. Let's do some target practice. Gotcha! Another one down. Bullseye. It's always nice to be flying around Brooklyn. Yes. Let's mark those nest sites. You got the bug? Yeah. Let's get it back to the garage. What just happened? Did someone steal the drone? I'll head to its last location before it went dark. See if I can figure out where it went. Hmm, no sign of it. Or anyone. Those guys said something about a garage. There's a few close by. If I can find the right one, I should be able to reconnect to the drone from the roof. Better start checking out these garages. Telling it's fine. Just a little stunned. It's not really moving. Bingo. This is the place. Let's connect the video signal. What is this place? And more importantly, how do I get in there? Lots of cages in here. More bees. I don't know why these guys are collecting bees. I know they don't belong cooped up in here. I'd better turn on that sonic laser mode. Let's kill two bees with one shot. I free them, and then they'll help me get that door open. Got a buzz buzz, my little bird. Fly! Be free! That's uh, one! Let's meet our new contestants on Flip to the Face! Spider-Man! Uh, uh, drone! Uh, safety uh, mode! Fly home! Uh, uh, Spider! Alright guys, you gotta tell me. Bee? Uh, uh, never heard of it. Uh, a bee-lighted arrival! Uh, uh, Come on, fellas! There has to be an easier way to make money! Why do you even care about some bees? You know how many plants exist because of bees? That they play a critical role in... You don't care? Not that much. Oh, it's on, Spider-Man! <laughs> that's all of them. I'll definitely let Dr. Young know about this poaching operation. It's no good for the bees. Real or drone.
Not bad. Hey, you pay for that photo, Spider-Man? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're cool. Oh, no. You're radical. I heard this guy dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before eating them. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right. out my stash at the old radio station. I was wondering where I was. That station was the hottest ticket in Brooklyn for up-and-coming hip-hop artists back in the day. You and Pops get any airtime? We got close. But they bumped us last minute for this next-level group out of Staten Island. I still got your beats if you want them. <laughs> NYC ain't ready for a prowler spotty mixtape. Take it easy, kid. Hope Unk starts making music again. It would be a good distraction for him. Foundry, this place sure is active. What is taking them so long? Extra precautions. Tombstone has proven challenging. Right. Stay ready. Hunt to live. Live to hunt. We need to clear these rooftops and find a way in. It's lousy with hunters. If it's all for me, I'm honored. Hey, finally finished with my dad. Still no clue where Dr. Connors is. I haven't seen Dad look this stressed in a while. We'll find Connors. Why don't you call MJ and ask her to go swing by his house? Yeah, good idea. I'll meet you back at the Foundation once I'm done here. What are you up to? Need a hand? In Williamsburg, at the old steel foundry. Sounds like they're holding Tombstone here. Sounds like a job for the Spider Pals. That is not what we're calling ourselves. Well, what do you and the other guy go by? I don't know. Spider-Man? Spider-Mans? That's... confusing. I should go. This place is crawling with hunters. So you do need help? No, do not come here. These people are deadly. Can't risk you getting hurt. Talk soon. We 
must not fail, Raven. Keep your guard up. No one gets inside. This smokestack looks like my ticket in. Just got off the phone with MJ. She says she'll head over to Connor soon. That's great news. Yeah, just making sure. You said the steel foundry, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Guardio. Get back to your workout. I have to find Tombstone quick before he ends up like Scorpion. We lost communication outside. Tighten security around Tombstone. Calling reinforcements. Reinforcements? Better play this quietly. Tombstone is unlike any beast I've faced. Rather deal with tombstones than black death. She said some of the others were found Arctic. Who is that? Spider-Man! The spider! Do not let him interfere! That's the last of them. You guys just can't make it easy. <laughs> Harry? What are you doing here? I'm helping you out, Spider-Man. You're welcome, by the way. I was hoping to do this quietly. Is this my fault? You go left, I go right. Let's do this. I know you said you had this, but come on, look at us. Honestly, kind of hope to start you off with something easier. What better way to learn than on-the-job training? You never felt so strong. Don't let it get to your head. We're not invincible. Punching bad guys. I've had to make some hard choices too. That's the gig. Thing down. I'm all ears! Up there! <laughs> 
Rescue a super villain. Reformed super villain. But still a guy who's tried to kill you a few times. He's trying to change. I want to help him. All right, let's. Come on! Gotta hit them before they hit us! Uh, here we go again. Another one? Love your enthusiasm, but I like to work smarter, not harder. Doesn't matter. Got this. We do until we don't. Understood. I won't let you down. You okay with all this fire? Yeah, actually. Not even breaking a sweat. Incoming! This escalated quickly. It always does. If we don't move, it won't see us. Well, that was wishful thinking. They're here! What was that thing with your suit? I don't know. That alarm really messed with my head. I'm glad you're all right. You're going. Don't forget the robot dogs. What's gonna try to kill us next?
tells me we're close. Starting to feel out of my depth here. Sure we can do this? Of course. We're the Spider Pals. All right. Yeah! There's our guy. What's the plan? I think we should get him. I'll run a distraction. See if you can break him free. On it. They grow up so fast. I'm gonna break you out of here. Okay? You can't. They rigged this whole thing. Then I'll derig it. What did I just tell you? Sorry, it's my first day. Gonna need a hand here! Be right back. Are they getting bigger? One more time into the fire? You're making jokes at a time like this? Part of the job. Ironic. The spider comes to me. Hey, you owe me one. <laughs> Let's see if we make it out. Coming from some sort of booking agency? We have to turn off this furnace. There! If we can overload the machine with a coolant, it should shut down. Time to shut down the furnace. <sighs> All right, this should. Ah! You trying to kill everyone here? What's the plan? Sorry. They don't quit. Well, neither do we. <laughs> Getting hot in here. I haven't noticed. I think this suit is fireproof. Lucky you! We don't have time for this! What do we do? Punch faster! That I can do! We gotta get Tombstone out! Maybe we can weaken the cage! There! Pull out those supports! Call me crazy! But this might be one of the best days of my life! We really need to get you out more! Two left! What's this thing made of? I don't know, but this place is falling apart! Keep trying! It's not working! Just hang on! We need to pull those supports down! This whole place is going down! I can't break through the cage! Maybe we... we go through the furnace! No, it's too hot in there! You got any better ideas? Hard choices, right? What are you doing? Come on, Harry. Now what? Let's move! Fast through here! done wonders for my mental health. You trying to die here? Move it! No, 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 no! We lost him! Don't 
Don't panic! Quick, this way! Harry! Harry! Gotta keep moving. Hold up. Can you see if we were followed? <laughs> On it. Only downside to going straight. The game keeps you in shape. Glad we got to you in time. Some of the others weren't so lucky. <laughs> they couldn't have off me if they tried. Sides, they were waiting for their boss to do the deed. You have someplace safe to go? Yeah. They come for me again, I'll be ready. Tell your friend thanks for looking out for me. See you around, Spider. Yeah. Looks like they split. We should too. Yeah. Hey, good job back there. Really? I was pretty sure I was just messing everything up. You were, but in the best possible way. What are you... Hold on. No! <sighs> Sorry. I'm still figuring out how this thing works. <laughs> nice design. What do you mean? Didn't you just... Huh? <laughs> I guess I did. <laughs> Would you look at that? I guess we really are spider pals now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna head back to the lab, see if Dr. Connors has showed up yet. Good call. I'll catch up with you soon. because you saw a millipede again. Better check in with Pete first. Hey, Miles. Yo, man. It's been a minute. You need any spider help? Actually, we're all good. We managed to rescue Tombstone before Craven could get his hands on him. We? Oh, long story short, my buddy Harry, he has some sort of power suit. Kicked all kinds of butt with it. He's gonna be a big help with these hunters, that's for sure. Wait, is he one of us now? Sort of? It's all happening fast, but we'll talk later. Gotta run. Talk later. He says that a lot. Okay. Better see what's going on with Ma. That looks like one of Beck's Mysteriums. I thought they were gonna shut these down. Need some help? The Mysterium is infected with a virus or something, and it's trapped someone inside. If you execute the breakpoint condition, the system should reset. Just try not to get hurt in the process. How would I get hurt if it's just an illusion? That, my friend, is what we're trying to find out. I believe that this rogue Mysterio 
was created by whoever corrupted our Mysterios. They are trying to frame me by using weaponized illusions to torture people. We believe that if you defeat these anomalies, you will be able to save And moreover, the more efficient you are in distracting these anomalies, the closer we will be to figuring out what went wrong. That's fine. So I'm debugging code by fighting these weird green skull dudes? Okay. This poison gas is not an illusion. Tick tock, Spider Man. data but don't let that stop you from jumping in again first things first we have to put together a pitch for investors wait Cole are you recording yep we're rolling I don't understand why we have to record all this. Because we're all going to be famous one day. And our fans are going to want to peek behind the curtain, so to speak. Ugh. Okay. Well, for the pitch, I can put together a prototype illusion that will blow your mind. Great idea. We also still need to come up with a name for our attractions. How about... Mysterians? No. No, no. We will not use the name Mysterio in any way, shape, or form. People are going to call you Mysterio whether you like it or not. But I am not Mysterio anymore. I am Quentin Beck, Master Illusionist. Beck didn't want to be a bad guy anymore. Good for him. Oh, you found one of our dev diaries. This is a project Betsy was passionate about. Unfortunately, more people are trapped in Mysteriums throughout the city. Oh, we must find out who is behind this and bring them to justice. This whole Mysterium thing feels shady. But if there are people trapped, I gotta help them. And try to figure out what's really going on. Looks like an accident waiting to happen. Punch it! Spider Man's after us! Score one for the good guys. This is always a handy place to change. This will make such a difference for the community. Thank you so much for your support. Okay. 
Bye bye. Miles. Hey, Ma. Mm. Ven, siéntate. <laughs> I just wanted to check in. See how you're doing. Todo bien? Mm. Fine. Everything's good. <sighs> okay. It's just a lot right now. So much to take care of in the city. Super stressed about my college essay. Pete's busy doing other stuff. And Lee. Lee is still out there. Doesn't that bother you? Of course it bothers me. But I'm committed to making this community better. I've got to let go of things that don't serve me and focus on where I want to go, not where I've been. ¿Entiendes lo que te digo? Yeah. But Lee? I can't just let him go. Angela, I'm gonna have to call you back. No, how can you be locked out? You have a key. Oh. No, no, I, I understand the urgency. Uh, let me make some calls. Okay. Mom, do you need me to go? Didn't you just finish telling me how busy you are? Yeah, but I always have time for my community. Okay, Ma, where am I headed? Harlem Cultural Center, 116th and Convent. That was my friend Angela on the phone. She's the curator, and she's trying to give a prospective donor a private tour. But the security system locked her out. Whoops! Awkward! Angela lined up a bunch of items for a new music exhibit, but funding fell through. And if this donor doesn't cover the costs, the museum might have to close. I'll make sure they get in. I'm passionate about preserving the musical heritage of this community. But how can I donate to a museum where the security system isn't even functional? Darren, I hear your concerns, but I assure you this museum will be... Spider-Man. Oh, thank God. The system's locked us out and it's not responding to any input at all. Let's see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. I need to find the control panel. There we go. Control panel. Relays are overloaded. Gotta get inside the walls to fix them. Let's patch things up so Angela can give that tour. Who are these guys? Should the alarm will go off? The MP took out the whole system. They're all alone. Break this padlock and we're in. So that's how Angela got locked out. Better reset the system so I can get in there and stop these guys. Hmm, not too bad. Let me fix it up real quick. Got it. But the system's still down. Gotta find the other relay boxes. Hey, Miles. I checked in with all the feast shelters. No one has seen Martin Lee. Thanks. I let him get away when I could have. You know? Could have what? Made sure he didn't hurt anyone else. Right. Well, don't worry. I'll keep looking. Keep following that wiring. There must be some valuable stuff in here. These guys seem like pros. This 
back online. Nice. But the system's still down. Must be more relays. Sax and Drum are already in the truck, right? Yeah. But we got time. And a lot more room in the trucks. I need to pass these guys without being spotted. How about a distraction in the key of the C? Should stay out of sight as much as I can through here. Punk out on me. You could do this. Another pen above that guy. Who's that? Yo, Doug, that better be you. Hey, what's that? Shoot it! Miles, everything okay? I ran into a snag, but I'm handling it. While you're there, check out some of the instruments. Get you ready for college. Ma, I'm going into music tech. Computers are my instruments. Music starts with a human, their instrument and their soul. When you're mixing or sampling, you have to listen close and capture that soul. Computers can't do that. You know how old you sound right now? Old and wise, you mean? stronger signal now. Looks like there's one more relay to bring back online. Oh, man. I gotta get all the way across the room. How much time we got? A couple minutes. Not the last few things. Get ready to load them into the trucks. Copy that. Then head to the loading dock. Make sure these guys don't get away with any of this stuff. Abort! Let's roll! Nice work, Spatterbot. Now it's my turn. Spider-Man, the front door's finally open. But there is a bunch of stuff missing. It's all out back in the loading docks. And I'll make sure it stays there. Let's go, boss. Yeah. This will be an in and out job. Now, Spider-Man's here! Whatever! Take him out! Yeah. Tell your boss, don't go messing with my neighborhood! Meet at the rendezvous point in an hour. Not today. <laughs> Gotta stop those trucks. <sighs> Gotta pick one for now. Give it up, guys! You're not getting away!
funky drummer. They only recovered items from one truck? What a mess. Sorry, Angela. This is a deal breaker. No. There goes our best hope for a big donor. There's still the fundraising gala. If we don't find that second truck, there is no exhibit. Without an exhibit, there is no gala. Without a gala, the museum will have to close. That won't happen. I promise. Here. This belonged to Clyde Stubblefield. Oh, the original funky drummer. <laughs> Do you know how often his rhythms were sampled? He was so influential. A direct line from funk to hip hop. <laughs> Thank you. And don't worry, I'll find the rest of those items. Thank you. I should check in with Pete. calling. I have to take this. Catch up later? Oh, uh, sure, man. Later. Hey, Pete. I'm at EMF. No sign of Doc Connors yet, but I could use an extra set of eyes. On my way. Have you heard anything from MJ? You said she's stopping by his house, right? Nothing yet. She told me she'd call when she got there. Let's hope he's just taking a sick day. Yeah. I'm gonna check her office. Just come by when you can. stolen museum pieces. I went to the impound yard and saw an old phone number on that truck you chased down. I may be onto something. Can you come meet your mama for lunch at the park by my office? Chop cheese on me. Any clue is a good clue. If we can't find that truck, the museum will have to close. Plus, I never turn out a chopped cheese. Sorry, I can't chat. I'm up some of the stamp for my new art project. My bad! I heard someone tagged your shop. Yes, it was hideous. Until someone else showed up and painted over it. Such detailed work. Best thing to ever happen to me. Business has never boomed. No. Bloomed like <laughs> this. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Well, when you see them, tell them I said thank you. Hmm. Oh, here she is. You can thank her yourself. Hey. Miss, thank you for your services.
Wow. <laughs> You're amazing. You know that? Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were here buying flowers for them. Enjoy the autumn sunshine, Bouquet. Face. Are those tiny stickers? Beginning to speech call Thanks. with Susie Cooper. The kids at the hospital loved the flowers. Thanks, Miles. Hold up. How'd you know it was me? They were labeled Order for Music Man. Not very cryptic. Oh, well, hey, I want to support what you do for them. It's really cool. Thanks. You're really cool. Later. Music man. them into the void to debug this one. Okay, Miles. Remember, everything's an illusion. Even that fake Mysterio. Whoa! It sure doesn't feel like an illusion. How are they doing this? I gotta throw them into the void to be part of this one. Okay, Miles. Remember, everything's an illusion. Even that fake Mysterio. Whoa! This sure doesn't feel like an illusion. How are they doing this?
Thank you. All good. Just take it easy. You can do a lot. Okay, let's talk image. We'll want to assure investors you're not the criminal you once were. I've done my time. Shouldn't that be enough? Unfortunately not. Let's talk about your origin. What led you to become Mysterio in the first place? I... <laughs> Is this really necessary? If you want to be successful, yes. I... I guess it was ego, mostly. We all have egos, Quentin. Oh. <laughs> Not like mine. Former supervillain has a big ego. Go figure. Are those hunters getting an ambush ready? Versus Norman Osborne. You remember Devil's Breath, how Mayor Norman was indirectly responsible for poisoning the city a couple years back? Well, his lawyers have slowed the march of justice down yet again with more delays. Our source inside the courtroom tells me they're bringing frivolous motions to prolong discovery. <sighs> All love to my legal eagle friends, but some days you just gotta say it. Screw you, brothers. All right, see you next time, kids. I am a master of illusion. Let the mystery begin. <laughs> Working on it. Move fast, Spider-Man, or you can never escape. You let him hit me.
and take down Mysterio. Thanks, Spider-Man. You're all right. Take a breath and try to relax. Why are you recording us having lunch? I figured our fans will want to know a little about you and how you got to know Quentin. He was my neighbor growing up. We played together sometimes, but then he went to a different school. He was way more advanced than the rest of us regular kids. I can totally see that. Was he always so creepy and weird? Cole, that's... <laughs> that's not nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's harmless, I think. But if I could find another job, I would. You're making the right choice to stay. He's a genius. As soon as the world sees what we're doing, we're all going to be very, very rich. Betsy knew Beck from way back, and she's all in. But it sounds like Cole has her doubts. Looks like I got a message. Spider-Man, Betsy here. Quentin and Cole are scrubbing through all the very helpful data you provided. And I was thinking, when the Mysteriums are back to operating safely, it'd be great to get a Spider-Man endorsement. Pro bono, of course. <laughs> We're running out of capital here, and it's making Quentin quite anxious. Anyway, just a thought. No need to call back. Uh, bye. Sorry, Betsy. We have a firm rule against body endorsements. Might want to rethink that business plan. Y'all really never learn, huh? Okay, Spider-Man. Sending in backup already? Just got started. <laughs> they really thought they had me. Some news on our mysterious bots. 
this third party pay oh hold on you gotta hand it to new yorkers <laughs> i wasn't even trying to be funny there if there's a good time to be had they'll find it i'm back yankee go ahead hey i've got some news on our mysterious boss this third party ping is coming from far away like millions of miles far like like from space no they must be scrambling their location or something yeah i think i can get to the source if you find just a few more whoever's doing this i want to shake their hand looks like a bad deal to me let's stop this is my best deals off There's an ambulance not too far away. I'll drop you right off. Oh my god. Thank you. And touchdown. They'll take good care of you here. Bless you, Spider-Man. Wonder if Pete's done that many knockouts in one go. Definitely work. Protesting isn't just the constitutional right in New York. It's your civic duty. Especially when a multinational corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. All this transmuting of metal. Oh, do you do headshots, Spider-Man? Wait, Lee. Sorry. Actually, use a new one. <laughs> Whether it's on the stage or in the open air, where else can you see legends and soon-to-be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. Any sign of Connors? Nothing yet. It's MJ. Bad news. Connors' house is crawling with hunters and the doctor's MIA. Good news. I think I know where to find him. Somewhere across the river. Maybe around. Let's move. He's waiting.
the gear. Sable paid off sooner than I'd hoped. A zoo. Connors has to be around here somewhere. I have to tell Pete. Then late. Where is that van? Some kind of genome readout. They're trying to reactivate his reptile genes. They've been studying Dr. Connors. Oh God, they want to hunt him too. Looks like they've set up shop here. Hmm. Looks right. Hello. You know, I don't like being snuck up on. Many have tried to kill him. Human and beast. Checking it out. Where are you, Doc? What is that up there? Oh my god. Vulture. Did they... I need to find Connors. Another night tainted by the silence of death. I wasn't sure I could clip his wings. Perhaps that would be my weakness, but... No. Not even that could save him. He's dead. Phone! Connors' cell phone. Harry, it's MJ. I'm at an abandoned zoo in Jersey. It's... Please, don't. Please, you don't understand. to get in the cage, and Connor's shackles need that key. Just have to find them. My blades grow... Oh no. He didn't deserve this. Dusk, 22 Celsius, <laughs> put the rest with a blade to the sternum. <sighs> this one was... 
was merely something when faced with the predator doll. He did not try to prove himself superior. He fought only to survive. It was vicious. Feral. Sincere. But not enough. Even in death is eyes staring to mine like he might try to kill me but my luck has run out and i am left again with no one oh. all right mj learn a code steal some keys you've done worse <laughs> But that code has to be nearby. I've only seen one of Craven's Must be preparing person. these for Craven. I still have dreams about it. This one will be special. The hunt of a lifetime. One day, with <laughs> enough training. Checking on that. <sighs> the hunter with the code came this way. Where is she? and write down their passwords. Let's find out who this mongoose is. Hello, Garin. They'll see right through me. I need to figure out who Vika is. Some kind of ranking system. <laughs> Guess she's Garin's boss. Good for me. Can't answer that call until I get to know myself a little better. Simkarian poetry. Must be her first language. Vegre, you'll hear. Her Simkarian is perfect. Hopefully mine is convincing. All right, let's get that code. Come on, MJ. Your Simkarian is still good. Enough. Just answer. It's Vika. Vika, Monguznok. Vika, protect what? Garin, elegem vana hiva shaitbol. Hol vana ka kezulekes kodok. A kodok, sorosata, os informatios tablan van. Tudhatnád? Te pedig azt tudhatnád. Milyen hongon beszélhetsz velem. Ne hív törbet, mert a fejedbe kerülhet. That felt kind of nice. All right, better move before he comes looking. Where's that whiteboard? There you are. Codes for the enclosure. Got the code. Now for the key. Yeah. 
Still need those keys to get Connors out. The hunter with the keys went this way. Getting close. There. He's got the key. That camo field. I think I can hide behind it. I know it sounds crazy. If the spirits of the dead are so concerning, maybe you should see them. I'm scoping it out on her trail. Cut the keys. Time to get out of here. The stench we see is nothing but senses. More hunters. We will have our victory. Good man. The lab in the atrium might have a serum. I don't have much time. Then we'll buy you some. Right up the hill, that glass building. Please, hurry. We'll clear a path. Keep your heads down. Don't worry, Doc. We'll get you to that lab. You're not turning tonight. Fire. Get out of the way. We must have a death wish. Have a lizard? Seems like they're just doing their boss's dirty work. Their benefits must be crazy. Now look who's joking in a bad time. You're learning! Let's go. 
to make an antidote. He's here. I'm sorry. be your coolest scar. <laughs> yeah. MJ, I don't think... Am I breathing? I'll kill you! Harry! <laughs> Do it then! Ah! Look out! <laughs> nothing. I remember in fifth grade when you... No. No. You gotta stay awake, buddy. Wait. No!
MJ, get him out of here. I'll handle this. MJ, I'm on my way. What are you? Trek the lizard. The spider is mine. Stop hovering. I'm fine. Maybe some water. Water. On it. So... The suit cured your... Yeah. Which means without it, you... Yeah. Okay. We gotta figure out how to get this back onto Harry. How did you give it to me? I... I, I don't know, it just... sorta of happened. Okay. Uh, let me try. Pete, there's something in here. Uh, uh. Okay, not what I... What the... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Let me try it again. Dr. Connors. Except he's a drilling reptile right now. Craven! The serum! He had it around his neck. That's what he used on Dr. Connors. If we find that serum, we, we could analyze it, use the equipment here to, to engineer a cure. And bring Dr. Connors back from the land of the lizard. I'll start tracking down Craven. He's probably already cleared out of that zoo by now. Well, lucky for us. He left a piece of himself behind. There's this pawn shop in Little Odessa that specializes in rare artifacts, just like this knife. Let's start there. Good thinking. Weirdly enough, I feel energized. It does. It did that for me, too. How does this thing work? Honestly, can't explain it. I just think the suit listens. Okay. 
Maybe it'll help with finding Craven and his serum. Just don't get staff this time, please. I usually try not to. I'll be fine, I promise. Hunters. They've been coming through here for days. Sorry I wasn't here to help. Nah. Could you tell me about this antique I found? It, uh, almost killed me. I cannot help you. I've seen this symbol before. Please leave. Wait! I can protect you from the Hunters. I'm not worried about them. I thought I left this behind on Volgograd. The flames have been lit. This is his jungle now. Craven? Craven off. The flames have been lit. <sighs> Dude! MJ told me you almost died! You okay? Hey, Miles. Actually, never felt better. I should have been. Wait, really? Positive. Hey, let me call you back. Got some bonfires to crash. Uh, okay. If you think that I'm going to be at the feast tonight, hey, he's hey. Look out. more for us than you. What's this I hear about lighting some fires? Oh, it's inside. <laughs> Grad? Looks like it's for some kind of party. Wonder what they're celebrating. Pretty rude of Craven not to extend an invite. Never stopped me before, though.
shipping in more luxury goods from Volgograd for this... event? These shipments have to be coming in nearby. No airfields here. But what about the docks? Maybe something there can lead me to Craven. Again. I told you! I, uh, that's everything! Where is the rest of our ship? Please! That guy needs my help. Kill! A lot of hunters for some vodka and caviar. It's gonna get more painful than it needs to be. Why is Craven doing all this now? Does it make any sense? Someone! It is just us. No one can hear the scream. One second he's hunting supervillains, and the other he's entertaining. Must have done a number on him at the zoo. Shipment to your boss? Better go check on the dock worker. They did a number on him. Easy, easy. You're in pretty bad shape. Let me help you. Hospital, please. There's one close by. You're gonna be okay. I thought they were going to kill me. What did they want? Some cargo went missing on the journey. Here, they thought I took it. You're safe. Now, where's the drop off? 718 Kent. Wonder how Harry's doing without the suit right now. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? I'm fine. What's happening? Craven, or Cravenoff, is hosting some party at 718 Kent. Figured I'd stop by. It looks like a social club. Hang on. I'm almost there. Looks like a busy night. Hope our VIP is here. They're more riled up than usual. Just keep your head down and... How are you getting in? Kitchen entrance. You should change. The classic Peter Parker look isn't gonna cut it. Too bad my tux is at the dry cleaners. Huh? Suit could turn into a tux. Oh, never did that with me. Hey, hey, you come over here. Take this to Mr. Kravenoff's bodyguard. His bodyguard? Dima, move. Well, sounds like your shift's starting. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Better go find Dima. Let's go! 
Thank you. Huh. I clean up pretty nice. And I'm feeling great. Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> what was he like? Scares Keep moving, I'll break your bones. A 300-year-old sleeping dart will never work. You are so certain, are you? Show me then. Uh, I'll show him too. Yes? Take him. Let him squirm. The poison is ancient, and you don't even know how to use that thing. A true hunter. Adepts. Sleep well, my friend. Those hunters were nuts. I can't believe the suit listened to me. I wish my suit had a neural interface like this. I could work with Harry, do the hero gig, and take a vacation all at once. That's probably the maitre d' by the podium. Has one of the shield bearers arrived? Uh, yes. He is in the other room by the fire. Will Mr. Kravenoff be joining us this evening? Uh, there are some... Uh... Quite right. <clears throat> Damn, Craven isn't here. Shield bearer. Huh. Sounds like a bodyguard to me. I'll whip him in half with my bare hands. He is not your target. <laughs> you kill him, you let him crave. <laughs> Must be him. Your meal, sir. Mm. What the hell is this? Um, I was told to deliver this to Mr. Kravenoff's personal bodyguard. What makes you think I am him? <laughs> uh. You know, you're, uh, huge. Dima's very hungry. You should leave now. So funny. I was just about to do that. He was looking up at that room. Gotta find the elevator. If that's just the shield bearer, how big is Dima gonna be? It's too scary. I don't want to serve him food anymore. Just drop the plate and leave. Simple as that. Coming through. Oh, sorry. Don't be sorry. Move! Coming through! Uh, 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 this... Uh, this mess! If everything isn't perfect, we're all dead! Coming through! No! No! No, wait! Uh, 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 why were you standing right in front of the door? I told you to wait! No, you Come didn't! On. I was just minding my own. Come on! Shut up, both of you. Pick everything up and let's move. We find Dima, we find Craven and his weird blizzard serum. Easy.
A tiger. That's new. All right, let's give Dima something to eat that isn't spider flavored. That raw meat must be somewhere. There we are. Something in that study might help me find Craven. But first, gotta break out the apron. That hunter's right there. What the hell was that? A meal fit for a Russian tiger bodyguard. That sounded weird. Hmm. Might have to make a few minor adjustments to this meal. Where's that sleeping hunter? A lot of bodies by that sleeping hunter. Time for Dima. Snooping time for Peter. If this doesn't work, there's only one other thing on the menu. Me. Hi, Dima. I'm back. With a little snacky snack. Masterpiece. Guess Craven's too cool for his own party. Should look around in case he left the lizard serum somewhere in here. Don't see Craven's lizard serum here. But what are these potions? Wonder if this is how he's so freakishly strong. Just missed him. Was Craven praying? No serum. These drugs are for late stage chemotherapy. Are these Cravens too? St. Sophia is only a few blocks from here. Craven has to be there with the serum. Time to move. Didn't know hunting could be so existential. He's better read than I would have thought. Nothing like some light philosophy between hunts. Not what it looks like. Keep him alive. Okay, suit. Let's see what you can really do. Harry did not tell me it felt like this. Like me 
now! Get to the chapel quick. That was fun. Hey Pete, any luck? No craven yet, but I think I know where he is. How's the suit? Weird. It's like it knows me. Don't worry, buddy. I'll take care of everything. Promise. are back. It's you! I knew that was our meat cute back there! I knew it! I'd love to get to know you better, but I got some business to take care of. See, your boss has been up to no good lately. This is my city, not his jungle. He killed Scorpion. Let the lizard loose! And he stabbed me pretty good! I'd like a word with him, especially about that last part! like a mini EMP. Yeah! 
Enough song and dance. I'm coming, Craven. Here to pick up a serum order for a Dr. Connors? Save my friend. Well, things just got a little intense with Craven. He's somehow stronger than he looks, if you can believe that. Hey, the important thing is that you're okay, and you got the serum. You did great, buddy. I'll start prepping the gear. How'd it really go? It was totally... I didn't want to worry, Harry. Craven knows now that the suit malfunctions when it's within range of certain frequencies. How bad is the malfunction? Not pleasant, but I can handle it. Well, I'm glad you're all right, but watch yourself out there, too. Let me know how things go at the lab. Absolutely. Talk soon. Oh, 
get any harder? waiting to decloak right now. Nice. Hey, Yuri. I checked out the old hospital that the flame said he'd be at. It's guarded, but nothing we can't handle. You ready? I still think it's a trap. We need a plan before we go in. Sure. There's a rooftop near the hospital. We'll talk there. soon. Blowing up about the commotion out in Jersey. A fire at the old zoo? Secret hunter base? Is Spider Man trying on his friend's black suit? Things are getting weird out there, folks. I mean, I know there's a lot of excitement about SM's black is the new black look, and I mean, it is fire and all, but isn't it just a tad moody for our friendly neighborhood so and so? No takers? Just me? Okay, well, you know, you, you come to me for the real, real, so I'm just trying to deliver. Stay safe out there, y'all. You are looking shockingly good. underground wrestling school. Even been to a few shows myself. That combination of theatricality with amazing feats of strength and athleticism, it's electrifying. They're still breathing. But I don't know if the flame is gonna be so lucky. Not after Yuri said how dangerous he is. We have no idea what their Crimson Hour Doomsday event is. 
and she just runs in. This wasn't a part of the prophecy. Trust the flame and keep watching. She has to leave eventually. an hour supposed to happen? Why Brooklyn? A warehouse, scrapyard, parking lot, library? What's the connection? What's Oscorp got to do with all of this? is cleared as soon as possible. What happened to the roof team? Now! Now! Yuri's behind that rubble. If I take out these cultists, I can get to her. And the flame. Wait. They're making explosives here. They're not waiting for the Crimson Hour. They want to cause it. I can feel the Crimson Hour coming closer. to clear the rubble. Who 
Who said anything about Oscorp? <laughs> Beacon himself, as I prophesied. No! I knew you had it in you, Yuri. There, that'll keep pressure on it until I can. If you want the flame. You're gonna have to go through me! Then you're about to swallow a lot of blood! You're going to have to kill him, Yuri! My prophecy says he'll never stop! Just like you! I'll finish you when I'm done! The flame needs to die, Spider-Man! The longer he lives, the more people will get hurt! There are other ways to stop him! Less traumatic ways! This path you're on never ends well, Yuri. Trust me! Trust you? What about you trusting me? You weren't there the last time he escaped! You didn't find the bodies! You didn't see his face! No, I can't even imagine! But that still doesn't make this right! I am not letting him get away again! I can't! Well, that's too bad, Yuri. Because I don't die. It's not like I want to free him! No! You just want to go halfway! Congratulations. You get to live out the rest of your life behind bars. And I owe it all to you. Not the authority on justice! 
Why would you be? You're just a man in a costume! Playing hero! <laughs> figure out your priorities because I'd rather lose sleep over the one person I killed than all the ones I didn't save I know my priorities I I am not going to let the flame hurt anyone else I'll find him somehow Deleted your search history, fellas. All right, Droney. What do you know that I don't? A map of a base. Think I can dig around to see what's waiting for me there. If I take out the base's relay, the hunters there won't be able to call for reinforcements. Looks like you've been to two other blinds. Maybe if 
if I explore the rest of the blinds, I'll find myself a base. nearby. You have a preference between hunting animals and people? They're saying me. Yeah. Yeah. Always wanted to fight in an invisible blanket fort! little birdie tell me <laughs> let's see what else this base has going on looks like a supply room full of weapons be a shame if some spider-man wept them up two blinds down Let me find the base location of the next one. and brilliant Councilwoman Rio Morales. Ooh, these hunters are already in panic mode. to see what they've got cooking.
Time to dig deep. <laughs> Map of the Upper West Side. Wonder how they afforded a place here. A base at the abandoned hotel? Gonna get some unexpected room service. Time to head to that hotel. No need to book a room online, right? According to the blinds, this base is their weapons depot. Not for long. Now we just have to deal with the remaining hunters. One down? the last one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not quite enough, Spider-Man. Spider-Man! We just have to deal with the remaining hunters. shows another room here. Maybe it's got some intel about the hunters we can use.
encrypted file. Sasha, give up this obsession. Come home to me while we still have time left. Our time is over, my love. And your children? They will draw blood for control of our empire. The cubs must earn their place. Like anyone else. They will see me as an obstacle. Then you must strike first. Craven's family? They sound... cool. Could be trouble down the line. We should keep clearing out all these bases then. In case they come to visit. Stop those cultists before they burn everything! How about we bring the heat down? I'm gonna be jumpy for at least the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Rightio, what's all this then? some juicy hunter gossip around here that I can... All right, drone. What's the hot goss? <laughs> well, well, well. Let's see what this base holds. Can't call for reinforcements if I cut the comms. So, you're a frequent flyer to the other blinds. Gotta find that base. Should keep
keep searching the blinds. lasers. Gotta be a control panel around here. traps. Now that's using the old spider noggin. Sorry for the intrusion. <laughs> Time to expand my knowledge. If I can inject the herbicide into their sprinkler system, I can probably knock out some hunters. Still no location for the base. Time for that last blind. That should work for Robbie. You know, for a place where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong, people here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does love the iron. Ah! Thanks for coming to my talk. Today, we'll explore how to get sand everywhere. Now that's a knuckle sandwich! Sand crystal is mine. I wake up in some kind of dungeon. Lots of empty cells around. You're not here. But are you okay? Marco must have felt so helpless. Trapped. With no idea where his daughter was. Association. Time to make them wet their plants. Oh, 
all this fighting has made me hungry for holograms. You better feed my need for info. <laughs> Here in the financial district. Well, with these hunters, it's definitely a bear market. A random skyscraper? Interesting place to have a base. Those hunters are about to find out that they can't plant on my soil. Line says this is some kind of greenhouse. Oh, the hunters have a hobby. That's kind of cute. Not that cute. Don't expect any bouquets. Remember, we can alter the sprinkler's source to an herbicide to wipe out what they're growing. Good thing I have whatever the opposite of a green thumb is. Let's kill some plants. Make sure you turn off their relay. We don't want them calling in backup. We should increase the potency. The spiders show. You really weeded out those hunters like weeds. Maybe you're better with plants than you think. Don't you all have something better to do? Yeah. Good thing I have whatever the opposite of a green thumb is. Let's kill some plants. Now there'll be no reinforcements. That's the valve that'll add herbicide to the sprinklers. Sleepy times incoming, hunters. Spider is here! You really weeded out those hunters like... Weeds. Maybe you're better with plants than you think. with a taste of their own poison. Uh, now I feel bad. Did I call poison control? Guess you all got the invite. Welcome to the party. Yeah! <laughs> 
Now can you find out anything more about the Kravenovs? Who knows when they'll get here? They must run the whole base out of here. Another encrypted file. Vladimir, what is it now? I could have come with you. You are not needed. I'm never needed, it seems. I think you did not want to be outclassed. That is exactly what I want. <laughs> but by you, to this amuse your father, to steal your children's birthright, the only right birth offers is the inevitable promise of death. You have us fighting over scraps, but I will take back what is ours, what is mine. That sounds like a chip off the old block. Hope he takes the long way here. Seriously. Let's keep making sure he doesn't have one of these bases to call home. Sorry, breaking hours are over. You shall go take the thing. That was easy. It's like Howard needs me. And now I just jinxed myself. Pidgey, you're okay. There we go. heard by now that Mac Gargan, the scorpion, has been found dead, his stinger removed like a trophy. One can only assume this was at the hands of the hunters. Are they doing what the ineffectual Spider-Men won't and removing these dangers permanently? Then again, maybe Spider-Man has finally changed his tune. I, for one, say, let them wipe each other out. They're not making our world a better place, and the less of these mass marauders roaming our streets, the better. When they're gone, we can turn the corner back to simpler times. Wouldn't that be refreshing? I yearn for the days of normal news coverage, when I could attack the real issues, like the tanking economy or the corruption of our youth, instead of being forced to cover spandexed buffoons who make life for the average Joe a waking nightmare. One day, <laughs> one day. Spider-Man. Hey, Howard, hey, Pidgey, how are you both doing? Oh, uh, we're getting by. W would you like to join us? Sure. What did you need? Sometimes I just sit here. Take it all in. Fairies coming in. See it? Yeah. You and Pidgey getting on board? Think I'll skip this one. Wait for the next. Used to love the fairy. Felt like I was sailing off on an adventure. Howard? See that yellow skipper? With the black bottom? Not a bad way to get around. Honey of a boat. Wish I could take that bumblebee out for a spin. Hey, Howard? Ride it all the way across the river to those three pillars. An ancient city hidden in the clouds. Huh? Three pillars? Over to the right. Look for the red lights. You mean those three smokestacks? Why there? I worked in that factory for 20 years. Laid off. Lost my purpose for a while. And then when my wife passed, I lost my heart to but my birds. They taught me how to fly again. Especially little Pidgey. 
I'm so sorry, Howard. What can I do? That's one. Can you spot Lady Liberty herself? She's way over to the left. Yeah, there she is. What? What are... Oh, wow. A flock. I need your help, Spider-Man. I'm finally going on an adventure. But I want to set my bird free first. Let them see the world outside this city. They are pigeons. Can you take them up north for me? Somewhere peaceful? Oh, I don't know. Howard, this is your family. It's their time. Try a whistle. Okay, if you're sure. Let's go, birdies! I'll follow the waterfront for a bit, until I think of a new home. Battery Park. Some nice memorials and stuff to poop on. Howard wanted you guys to see the world, though. We'll keep looking. Let's hit the Brooklyn Bridge. It has some great views. Still not right. Ooh, a jet stream. Time to really fly. Hey, Pidgey, do a barrel roll. What about that woodsy area near my house? Harry and I used to hang there every day after school. It's where I'd live if I was a bird. Oh, wow, a ricotta. Oh, you like her web wings? Means a lot coming from Howard's pigeons. I'm gonna miss chasing you birds all over the city. Find a place for my babies to be free? Thought of a place over in Queens. A little spot I used to go to with an old friend. Tons of space for Pidgey and the gang. That sounds nice. Thanks. Not many folks have been kind to me in my life. Anytime, Howard. And you can still visit them. Take the train out. Gonna drop these birds off and I'll be right back. Howard? Okay, this is it. Your new home. Pidgey, you're in charge. Okay, I'm exhausted. I'll hitch the train back. Better go check on Howard. He must be missing them already. Oh no. Howard? Looks like... Oh hey, Spider-Man. Hey, sorry. Friend of mine. Take all the time you need. If it helps, um... It looked like he was at peace. He was. He's finally on that adventure with his wife. Don't worry, Howard. The flock is free. <laughs> Thank you. 
like a robo bird's nest. What do they got going on around here? Ah! That noise again. What's wrong with you? Time to play the what can I find here game. They fit a surprising amount of tech in this little guy. <laughs> this must be the base. That's where the little birds go to recharge. Bet I could overcharge them right out of existence. But I see you've been to another blind too. That last blind may have the base location. Best techno pigeon parents have been found on this rooftop. Final scoop. Speaking of scooping. <laughs> so that's where they are. I'd have thought they would have torn down that old army supply base by now. I 
know I'm here. Hunters have taken over this abandoned army supply base and turned it into a police station. For their bird drones? Why didn't they just pick an aviary? Does it matter? They're making these drones to kill you. Good point! Let's stop that from happening. Growing up the drones. You can tether your web from the charging station to a power supply. You'll overcharge them into oblivion. Be sure to hook the charging station up to a power supply to destroy your own. Got some birds. Don't you all have something better to do? Backup coming anytime soon. They're powering up the drones here. If you can tether your web from the charging station to a power supply, you'll overcharge them in the community. Two more left. more and they'll be out of charging stations.
Now they can't charge their drones. That should set them back a bit. Another one! He will not get away with this! You can dig up some more info on the incoming Kravenovs now. There we are. Hello. This will be good for you, Ledrochi. Father, please, end this now. The others won't speak to me. Can you just come home? There's still time for us to, to be family again. I will not die. Like any other men. What? I, I don't feel safe here anymore. I, I, I don't trust the others. They frighten me. Then cower and hide. If you can endure the shame. You won't let them cut me. Will you? Father? That is up to you. Well, that was just sad. Feels ripe for a therapy session. No thanks. I'm all booked up. I feel... ...for him, but he's still Craven's kid. Dangerous. Gotta clear out the last base so we're ready for this family shindig. The hunters are gone and the drones are grounded. We're pretty good at this.
while the iron was hot! They want the fire! You have to stop them! You will be cleansed of your filth! <laughs> 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 Don't worry. I'll get you to an ambulance in no time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We're almost there. There. You're all set. And I hope the worst is over now. Thank you. I'll pay you back somehow. I'll try to help the city too. making me uncomfortable. look. Just found the world's smallest thief. Okay, finally unscrambled that third party ping. It's using the same code and frequency as us. Did someone steal our tech? No way. We keep that locked up tight, are you sure? I mean, unless there's another Spider Man out there, but that's. Nah. I'll keep digging. Maybe if you send me a few more, I can figure this out.
color palette. Why didn't I ever think of this? I must say, you are glowing. Classic. Got a cute backpack. Coincidence, but you're dressed just like my friend. a sharp dressed spider bot. Hey, I just got a message from our mystery bot tracker. What did it say? I don't know yet. It's using some weird syntax, and there's gaps in the code. I can figure it out. I just need another iced coffee. And maybe a blueberry muffin.
Dinobot, wherefore art thou? <laughs> Black is the new black. living in the future. Say it. Huh? <laughs> 
buddy. looking in a mirror. It's a spider bot to bring me potassium when I need it most. Governor? Sorry.
Aren't you looking expensive? Mint condition? Nice. From who knows where, Spider Bot! I got it! The message was using some kind of qubit based algorithm, but I built a decoder table, which was actually kind of genius of me because. That's great, Genki. What does the message say? It's an address. Looks like an old subway terminal. Been out of service since the 80s. Think it's a trap? Nah, doesn't have a trappy vibe. What kind of vibe, then? I have no idea. And that's what scares me. Seeing this? Bro, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Look at this, a spider hero. We're all saved. Um, hi. Who are you? Me? I'm just a bartender who does favors for people every now and then. And I've learned that rogue spider bots are dangerous and bad for business. Let me take those off your hands. Whoa! Thank you, Spider-Man. We can always count on you to do the right thing. You're welcome? And if Miguel comes looking for these, tell him finders keepers. Wait, who's Miguel? <laughs> what the hell was that? I, uh, wish I knew. Is that a sand crystal? These things are everywhere. Here we go! They're really guarding this one! Crystal's all clear now. They say their boss is coming soon, and that he wants to meet me. I'm not waiting around. Sorry to break our promise, Kimi, but I'll tear this city apart to find you. 
Marco was worried Craven's people hurt his kid. That's why he blew up. plants. Peter, I'm so glad you can help. Clearly we've got a failure to thrive and we haven't yet been able to diagnose the reason. Can you sort it out for us? Thanks. These plants should be doing much better. Something's making them sick. All right, my little plant friends. What's got you feeling so sick? Let's see here. Whoops. What have we got here? Looks like this pathogen usually affects plants in the river. But fish are immune to it. I think I just found our cure. Let's splice some genes. With a little genetic engineering, I can make you guys immune to this pathogen just like these fish. Now I just need to get a cooperative sample. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Where are you? I promise you'll be back in the water in two shakes of a fin. Come on, guys. Your plant neighbors just need to borrow your genes. another. Anyone want to help cure some plants? Wrong species. Go fish. Specimen. That's one slippery sample secured. Now to take it back and splice it with the plants. All right, my leafy greens. Let's get you feeling better. Need to insert this fish gene. Let's see. If I splice this fish gene into your plant genes, I can give you guys immunity to this pathogen just like them. you can't understand me but trust me it's pretty cool you're gonna make our community a whole lot healthier
Get them all lined up. Okay, Feast should be able to work with these. Can't wait to see him thriving. You'll be feeling better in no time. Still got it? Let's see what this thing's made of. Okay, I've overlaid the serum with an old sample of Connor's blood. If you can destroy the atoms blocking the lizard receptors, we can make an antidote, and then we're golden. Like a goose. Like a clever goose. So how's the suit working out for you? It's good. Great, even. Just takes some getting used to. Yeah. I'm gonna really put it through its paces when this is over. Won't be long now. There. Huzzah. Huzzah. Wait. Does the structure look unstable to you? Huh. If we could beam a few electrons in there, it'd stabilize it, but... It's not like we have a... Particle, particle accelerator? accelerator. <laughs> That'd be like using a shotgun for a haircut. Hell of a haircut. The text said it needs repair, but maybe it's okay. No black holes, no black holes, no black holes. Huh. <sighs> Pressure change popped an intersection out of alignment. There's no way to fix it without going inside. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? The suit will protect me, right? Peter, I don't know about this. Relax and be a good proton. Huh? Stay positive. <laughs> so, what's the inside of a particle accelerator like? Amazing. You've got to crawl in this when you get the suit back. Oh, yeah, it's at the top of my list. What's going to happen when I realign it anyway? There aren't any other pressure problems, nothing. You can come right out. Harry! It, it's powering up, but the beams are at it. Use the magnets to stabilize it. How? Just find the sweet spot. Particle accelerators do not have sweet spots! There, good. There's one more set of magnets ahead. If you can't stabilize the beam, it'll destroy the serum. I got it. 
not wipe my library cards. Thanks. You did it, Pete. We're home free. Come on out. What is that? Probably a static discharge. It means the accelerator is working. You clever freaking goose. Here we come. So the suit's got some sensitive ears. Apparently. What happened? More static discharges. The accelerator's still running, though. The serum's okay. Fire. Is the antidote still getting made? Should be. But if the fires damage the accelerator, we'll lose it. Stop with the spreading already! Easy. Beautiful. Thank you, laws of thermodynamics. Another fire's out. How you doing, Harry? I'm... Bypassing every safety lock known to man. Life on the edge. And I was thinking, there's always one thing that goes wrong with any big undertaking. This was our one. Don't jinx us. Yeah, got this under control. That's the last of them. It worked. <laughs> So you'll power it down. I'll grab the antidote, find Dr. Connors. Not so fast. There are 67 shutdown steps. If we take it out before, then we'll lose the antidote. Oof. Sounds like it's gonna be a while. You hungry? I could go get a pizza. Shut it down and get the antidote. I'll handle this. No Craven? I thought we had a thing going. We're not his only friend. Lee! Tell me where he is! Can I spy some electromagnets? Look up! on my student loans. Real excited about that. Eyes on the Almost powered down. I'll finish it and grab the antidote. You need to get out. I can't leave. I'm the only one. Watch out! No. No. Have this. 
spider. <laughs> Craven's gonna have fun with you. Harry! <laughs> bears in these woods okay before we get down to business there's something I have to tell you I'm fresh out of honey come on I thought it was funny Harry, 
This place is coming down! We need to leave! No! It'll hold! I'm so close! Foundation. I don't care about that right now. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Get in there and see what you can save. I want a detailed report of the damage. Go. Your dad's right. The foundation doesn't matter. What? This was our dream. And it still is. But right now, we have to focus on finding Dr. Connors and getting you healthy again. I got this.
Hey, Yankee. Hey, dude. One of the friends got its wires all crossed with an old hunter transmission. Figured you might want to look into it. Maybe it'll lead to Lee? Sending you the source coordinates. Really appreciate it, man. No problem. Everything good? <laughs> Haley and I are a little worried. It's okay. I just need everything to get back to normal first. I'll make it up to her, though, for missing her exhibit. Okay, dude. Hope the lead pans out. Marco never got the chance to find her. I gotta make sure she's safe. Maybe there's another crystal over by where Marco's memory shattered in the first place. <laughs> Uncle Aaron stashed some tech near the stadium? should reveal the stash. like some trouble with the current. My webs can conduct that electricity easy. in the stash. Say I had a New York City that no one else knew about. I used to tap into the stadium's mainframe and watch the games through my prowler mask. What? No way. It was like sitting courtside for free 99. Maybe we can hold on to this prowler discount. You know, at least during the season. No can do, Miles. Gotta get our nosebleeds like everyone else. But the tortures are finally good again. Mask is pinging the prowler stash in the area. Got this down. Another layer of security. This door's reinforced and controlled by an electric overlay. C 
system's not getting any power. Need to spark it back online. That's not the one. That's one generator up and running. I think we need a little more power just to be safe. That didn't do anything. Familiar? Got a great view of the hoops on the west side of the building. One of the most legendary street bar courts in the world. Before I started stealing, most of my fights with your dad were on that blacktop. No way. You and Pops used to battle? Nah. We go to war. But when it was two on two, we put it to rest. He was a bully baller, and I was a trash talker. We were undefeated. How about we come back after your parole? Play a little pickup? Trust me, nephew. You don't want the smoke. Come on. My room could use another poster on the wall. <laughs> Later, Unc. Friends of the Danacast, I woke up today with one question on my mind. What the hell happened at the Emily May Foundation last night? One minute we're talking philanthropy and using the means of production for good, and the next we're looking at a war zone. And yeah, listen, clearly those hunters were involved. Clearly they're the baddies here. But y'all saw the same footage of Spider-Man I did, yeah? The way that new black suit moves, how vicious it is. <sighs> Call me a worry ward if you want, but something ain't right. Times like these, take care of the little things. 64 ounces of water every day. See you soon, folks. Another prowler stash around here. Maybe I should make some spider stashes around the city. You need a better angle to pull that unit up. More lasers? Monk's been watching way too many bad spy movies. No way Prowler crawls through those lasers without a fail safe. Something here has to deactivate that laser field.
Looks like that's all the stashes. Wait. My suit sinking to another one? It's right by where I met up with Bunk. Maybe his code's buggy. You should go check with him. Blueprints to my apartment building. He wouldn't plan a heist there, would he? Better get home quick. What are you doing, Uncle Aaron? Really hope this isn't what it looks like. Uncle Aaron? Pictures of Dad and Uncle Aaron when they were kids. Dad's record player is gone. Did he steal from us, too? That's one of Dad's records. Christmas Baby. Uncle Aaron's still here? Can't let him take any more stuff. I knew I couldn't trust you. Miles? Don't miles me. What are you doing here without breaking parole? You said you were retiring the Prowler. You lied to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there. Mijo? Mom? We were going to surprise you, but... Okay, what's going on here? When you started helping out your uncle, I was inspired. Despite all the things he did, you forgave him. So I decided to do the same and help him out by co-signing the lease on this apartment. Thanks again, Rio. <laughs> It'll be nice to have family close by again. I meant what I said. Prowler's in the rearview mirror. I want us to have a future together. Be a family. I also said I'd find a way to thank you, didn't I? What is it? Some tech I was prototyping before I got caught up with Roxxon. Could come in handy.
guess Uncle Aaron really is making room for the future. One floor up. Can't wait to try this tech out. over. You're safe now. I should have stayed home. I got some bad news. Our pitch was rejected. By who? Everyone. Ah! Uh, idiots! Can't they see how we're creating the future of entertainment? Oh, they love the technology. Just not the talent. You mean me? The ex-con. Let's come up with a different strategy. We've got something amazing here. We can make this work. Somehow. I feel bad for Beck. Gotta be tough trying to shake a reputation like that. Real. 
Danger now. Take it slow. I didn't see that. Gather round, team. Got some good news. We got our funding. Finally. Who's the investor? Me. I secured a business loan with some appalling terms, but at least it got approved. Betsy. I'm flattered you put so much faith in me, but... Not just you, Quentin. In all three of us. I have full confidence we will make this venture successful. Betsy went all in on Beck. She must really believe in him. Another message from Betsy. Hi, Spider-Man. Betsy here again. I have Cole here with me while Quentin is off doing some focused work. You mean off being all weird and moody? He needs to talk to some people. Yes, well, I'm working on getting him some help. We're all a little stressed, which is why I'd like to ask if you can expedite your work on the Mysteriums. The sooner we can fix this, the sooner Quentin will return to his usual Brilliant. This it sounds like real. Beck is taking this hard. I feel for him. This is made in violence. Spider-Man? What is this? Help! Hey! Where'd they go? Think you can defeat my most demanding actions? No. Why not? Yeah. 
Now. Quentin, we need to talk. As you can see, I'm busy. I'm sensing some emotions from you right now. Emotions? You know, when I was in prison, I learned a lot about emotions, how to control them. I know you're upset about the whole Mysterium thing, Quentin, but you need to get on board here. The Mysterio name is marketable. Quentin Beck is not. Without Quentin Beck, you'd have nothing to sell. So it seems like you need to get on board with me and my emotions. Sounds like things were getting spicy between Betsy and Beck.
You're okay. Safe and sound. Cole, you're bleeding. Yeah, I know. What the hell, man? It appears to be a minor injury. Wait, these illusions are just illusions, right? I think I cracked a tooth. Well, the illusions should be harmless. Unless someone's doing something they shouldn't be doing. Right, Cole? Uh, don't look at me like that. This was not my fault. Well then, this is quite the mystery. Was Cole hurt in an accident? Or did Beck do it on purpose because he was salty about having to use the name Mysterio? Betsy called again? Let's see what she had to say. Hello, Spider-Man. Um, I just wanted to let you know that Quentin has agreed to enter some court-monitored counseling to help him with his post-prison transition. Finally. Cole, please be respectful. He's been through a lot. Sorry, I'm just... I'm just glad he's getting help, you know? Anyway, Quentin asked me to pass the law. He thinks he's close to figuring out what's going on. So just keep up the good work, Spider-Man. Good on Beck for going into counseling. We all need help sometimes. Skepticism will save you. Okay, mystery person. I'll keep that in mind. Why did the spider cross the road? So I just won't die. <laughs>
take however much time you need. You're safe. Quentin, we have to talk. You seem to want to talk a lot. But what is it that you actually do as part of this endeavor? <clears throat> Cole discovered some hidden routines in the Mysterium Code. We can scan bank cards in our customers' pockets? A 21st century parlor trick. We use that information to look at their purchase history, browsing history create a bespoke world that makes our audience believe in the unbelievable. But if it gets out that we have people's bank information... I'm the only one with the encryption codes, and I haven't told anyone. What about you? No, of course not. Then as long as you and Cole keep it to yourselves, our secret is safe. Right? Right. Beck was scanning people's credit cards to customize his illusions? Sounds like something the old Mysterio would do.
Okay, it's all over now. You sure he's not listening? He has his tricks, you know. No, we're safe. Oh, he's acting very weird. You mean weirder? He's gone quiet all of a sudden. Won't speak to me. Do we have a way out in case he gets violent or something? We'll be fine. Here it comes. Let's talk more later. Sounds like Cole and Betsy were scared of Beck's change in behavior. Another call from Betsy. Spider-Man? Cole and I are a bit concerned. He said he was gonna kill us! Please, Cole, don't panic. <sighs> Spider-Man, we found out Quentin lied to us. Instead of going to counseling, he went somewhere else. When we confronted him, he said some threatening things and then left. Hopefully he just needs to cool off, but if you see him or hear from him, can you let us know? Thank you. Uh, this just went from bad to worse. <laughs> Got a new voicemail. Spider-Man, we need to meet. Come to... Found another crystal. But... Where are my sandy friends? Spider-Man, we need to meet. Come to Coney Island. I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Well, that doesn't sound like a trap at all. Just hope he hasn't hurt Betsy and Cole.
I love you so much, Mia. We'll be together again one day. I know it. Hey, been calling you. My source at the raft told me Marco keeps repeating some address in Queens. Sending it to you now. I think you should check it out. The mobs. Maybe that's where Kimi is. Thanks, MJ. Any chance you can get a line to Marco at the wrap? Hang on while I look into it. Okay, all set. Patching him through now. Spider-Man. Sorry for my... Well, the mess. Thank you. You helped me get my mind right. I'm sorry you got roped into all this. I think your daughter might have made it to her mom's. Heading there now. If she's there, do me a favor. Give her those crystals. Something to remember me by. You got it. Hope you get that normal life you wanted soon, Flynn. She's okay. I wish I could do more, though. Maybe Pete's lawyer friends could help bring this family together again. Okay, where's Beck? Welcome, Spider-Man. If you're looking for Betsy and Cole, they are no longer with us. You killed them? Don't act surprised. You've known from the beginning who you're dealing with. What the...
Beck. The name is... The name is... Mysterio. Illusions. The more baddies I take out, the closer I get to escape. out there. How is that happening? Oh! <laughs> Enough of this! I'll end you myself! You actually think you can defeat me? It's insulting! How are you doing now? It's over. So, you managed to survive. Doesn't it matter? Alive or dead, you will never escape my world. You cannot win. I am infinite. When you are dead, the city will finally give me the respect I have earned. You want respect? Then stop all this! Surprise! Maybe it's time for you to put some respect on mine. Can't let him do this! Give me everything! 
Time to get out of here. The sin is down. Get it back! I'm trying. It was Quentin. He made us do this. Where is he? Help. In here. Questions. This. Should clear things up. So, can I tell everyone Mysterio's a good guy now? <laughs> Mysterio will always be a villain. Just as Spider-Man will always be a hero. It's when you start looking at the people behind the masks that things get messy. He's on to us. If so, there's only one solution. We need him alive. What do we do? Just tie him up or something? Yes! Good idea. We set him up as the fall guy in case anyone catches on. Yeah, like tell everyone he went full Mysterio? Exactly. He would be the one most likely to steal money, not the two women who aren't former supervillains. Now we just need to figure out how to get the richest people in the city into these Mysteriums. Okay. But there's still some code that I haven't figured out, and the Spider-Men will help us with that. Ha! <laughs> That's brilliant. Heroes always looking to help. And if all goes to plan, we'll have millions in the bank before anyone catches on. And when they do, Quentin goes back to prison, and we retire in style. Looks like the biggest illusion was Betsy and Cole's innocence. Wonder where Beck is going from here. EMF. Here's that kiosk. Hello, Peter. As you can see, these cassava plants are alive and quite hardy, but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Glad these scientists can still work from home after the foundation was destroyed. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? Better head to ESU. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great hybrid. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy. And I'll only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. Oh no. No. Someone stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path they took. 
Now let's see where these pilfering plants went. There it is. That's like a rock star plant with all that security. So why are we guarding the ficus exactly? Smith has said it could be used to make untraceable poisons. All I know is he was going to kill him. Definitely not trying to feed their community. There you are. Ready for the pain? These thieves have no idea what they stole. If you want the flash, I've got something to plant. My fist in your face! I need this plant for an experiment to help feed New York if that means anything to you. No? Really? I think it's called the back to jail plan. Now, where is that plant? Couldn't have walked far. All right, buddy. One quick stop at feast, and then we'll get you back home. Glad we nipped this nefarious plan in the bud. See what I did there? Yeah, I knew you would. Wait, your name's not Audrey, is it? Parker, stop talking to the plant! Okay, now to borrow a bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. Special to you. Let's try that again. How do these fit together? And there we go. The plant will be secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. Beast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids. series just on New York's music. Its impact, the communities it built, its outright brilliance. It's hard to encapsulate in one photo, but... Hey! That's over the speed limit! Wait, are you baiting me? You're baiting me! No, you'll get close. Traffic violations, and we're gonna have to revoke your license. Hey, Robbie, you got the photo? I think it's a good one to close my submissions with. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I'm a bit surprised you're stopping now since you left out two of the biggest parts of New York the Spider Man. I mean, I don't know if they're that big. And they are kind of controversial. Everything I see in these photos. 
all the stories and history and life, none of it would still be here if it wasn't for the Spider-Man. I hope they know that. I bet they have some idea. Well, thanks for the photos, Peter. You've always been better at this than you give yourself credit for. I don't think that... Thanks, Robbie. this. attention to the spider coming to ruin your mind. You see the monitor? <laughs> because of the spider. He's hunting us. I already let the base know that we don't. Yes, perfect. This is such a lazy belief. You can always do more with less. And we will prove it. some shady stuff happening on this rooftop. That you got a little info treat for me? Here in Harlem, right in Miles' backyard. The abandoned school. They passed the cool base location test. 
Better get to the base quick. Mr. Parker's got a lesson to teach. Ready for your first day at Hunter High? Don't worry. I'll teach them a lesson they won't soon forget. Are you uh, workshopping that or? Hey, you signed up for this. What's the deal with this base? Looks like the info we pulled from the blinds was right. They're upgrading all their vehicle weaponry here. Time to put a stop to it. Find the server panel and take out those turrets. Over there. Got down to us. Two more turrets left. One more turret to go. Hell yeah! You fried those turrets to dust. It's not our fate that, fools. Don't you all have something better to do? I will be as is myself. The spider! See him! Talking in my sight! No more reinforcements. Hunters are about to feel like their friends are doing nothing. <laughs> we can dig up on the incoming Kravenovs. Here we go. What's this? Metal 
Father. You seek a challenge to fill the rush of fear again. I will give you something to fear, Father. <laughs> uh, your brother made such promises. Go on then. Terrify me. Anyone who gets in my way will suffer the same fate as Nedorochi. Is that so? And your mother? She was in the way. I assume Vladimir was no problem for you either. I live for the hunt. If you really are the one, let us see if you can leave Volgograd unscathed. Oh my god. His entire family... all dead. This whole time we were getting ready for them, and... they just destroy each other? And Craven gets to continue his hunt. Good thing we cleared out his strongholds. This is so messed up. Hey, Pete. Yeah. This one's a Morales joint. So the phone number on the impounded truck was the pre-1970s kind with letters. Harlem 7, 4321. Did the truck that got away have the same one? Yeah. But I'm not sure I'm following. Pre-1970s trucks were terrible polluters because they had no catalytic converters. My office did an initiative to get them off the roads. So there are now very few old trucks in this neighborhood. Si tuviéramos alguna forma de localizarlo. I got an idea. Nice work, Ma. Back in business. If Ma's right about those trucks, they probably left behind some kind of residue. Hey, Miles. I heard there's a star-studded gala at the museum. If I find the missing pieces, yeah. Never been to a gala before. Do you want to go? Thought you'd never ask. What should I wear? Here's black, looking glam. Bro, let me focus. Right. Uh, good luck. I can't believe people would do this. I was so excited about this exhibit. The whole museum, really. Look, this is an unfortunate situation I'm in here. I mean, you know how much I care about protecting the collective history of this community. I do, which is why I hope this won't derail your support. Okay, let's see if those trucks left anything behind. Spider-Man's here. Spider-Man, any news? Working on some new leads. I'll let you know. 
Well, I've got business to attend to, but you know my feelings. For me, it's about preserving the history at all costs. Hey, Spider-Man. Oh, we know you're helping on this. You're good. Thanks. This looks like it could be something from a prehistoric heist truck. Ugh. Smell that sulfur. Definitely from an old engine. Maybe I can isolate it further. To identify the substance, we need to get rid of the contaminants. hydrocarbon. This will never make it through a catalytic converter. Hey, Ma. You were right. That truck was so old, it left a unique contaminant in its wake. Fantastic. Can you track it down? On it as we speak. I suddenly have hope we might really be able to find everything, pull off the gala, and save the museum. Whoa, 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 whoa. One thing at a time. Okay, I know. Well, be careful. And let me know what you find. Sorry, couldn't hear you. Anyway, we delivered everything we had. The rest of it fell off the truck. Yeah, you better freaking find it! I understand, sir. We'll keep looking for the last item. He's stiffing us. What did I tell you? No. He'll pay when we deliver the saxophone. No, the saxophone. I think you know where. Settle down, idiot. This guy's close. Just need to make him happy. Oh, I am done. I'm gonna go find that guy and take my money. You're gonna blow the whole thing. <laughs> oh, no. It's Spider-Man. Did you really think you've seen the last of me? How the hell did this spider fight us? Four friends? Let's go. Come on, guys. Get the spider punk. <laughs> Okay, that's all of them. Let's open up that truck and get the rest of those museum pieces. Empty. They must have already given their boss whatever was in here. All roads seem to lead to that guy. Sounds like somebody's phone. Okay. So there's something out there they're still looking for. So I found the second truck, but it was empty. Oh, no. But they lost one of the pieces somehow. Charlie Parker's saxophone. Oh, Miles, head over to CJ Walker Park. Okay, why? One of our interns said she heard a guy talking about a saxophone he found. I didn't believe her at first. She's kind of a bochichera. If it's the one these guys lost, the boss seemed really interested in finding it. As he should be. Charlie Parker's a legend. That saxophone is priceless. Who should I look for at the park? I don't have a name. They said a trumpet player was talking about it. Trumpet, got it. Thanks, Yaranita. Let me know what happens. Te quiero. Gotta change clothes first. Don't want to disrupt the festival. Okay, where is this trumpet guy? This place looks a lot better today than it did when Fisk and his crew took it over. Hey, Miles. Steph, what's up? You here with Gloria? Nah, she's working. I just got here. Was looking for a trumpet player. 
You seen one anywhere? Yeah, Teo is here, playing his trumpet. Teo plays trumpet? Mm-hmm. I think he was over near that far gate. Great. Thanks, Steph. And say hi to Gloria for me. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Spider-Man. Hey, Miles. Teo! Sounding good, man. Wow, I didn't know you played the trumpet. I dabble, I dabble. Hey, I was actually gonna call you. When I was in keynote music this morning getting my horn fixed, some kids brought in a sax they found on the street. I was thinking it could potentially be the one from the museum. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. We're trying to do the right thing. Yeah, 100%. You talking about keynote on Cathedral? Yeah, talk to Eugene. Thanks. Headed there right now. Trumpet sounds great, bro. Hey, Ma. Found the sax. On my way to pick it up now. Ay, bendito. Angela will be so relieved. This just might save the museum. Hey, did you know Teo played the trumpet? He's pretty good, too. Had an audience and everything. The whole park was bumping. Precisely why this museum is so important. Music enriches our community and brings it together. Is that my mom or Councilwoman Morales talking? It's both. Ten cuidado, mijo. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Hey, Spider-Man! I was about to put an alert in your app. What happened here? A couple of creepy guys just dragged Eugene out of here. Definitely wasn't right. They went that way. Thanks. I'll check it out. Let's scan for any clues here. We know you've got that saxophone somewhere. <laughs> hey, fellas! You want to learn to play music? There are better ways to do it. Hit the spider! Get him! Man, here comes the rest of the band. Thanks, Spider-Man. You okay? A few bruises are okay, as long as they left me my keys. Here. Take these and open my trunk. Charlie Parker saxophone. That's the real deal right there. I was getting ready to return to the museum, and those guys busted in. Yeah, he used that to record his masterpiece, Ornithology, 1946. You a bird fan? <laughs> My dad was. I don't know much about old music. Mm, mm, old. <laughs> when you hear an MC today, you syncopated accents, stress the offbeat, flow in and out of the rhythm. That ain't number bebop. I have to listen a little closely next time. I'll get this back to the museum right away. Then I gotta call my insurance company. Okay, thanks, man. All right. Hmm. If I could get into the phone these guys were using to communicate with the mastermind. <laughs> All zeros is a number equivalent of password as a password. Just a midnight rendezvous with a criminal mastermind. No biggie.
is this? Time to take down the boss of this operation and find the rest of those museum pieces. I'll just hang for a bit until the party starts. You were supposed to pay us on our last delivery. You'll get paid when I get everything. Where is it? Where is what? Lewis said you were bringing the saxophone. Lewis said? Lewis got picked up by the cops. He don't got no saxophone. You set this meeting up! No, we didn't. Now where's our money? Where is the saxophone? Aaron? The big donor from the museum? I better bust up this party and have a talk with him. I should get the whole bunch wrapped up before they hurt someone. You fed up? My favorite! Well, that seems to be all of them. Let's get to the bottom of this with Darren. <laughs> oh, thank you, Spider-Man. I assure you, there's a very reasonable explanation. That seems extremely dubious. Wait till Councilwoman Morales hears you were involved in this. Leon, here! Time to exterminate the spider! Darren, stay back. Sounds like he's close. That guy's on Darren's tail. Can't blame him. He wants her money. Who is it? Is this Lewis? Darren, stop the car! Spider-Man? Can you at least stop these guys chasing me? You weren't trying to retrieve those things. You were the one behind the robbery in the first place. I care about these objects! You pretended to care! and then stole from the museum. It's this community's history. It's my family's history. I don't expect you to understand. I don't think I'm the one who doesn't understand. Let's get these other bad guys out the way first. Gotta stop this and put all these guys behind bars. Including police are on their way. Gotta catch up to Darren. Oh, are you still there? Look, my father was one of the most successful music producers ever. He produced half the artists in that museum. Good for him. Now stop the car and tell me where the rest of the pieces are. Here we go. Not today, Terry. What? Which one was the break? I should probably get my license one of these days. Just so I get this right. All that talk of supporting the museum. All Angela's time you wasted asking about operations and security. All lies. So you can learn how to steal the collection. But my family... No. I'm sure you do care about this music. But those things don't belong to you. They belong to this community. Let's go, sir. You're under arrest.
This event would not have been possible without our wonderful curator, Angela, mm -hmm. and this entire community. The way we pulled together to recover the stolen items is nothing less than amazing. Okay, okay. Thanks to every one of you for saving the museum. And thank you, Rio Morales, our city councilperson. I think Abuela had a book about her. Gotta take a look when I get home. Yeah, those are some funk beats. Gotta study up on this guy. Miles, isn't this place awesome? I'm embarrassed to say I've never been here before. But after hearing about the robbery, I thought I'd better come check it out. From what I heard, that guy convinced himself all this stuff rightfully belonged to him. Crazy what some people can convince themselves is true. Hey, I guess it all worked out. This museum is fire. And so much music I want to go listen to now. <laughs> right? Bro, it's so inspiring. Hey, you want to have breakfast tomorrow? I can tell you all my new music ideas. Let's do it. I'm gonna keep checking this out. <laughs> All that? And she was a secret agent fighting Nazis? Huh. Josephine Baker, role model. Hope I can say I accomplished that much someday. Hey, I heard you helped find the missing saxophone. Yeah, I got to hold it. Bird coax miracles from that hunk of metal. My dad was a big Charlie Parker fan. He'd be happy to know the sax is here for everyone to appreciate. And maybe lead them back to the music. Music mm, is magic. Down on Lennox Avenue the other night, by the pale, dull pallor of an old gaslight, he did a lazy sway. He did a lazy sway. That's some lyrics right there. Art and music can really make a difference in the world. Hoping you'd be here. Oh, wow. Your mom is something else. That she is. Can you believe that guy pretended to be a donor and then robbed the place? Thank God he didn't get away with it. I agree. This stuff needs to be here. Not in some guy's penthouse where he's the only one who could see it. so cool how other people have been able to do music and save the world stuff. Hey, Miles! I figured I'd better come see that saxophone in its right place. It was your tip that helped with the saxophone recovery. Oh, not really. It was all our Spider-Man. The guy, not the cat. Well, it was a community effort. Give your Spider-Man some ear scratches for me. I will. <laughs> Angela, I'm Miles, Councilwoman Morales' son. Miles, she talks about you all the time. Congratulations on the exhibit. I'm glad it all came together. Thanks to your mom and Spider-Man, of course. Whew, this neighborhood is blessed to have them both. Basically, Bebop let musicians show off. Eugene was right. That is what MCs do. <laughs> Gotta listen a little more closely.
should finish looking around before I go talk to Ma and head out. Thank you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Angela told me the museum has a record number of new memberships. Seriously? They're gonna be okay. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, Ma. Now, hear me out. What if we really teamed up on the next one? I can get my own suit. Ma! Maybe. Algo con brillo. Ma, stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Get out of here. Dance with me. Show me how to sell some. in good condition, too. Santa Casters, you remember those recent thefts at the Harlem Cultural Center? Turns out, Darren Shipman was pulling the strings. If that name sounds familiar, it's because he's a multi-millionaire with his name on everything, because his money is in everything. So, we have a special guest today to drop some knowledge on us about an exciting new opportunity for budding artists to share in the joys of responsible art. Please welcome renowned street artist and head of the Cooper Art Coalition, Haley Cooper. Hi, Danica. I'm Yankee Lee, Haley's interpreter. She's signing next to me. She says she's concerned. Oh, excited to be here. I'm still learning. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome, both of you. So, Haley, tell us all about your coalition. Thanks, Danica. Thanks for interpreting, Genki. You're doing great. Oh, thanks. Uh, I was born deaf. Sign language didn't come easy at first, so I drew my feelings. I communicated through art. Still do. So when I found a copy of one of my pieces up for sale, it felt like a piece of me was stolen with it. That's when I started the Cooper Art Coalition, a union that protects NYC artists of all mediums from theft. That's brilliant. It's about time we had a force to fight underground theft like this. Can you tell us more about what the Coalition is doing to protect artists? We look out for each other, make sure we don't see copies where copies shouldn't be. And we have digital activists keeping an eye out for unauthorized online dealers. We're 63 artists strong and growing every day. I love this. Awesome organization protecting awesome people. How can budding artists get in touch? Through our website. Link is on the Danacast blog homepage. Send a picture or two of your pieces and your weight and... Oh no, uh, your name. And uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> there you have it, folks. The Cooper Arts Coalition. Any words of advice before we bid you adieu? Yeah. Don't steal art. Not cool. Can't argue with that, Haley. Oh, that one was all me. Haley says if you do, the artists might haunt you in the afterlife. I can't prove they won't. Later, Danikids. What is 
with these guys and branding people. Careful where you point that thing. Always keep me on my toes. Right. The friend picked up a signal from this satellite. Let's see what we're working with. This is no hunt to be proud of. A stain on my legacy. A disgrace. But deadly nonetheless. Find them. Kill them. Craven. How many more people are on this guy's list? A drone using this satellite network to track his targets. Oh, you're not getting away that easy. Picking up some kind of data surge from the drone. If I stay in the slipstream long enough, my suit can pull the embedded data and lead me right to Lee. These things have bombs? Download's looking good. Targets got corrupted into one file. The drone had no intel on Lee. But these people still need my help. Otherwise, they'll end up as heads on Craven's mantle. If there are more birds out there, I can decrypt them to discover the identities of the targets before it's too late. Should upload the data to the Spidey servers. He's gonna want to see this. Harry? Uh, hey, you with Pete? Hey. No. Listen, I saw you chasing that robot bird around on the news. You need me kind of tech support? Like, running the app or something? Actually, I got a friend doing that already. Gotcha. Uh, sorry, I'm just feeling useless, and my mom would always say, if the opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Even though she's gone, I still ask her for advice. Is that weird? Nah, it's the same with me and my dad sometimes. Nice to know I'm not alone. Thanks. And good luck out there. You too, man. Maybe some advice will be good right now. Yeah. 
Hey, Dad. Could really use your help right now. I'm doing everything I can to find Lee. But nothing's working. I know what you say. A hero is someone who doesn't give up. And I'm not. I just don't know what else to do. Maybe I should just ignore everything else and spend all my time trying to find Lee. No. If people need help, I'm helping. And I'll find Lee. If Pete's too busy, I'm Spider-Man. I can handle everything myself. Wish me luck, though. Thanks, Dad. I love you. So, who needs help out there? going that fast. Lose the spider. Move it. You sure you want to do this? Okay. Think you got us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> data to figure out who this thing's tracking.
done. Now, let's see who this Roid Rage City Pigeon was after. What would Craven want with an engineer? This drone won't be bothering her anymore. Gotta take out the rest. MJ, pull on. Influencer. Maybe Craven just wants some brunch wrecks. Not exactly big game. Why all the trouble for some civilians? MJ? Hey, Miles. Just spoke with Pete. Wait. Just a sec. MJ. Sorry about that. I'm all clear. You were saying? Hey, Miles. Just spoke with Pete. He's heading over to Dr. Connor's house in Queens. Stay ready in case he needs backup. Oh, really? Did Pete ask you to call me? Well, no, but <sighs> figured two Spider-Men are better than one, right? Sure. Okay. Thanks, MJ. Sounds like he doesn't need me. 
Maybe I'll go see Haley in the meantime. on the data in that bird. According to the data, this person died two years ago. Probably just an error. Still more eyes in the skies. Can't leave Craven's toys flying around. near any target. Need to stop it before. 
before it hurts someone. Ninety percent. Just a little more. I have the data now. Boom. This target died five years ago? Don't think these are data errors. Craven's hunting dead people? Okay, now this is getting weird. Err. I need more data to figure out what's going on here. Find the target. Existing data. There's no record of this person anywhere. Are they even real?
targets share the exact same DNA, it's all the same person. But how? Okay. Officially creeped out. I need to solve this. One more drone should do it. solving this whole thing. signal? The satellites for each drone must be sifting through the target's data at a central hub. If I can hack the relay point, maybe the target's location is in the stream. all over the city? Come on. Think that did the trick. Target acquired. Dispatching hunters to the corner of 67th and Lexington. Oh, no. Did I lead the hunters right to them? I gotta get there quick or else.
already here. Check inside. Think I'm craving? Mm. Ah. Two olives. Just how you two olives? In cyanide? So you have finally come to reunite in New York. Let us hide and seek, like old times. They can't see me. It's a programmed recording with high-tech motion tracking. This game's not finished. Checkmate. <laughs> you found my secret. But who dies for me? I'm gonna die down there, aren't I? You call yourself the Great Hunter. Yet your trophy is pain in comparison to mine. What the? Is that Pete's old mask? Wait, is this the chameleon's apartment? I thought he was put away years ago. When I fled home, I never thought I would find a place to go. But I am happy here. Looks like he graduated too. This tech is insane. Craven's drone snapped a pick of him mid-transformation. I knew something was off about Craven's target. Another passage. This is the missing persons database. It goes back to before I was born. What did the chameleon do to them? Building schematics and hunter logs? The chameleon was keeping tabs on Craven, too. I gave you everything when you were children, and you would not even share your name. I loved you, and you hated me, but not anymore. I refuse to be hunted. I will see you again, brother, but you will never see me. <coughs> Gotta get out of here! Don't worry, brother. I will do what you could not. <laughs> Craven.
Raven and the Chameleon are brothers? That's a family reunion I do not want to crash. I should keep an eye out for the Chameleon. Pete's not gonna be happy he's still out there. Something's wreaking havoc in Pete's old stomping grounds. Not good. Hi, ma'am. Who's there? I don't recognize your voice. I it's Spider-Man? Oh, I, I, I didn't realize. Alba, charmed to meet you. I heard you need my help. Yes. There's a monster in my backyard. I can hear it at night. Scratching. Could it be a stray dog? Or a rat? My allergies could sense a stray dog half a mile away. And even New York rats don't get as big as whatever that is. Is there anybody else here who might have noticed it? A family member? A guide dog? Just me. No family. No neighbors. No service animals. Allergies, remember? Whatever it is, I need it gone. Got it. I'll look around and let you know what I find. Please. I cannot afford to repair any more damage. Fixed income, you know. Aren't these breakable? Don't fall, little guy. Definitely not human. Ugh, yuck. Time for some analysis at the molecular level. This leads from the woods Ugh, nothing good ever came from the woods trail stops here maybe I should look around it's ripping up cars now okay is this thing bleeding? Or leaking? Slobbering? Ugh. Oh, man. This stuff stays detectable a long way off. Tears up cars like a T-Rex and jumps like a tiger! Great! Must be getting closer! Things all over the place. Where is it going? Whoa. Maybe Genki knows what to do with this thing. Uh, hello? Uh, Genki. That monster in Queens? It's one of those hunter beasts. But it seems to be chill. For now. Whoa. A hunter beast? Maybe we can hack it. Could give us some intel. Is 
is that? An arrow sticking out of it? Easy. This won't hurt. Probably. Since you're a machine. of a desperate move, but I dumped 10 million random dog videos to its pattern recognition database. No way, that's brilliant. So, what do I do with it? Is it dangerous? Uh, try fetch? Here, boy. You wanna get the barrels? You wanna play? <laughs> yeah, get them! That's a good boy. I'll try to access its memories while it's distracted. Yeah. Corruption in these logs. That arrow had to come from hunters. Why would they shoot their own robot? Target practice? Let's find out. So, you have a name? Designation F1D0. Fido. Okay. I was expecting killer or angst. Fido was better. This log is cached to a server. Dare I? Um, how deeply do you trust your antivirus software? Deeply enough to download this audio playback. Get out of my life, you piece of junk. She's a trident of private. You are the traitor. I was doing my job. Effective garbage, get back here! Yankee! You must have traced our log access. Easy, Fido. Stay. Please? Fido! Heal! Yankee, is there an emergency break? I can't access manual override. I always wanted to say that. Do something! I think it's freaked out! It's definitely acting like it. Do you think it was the recording of that guy? Repressed final memories? Always bad. I think its owner shot it. And tried to cover up the murder. Fido! Stop! You want a treat? No, 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 not the church! There you are. Come here. Yeah, I should have blown you to bits with an explosive yeah. boat. Yeah, come here. I can't let yeah. you fall into any hands. So you're the guy who tried to kill Fido? Messed up, dude! Leave Fido alone! He's done with you! Fido! Attack! Should be the last one. Fido! Phew, all better, boy. He won't hurt you anymore. Now let's get that arrow out of you. Doesn't look too deep, actually. Here we go. Good boy. You sure this is safe? Hey, if 10 million dog videos can't make you a good boy, there's no hope for any of us. And you're a good boy, aren't you? Who's a good boy? Just to be safe, though, I'll wipe its memory completely. Except the videos. And you. Good looking out. We took care of the scratching sound. Spider-Man? Wait, we? Me and this good boy right here. Oh, oh no. My allergies. It's okay. Earlier you mentioned you couldn't get a guide dog. Well... I found you one. He's a dog, I guess. Made of various metals. Very allergy friendly. He's also got a few hundred guide dog videos uploaded to his memory. Really? He's everything I hope for. I can have him trained at the center so he can be properly registered. Already so helpful. Thank you, Spider-Man. 
Adios. Let's hope Connors is home. And still in control of his green alter ego. Dr. Connors? Dr. Connors! You here? How long has that been going off? Connors' family. Heard his wife left with their son after the first lizard fiasco. Not that Craven cares. His son's room. Animal lover. Dual sinks, but only ones used. Doc? Connors was here all right, and fighting for his life by the looks of it. What did Craven do to you, Doc? He tore through here. How are you still standing? Hello. No numbers on the keypad. Same song from the mobile. loves his secrets. This lab probably kept him and his family safe whenever he had an episode. Reptile terrariums for Connor's initial limb regeneration tests. I never did find out how he lost his arm. Motion sensor triggered the security cameras about 30 minutes ago. What did he put in me? He was trying to test his blood. Come on, Dr. Connors, fight it! Oh no. Craven's gonna pay for putting Connors and his family through hell. Exactly how Craven likes it. Connors' is blood. Cover the door. The beast could be anywhere. You have no idea. You are glorious prey. Worthy. 
worthy of Craven. Let me tell you how this is all gonna go down. You leave Connors alone! He doesn't deserve this! But if you or Craven keep going after him, you'll answer to me! gonna make it in time. <laughs> Is it 1800s? I love the braids. still out there. The city needs me. It's Spider-Man right now. Uh, one second. What's going on? The market? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'm sorry. I'll text you. It's beautiful. The mural, I mean. Time Pete called me back. Hey, how's it going with Haley? Heads of bail. Lizard's loose. Couldn't use your eyes in the skies. The lizard? Also, Haley thinks I'm crazy for trying to find Lee. Seems like everyone does. We're protecting you. Revenge to. I'm not after revenge. Dad always believed in second chances. But that's not what this is. It's my job to protect y'all, not the other way around. I get it. Okay, let me boot up my gear real quick. Looks empty, but I better check it out. Guess I'll have company after all. Everyone out! Move it! Teams of two, keep it tight. They're using drones to track the lizard. Maybe I can use them too. Is that a passive defense system? <laughs> yep, good to know. I'm gonna keep my distance. I can't let these guys find the lizard first. Gotta clear them out. Hey man, 
Got your feet up on the battle station. A lot of hunters. Are they using those bird drones to track the lizard? I think so. What? Got an idea. I'll work on it while you clear the warehouse. Any sight? Just sight. But it's fresh. The beast was here. This is for the best. On me! Patrol's coming. We will find the spider to Come on, get the original town. Do not toy with me! Watching you kick serious ass. And we got our birdie. See if your suit can override the drone's motherboard. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Okay. My suit's pairing now. God bless you, Nix. Okay. Rebooting the altimeter and. It's alive! How do I look? Like a robot drone, man. <laughs> and a robot drone that's tracking the lizard. Awesome. That was fast. It looks like he's through there. Uh, uh, this thing handles like a tank. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. No, this is gonna be bad. Yankee, you good? Yeah. I think this way's blocked now, though. Don't stress. I'll meet you on the other side. Garage might lead to Genki and Lizard. Yeah! 
this lizard dude. Cool. Yeah. He's somewhere around here. His tail almost got me. It's hard to tell. The drone's tracking data is really incomplete. Genki, get behind me. Gear slipped. It's just his skin. Doesn't that mean he's getting bigger? Hungrier too. Threads? The building's swarming with hunters. Any sign of Connors? Uh, yeah. Genki's tracking him. Hey, Mr. Parker. Mr. Spider-Man, I mean. <sighs> but the date is incomplete. I think I can help with that. Is that blood? Hey, wait a sec. Try dropping it in here. Onboard scanner. Handy. Dude, this is great data. Hang on a sec. Okay, I think I got a lock. Ginky, wait, be chill. That wasn't me. Me neither. I don't even have a stomach, so... Let's go! Connors. Harry's dying, and he's the only one who can help. We won't. You take the drones, I got the jet skis. This is really, really exciting. Keep it tight, man. Don't worry. Man. They think I'm a friend. Cool, if I borrow this? Warned 
you about going after Connors? Now this is on you! Poison clouds, is that all you got? Almost done here. The billions are all safe. How you looking? This gunship won't quit! I'm right behind you. We'll take it down together. No time! I got you. Time to go boom, boy! No, no, no! Spider-Man has got... Defenses! Spider-Man! Hang on! Over there! The one with the tendrils! Move, move, move! Good, Pete. I saved the tracker. Let's go, man, before he gets too far. No. He's mine. You sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. Um, he's not normally like that, right? No. He's never like that. Tracker says Connors is in the Upper West Side sewers. Better move. Connor's house? No, but tracking him right now. What's wrong? Nothing. You're meaning something. Miles was off his game. We almost had Lizard. I'm sure he was just trying to help. Sometimes it's just easier to do things myself. Hey, that's not fair, Pete. We're a team. We just really need Connor's right now. For Harry. Okay. Let me know when you find him.
I can get into the sewers up ahead. Harry. You're alive. I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm close to finding Dr. Connors. As soon as I stick him with the antidote, the suit's coming right back to you. Okay. Let me know when you find him. Lead pipes are messing with the tracker signal. Where is he going? What's a security camera doing all the way down here? Only the lizard could leave a sewer worse than he found it. Burrowed through to a decommissioned subway line? <laughs> Don't think that was an accident. Connors doesn't want to be followed. Ugh, he ripped open a sewer pipe. He must be trying to flood the tunnels behind him. Seriously? That's another camera. No way. Oscorp has a lab in the sewers? Norman probably set this place up for Connors back in the day. Must be off the books. What the hell did Norman have Connors working on back here? They built a clean room too? Wait. This is our particle accelerator at the Foundation. Connors used it to break down some mineral? Uh, was that me? Great. Power's out. working with here. That's not it. Uh, nope. Hey, Doc. Ready for your annual physical? Let me help you! 
fighting me! This is the only way to get you back! We could have finished this already! Stay still! I saved you before! I'll save you again! I can cure you for good! Just meet me halfway here! are involved. People, stay back!
comes! He can't get through his skin! Damn it, the needle's stuck! I am not losing this antidote! Whoa! Favor for what? You're too weak to get control back, aren't you? I'm gonna have to punch you out myself! Here's my chance! No wonder your family left you! You're not strong enough! They're scared of you, and you know it! I can't do this forever! I'm not even doing this for me! Harry needs you! You remember him? He's dying, Doc! I can't lose him! His mouth! I can inject the antidote into his gums if I get close enough! Where did you get that? Harry Osborne. He, he said you designed it. Come with me.
It's over here. Whoa, 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 back off. I'm going in for a closer look. It's okay, it's okay. of a meteorite that landed outside the city years ago. It's where we found that. I'm wearing an alien. We call it a symbiote. It, it bonds at the subcellular level with its host. Uh, in our case, Harry Osborne. He gave it to you? Not exactly. I was hurt, and... and it chose you. Which means it's more dangerous than I could have imagined. We need to call Oscorp. We need to destroy it. Destroy us? You said it chose me, Doc. Makes me a better Spider-Man. Eyes on the target. Pursuing. Checked on Harry. But how, how are you? I saw the news about the lizard chase. I'm great. Connors is cured. The suit's still growing strong and apparently is called a symbiote. Oh, and uh, it's an alien. Which is pretty nuts, right? Wait, what? You don't sound concerned. I'm a little concerned, but I also couldn't have stopped Connors without it. Peter, the two of you tore through half the city. Like, did you see what you did to the museum? I'm honestly surprised nobody got killed. I'm not. And you know I had to cure him somehow. I mean, should I have just let him keep destroying things on his own? That's not the... I'm gonna work here for the rest of the night. My muse for a new Jonah-proof article has finally struck. Maybe I'll have something to show you if you come back later. What's gotten into her? Must be deadline stress. Some alone time should help. So in the meantime, let's see who we can help out here. folks involving the lizard i gotta admit i was really hoping that was one big bad who was firmly in the rear view but lucky as ever that our two spider-men were on site to save the day spider-man the younger pulled some impressive water acrobatics along the way spider-man the older well am i a broken record yet on this new black suit scares the bejesus out of me well fine i am and it does Come at me in the comments if you want, but I am putting it out there. This new black suit thing, whatever it really is, it ain't no good. You can quote me. All right, kids, panic out. Shut 
shutting this ship down now. my city. Man, I was hoping to give MJ some alone time, but I'm beat. Time to head home for a little rest. Wonder what she decided for her article. Uh, uh, forgot to wash the sheets at the house again. That's the story I was telling you about. I wanted to get your thoughts. Looks amazing, MJ. Can't wait to read it. Wait. You're still in the suit. I thought Connors was gonna help you get it off. What about Harry? Sorry, can we do this tomorrow? Just so beat from Lizard Rag. Downstairs is my only shot. Where are you, Peter? Looks like it's not just the spider living here. If they've got the front and back covered, maybe I can go through the basement. Please don't squeak. Street over. Pete had a 
toward the next street over. Maybe I can cut through. Route about H2. Unclear. Just stick to your areas. <sighs> Find anything. Checking it out. <sighs> MJ. Weird before. 
but this is way different. It's like he's not even there. Still in there, Peter. You have to be. MJ, 
Sick. Did he wake up yet? Giles? Yeah. I'm waking up. Need more time. MJ! Uh, okay. Gotta get in there soon. After I finish with these guys. Search the whole tunnel. He is gone. For now. But he will come to me soon enough.
How did I end up sleeping on a park bench? And why does it feel like I had the best sleep of my life? Your dreams, though. Harry left another message. Pete, I really need that suit back. Dad's working on a new cure, but I don't know. Bring it back, please. I wonder if Harry really needs the suit. I mean, if I keep it, the city's a better place. Everyone benefits. Everybody wins when Spider-Man's at his best, right? Hugo Web Alert. New article from MJ. Wait, she published before I could read it? MJ, what are you doing? Hey, buddy. How you feeling? I need that suit back. Um, what do you remember about last night? I just remember feeling tired. Pete, you're not yourself. That suit is changing you. This suit is the only reason I'm still alive. Yeah, it's pretty great, isn't it? Why don't you pop some more pills and say what you really feel? Hey, don't! I'm busting my ass out there trying to save you, and this is what I get? I said don't! I saw your story. I tried to tell you about that. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? I can't lose this job, Your Pete. job is to write the truth. I did. The truth is, I'm the hero here, not you. How was your visit with Harry? Don't worry, Harry's gonna get better. Thank you. For being his friend. Watching you two grow up together. You're like a son to me.
I am so proud of the man you've become. Thanks, Mr. Osborne. Uh, I'm, I gotta run. A lot of work to do. And as usual, looks like I gotta do it myself. Peter, where is Miles? He didn't come home last night and he's not answering my call. <sighs> Hello? I'm at my office. Tell him to come see me. Now. Why can't anyone take care of themselves? It's always up to me. I'm sure he's fine, but give me a call if you see him. Thanks, too. Miles! I've been calling you. For hours. Nothing. You know Miles has been hunting Lee. I'll find him. I'm calling the hospital. I said I'd find him. I've got this under control. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider-Man. That school, not his friends. How to help you. Go help him. How did I get here? Security. That didn't work. Maybe one of the others will. One down. Just need to block the rest of them. There. That cleared a small path. Hello? These all prisoners? Lee. Was he here? Up and over. Who was that guy who knocked me out? What about Pete and MJ?
Why would Craven lock me up in here? Kenki, I need you, man. What is this? Poison? I have to get out of here. Those generators look like they power the fans. Better, but still not good. There we go. One more. Need to power up the others. That door. Looks like the only way out. You guys no way out of here? You will never leave this place. It's starting to feel that way. <laughs> What's with all the traps anyway? Testing your work. <laughs> <laughs> That's all of them. There has to be a way out of here. It sounded like they were waiting for me. This place never ends. What if the hunters know who I really am? What if they took off my mask? What if... Genki, can you hear me now? Please. Did they? Did they get to him? Did they get to mom? Uh, more hunters. <coughs> Craven seems to believe this will be the one. I wonder if he's right. There is an electricity to the air. Yes. After so many have failed, it seems impossible for anything to kill him. I guess we'll see. Yeah! 
Looks like an exit. I need to find out why Craven brought me here. Just have to get out of here and call Spider Man. It's okay. Okay. What's going on? This is. I expected you sooner. Where is the energy of youth, huh? Fight to the death. Or die here together. So how many people did you kill before I got here? I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Wasting my time fighting weakly. Prove you are worthy of my life. I understand you want to kill me. But I can't let you do that. What makes you think you deserve to live? I won't die as the man that I was. Watch it. You don't get to walk away from what you did. The inner demons? Devil's breath? The city hall bombing? Don't recount my sins to me. I know it. You have no idea! Did Craven bring you here? Or was this voluntary? Save your superiority, Compass! You're yeah. both in this arena! Yeah. You'll never defeat me! Spider-Man doesn't kill! You never fought this one! Find an opening. I feel here. Did he disrupt my venom? I need to be faster. No more negative energy. My powers are back. There. Now, show us your full strength. Do you feel any regret for what you've done? Whatever I did to you in the past, it's never been personal. I'm sure to you it wasn't. What do you want? Yeah. An apology? I want you to feel even half the pain you caused me. Move! Come on, I just need an opening. Well done. You stay down! Do not let your prey be too close, Spider! You've 
disappoint me. Finally. Enough of it! Yes! Finally! A worthy battle! <laughs> He will mess me up! Watch him carefully, Spider! You will take what you skip. Yes! Venom back online! His power over you has faded! Take back control! I don't want to have to kill you! Yes. Wow! Maybe you have changed! game. I'm not really here right now. None of this is real. What's more real than fear? What are you doing to me? Taking a look into your soul, I see a boy terrified of being alone, of failing his family. Keep talking! You're not getting away from me!
hell, Miles? I know this is you, Lee! Yeah, of course it is. I'm always here for you. I do everything for you. I'm not listening! Yeah, I'm not surprised you'd say that. Because all that matters is you, right? All you do is take. You put me in danger. You put Haley in danger. But for what? What do we get? I... I know I'm... We're left behind. That's all we get. Or we end up like Finn. Kenki! Kenki! I know I said it wasn't your fault, but... I guess I just mostly felt bad for you. I didn't want you to feel responsible. Especially no. after... Especially after your... Shut up! It's hands when you want it to, Miles. You're going to let me in eventually. And until then, struggle. <laughs> Where are you? No! Here, Mom. I can't do this anymore, Miles. You're always gone. Always in danger. No! You're going to get yourself killed. You won't! And then what? You can't win, Miles. I should never have let you try. All it's ever done is make me more alone. Put me in more danger. No! I want to protect you! I will! I heard that before. Mean it! Not from you. On the day he died... Mom! Your father told me, just that morning, everything he does... No! No, no, no! Miles, please! I love you! That's enough, Lee! Miles... I said that's enough! You're right. It's more than enough. I have everything I need. can't protect everyone, who will? Come on now. You're more than just Spider-Man. You can try and hide behind that mask, but I know who you are. What you stand for. I've been watching you. You have? And it hurts. What happened to the boy that I raised? You're a coward. Stay in my family. You don't mean that! I do. We all do. You're a failure, Miles. You always will be. No! You'd never say that! None of you would! I'm not... It's time to give up. Give up, Miles. No. Give up! I won't. Give up. Give up. Give up. You're done, Lee. I'm not doing this anymore. You want to know who I am? I'm the kid whose dad you killed at City Hall. What? He died because you decided your problems were more important than all of those people's lives. Jefferson Davis was a hero who saved people from you. listening to you. Losing my dad? It's not what's holding me back. I was the one doing that. But not anymore. Do it. Please. 
When you're out, I'll find Spider-Man. Do not let them escape! Hey, got a report that Mr. Negative's near Feast in Chinatown. But nothing from Miles. Do you think... Miles is fine. We're out looking for him now. Find Lee. Miles has to be there too. Has to be. I'll go check it out. If he so much as laid a hand on Miles! Hello? It's Dr. Connors. Sorry, I asked Harry for your number. <clears throat> I just... Please, come back to the lab. We need to remove the symbiote. The hold that it's already taking on your mind, it's only going to get worse. I'm busy. No one listens. to me here. I'm not looking for a fight. Craven has the other Spider-Man trapped in an old mansion east of the city. He saved me. Told me to find you. This was the only way I knew how. I owe him my life, and much more. If we hurry... No. You've done enough. You should be proud of him. He reminds me of you. Reminds him of me. He doesn't even know me. Or Miles. A little bit of help now, all of a sudden he's a good guy. As soon as Miles is safe, Lee's going back in a cell. Not now, MJ. Is Spider-Man doing more harm than good? How about now? Now who needs the old Spider-Man? What's so great about the new Spider-Man anyway? He can't even stop some hunters. They destroyed the EMF! Destroyed my life! I'm going to lose May's house because of them and... Craven! Kill Craven. I wonder if the little spider will survive. Where is he? Where is Spider-Man? Finding yourself! Stay focused! Find him! Tell me where he is! Where 
is Spider-Man! I'm assured that material is unbreakable. But I believe anything can be broken. And the field knife! Shut up! Rip him apart! I'll tear you limb from limb! Do it! 
or I will gut you and mount you on my wall. Come! Not hold back! <laughs> Observe it. Show me what you are capable of. Stop hiding. Attack now. Couldn't fight me yourself. So many years. I'm waiting for a predator capable of defeating me. Enough talking. Then I found you. And you'll regret that! I will not let God decide my fate! Gorgeous. I'll show you what I can do! Everyone needs me to be. Yeah, you don't even answer my calls anymore, man. 
last few days. Miles, I'm sorry. Thank you for everything. So what Spider-Man do? <clears throat> Spider-Man didn't save me back there. Miles did. <clears throat> what now? I have to talk to Dr. Connors. He said he knows how to destroy it. Wait, what about Harry? Doesn't he kind of need it? His dad is working on another cure. One that doesn't involve aliens. You know, if you need me, I'm just a call away. Well, once I let my mom know this, she still has a son. I know. 
It's glad to have you back, man. Dr. Connors, I got the suit off. It's contained, but what do I do now? Bring it to Oscorp Tower. There's a tank there that will subdue it. I have to prep a few things first, but I'll let you know when I'm on my way. One thing before we meet. Now that the symbiote is off of you, how are you feeling? Fine. I'm relieved that it's over. I'm ashamed at what I did. It's not your fault. There's still so much we don't know. Just tell me right away if you feel any changes in mood, behavior... But it's off me. I'm cured, right? Very likely. Yes. Just do your best to keep that thing contained. Copy that. Okay. I've been ignoring the city for too long. guys harassing those people oh. gotta move come on i had to know i'd be here sooner or later there he is get him you guys really don't know when to quit i'll get you now that's an outcome nobody can argue with over to Oscorp Tower now. Right. See you there. Finally got it off. My 
a hero. Harry, we've got to destroy it. It's too dangerous. I don't want you to lose yourself like I did. Pete, please. You don't understand. Connor said it was. I saved your life. And you won't save mine. Do you want me to die? Here, you. Oh, God. Harry. No! Don't hurt him!
separated because of you. That's so! Long have I dreamt of a perfect death. Drenched in fire and blood. Will you give it to me? You destroyed our work. Hurt our friends. Then come. Let your vengeance feast upon my flesh. Yes! Spider could not set this from me, but you make this my final hunt, the end of all things. How fast are you? Your strength alone will not be enough. I need more. I want fury, wrath, the hell of violence to bathe me in everlasting night. I only wish there were more of you! Hunt me! Strike with all your rage! All my blades will drink from your heart! Just do. Don't be scared, honey. You finally have the power 
to do what we've always wanted. We're going to heal the world. How? Let me show you. find you out there. Our EMF badges were RF enabled. If Harry's still wearing his badge, I can use Oscorp satellite dishes to find him. Please be wearing that badge. Great. Getting a strong signal that way. Time to move. This signal is moving around. It's gotta still be on Harry. Ugh. I was such a jerk to Harry when I had that suit. I need to find him, apologize, and try to get through to him. Closing in on you, buddy. Help's on the way. Hang in there. We'll get this thing off you. And I'll work with your dad and Dr. Connors to get you fixed up. Somehow. The signal stopped moving. Stay there, buddy. Let's pinpoint his location a bit more. He's gotta be under that overpass. What is all this stuff? Harry, are you back here? Damn, just his badge. Maybe he's still around here somewhere. I know he'll listen to me if I can just get through to him. Yes, there you are. Harry? It's me. Hey, Harry. Can you hear me? Listen, we're gonna figure out a cure. Something better. Harry? <laughs> You're not... I'm kinda miss having that extra symbiote strength right now! Help! 
Miles, tell me something good. Miles, there's trouble with Harry. He got the suit back, and it changed him. He's turning people into symbiotes somehow. I'm holding my own, but it's like punching molasses. We've got to find a better way to get these things off of people. Call me. I gotta find Harry and stop him before this gets worse. Oh. You sure you're okay? Miles, I need help with these things. Got your messages. Sorry, I've been looking for my mom. Assume you saw Craven's dead? What? No. You think it was Harry? Maybe. Probably. We've got to stop him. Okay. I've got an idea. When you were under the influence, certain sounds made you weak. That bell. But we can't just carry it around. No. But I have this mixing app on my phone. I can recreate the bell sonic elements. Then we can use it against Harry and his army. That's genius. Glad you decided to study music tech. Feel free to share that opinion with the college acceptance board. What's up, Genki? There you are. Your mom and we I were are... looking for you. And I was looking for you. I texted you I was okay. Well, I didn't get it because we've been on the subway looking for you. We're glad you're okay. I'll ride with your mom back home. Can you meet us? Gotta deal with something first, but I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay. Gotta recreate the sound of Craven's bell. What sounds can I use around here? Perfect. Same shape as Craven's bell. Even if it's a tenth the size. Hmm. Almost. Need some echo. Rico! Yes! Super Echo of recording. Whoa! Symbiotes! How'd they get uptown so fast? Sorry I punched you. Just stay down until I'm done here. Pete was right! These things are fierce! Gotta remember there are people in there. Better finish off this mix before more of them show up. Got a good bell sound. It's a little harsh. Gotta layer in some mids. That container looks promising. If I drop it, I'll get some nice resonance. Yes! Recorded it. Almost done. Just need a low frequency boost. With a pulse. Something like... A helicopter's blades. Gotta get up there.
I'm here. what I miss? Very funny. Let me transfer these sounds. Hopefully this will... Come on, come on! Go! We did it! I dropped the pin for EMTs. They'll take care of these people. Good thinking. Subway is messed up. The train is totally stuck. Like goo on the window. Yankee? Perfect Douglas Circle. There's a bunch of us. Yankee, we're on our way. Great. Get here, mijo. I love you. Love you too. Why is Harry doing this? Creating all these things. I don't think Harry's the one doing it. At least not the Harry I know. Then who is? The symbiote? Yeah. I'm no expert, but it seems like it's trying to make itself a new home. <laughs> Harry? That's Harry? find him later. Right now, we need to save your mom and Genki. Watch yourself! Harry looked a lot different than you did when you had the suit. I think that would have been me eventually, if you hadn't saved me. You gotta check in with mom and Genki. We gotta get in there. We will. As soon as we clear the area. What if they turned into one of these things? Don't think about that. Let's just fight these things and that did it. Spider-Man, it's you. Yeah. The doors are stuck. We gotta move these tendrils somehow. You need to hurry. These tendrils are alive. They're connected. There's gotta be a central nerve somewhere. Bingo! Let's hit a nerve. It's pulling back! But not enough. They're still trying to get into the trains. Oh, wow. Too big for a single sonic burst. Think we can chain some together? Yeah. But they'll need time to sync up. How much time does it need? How much time? A minute? Maybe a little more? Keep your spidey sense sharp. This might get wild. These things really don't want us here. Pete, they're near the heart. Nice. They're getting close to the weapon. Coming in the windows! <laughs> 
Struggling, people! Just hang on! We see you! You can do it! Keep it up! Just a little longer! Just a few seconds longer! Let's get to your mom and Genki. Spider-Man! You're okay. What happened? I took your advice. I let go of some things that didn't serve me. Come on. That really sucks. I thought I was gonna die. My life was flashing from my eyes. You're good, I... man. That time when we went mini golfing for my birthday and I got that hole in one to win, I cheated. I could pick up the ball and dropped it in when you weren't looking, and I. You were eight. And honestly, I never liked the sandwiches you traded for at lunch, but I went along with it because I knew how much you loved my mom's banchan, and I'm seeing someone new, by the way. Her name's Andy, and she's great, and please don't kill me, but I just thought of a sequel for Sweet Nanagon, and I... Wait, 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 wait. Andy from Kim? Oh, she's real cool. Thanks for saving us. Look, I'm sorry I've been so busy. I'll do better. Make the time to hang out. Be careful. Genki, let's get uptown. I'll make you something good for dinner. Next step? Find Harry. I'll take downtown. I got uptown. While I'm looking for Harry, I should check in on some other things. Once the epicenter for New York tourism, now the scene of a deadly bloodbath. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've seen the photos released from Times Square, where we've learned Sergei Kravenov, also known as Craven, leader of the hunt, has been brutally murdered by a monstrous unknown assailant. The most interesting piece of information to arise out of this catastrophe the horrendous behemoth behind the homicide was sporting the same damn spider logo of New York's own Spider-Man. The day I've prophesied 
and rightly feared may have come to pass. Spider-Man has perhaps transformed into a merciless creature capable of apocalyptic levels of destruction. This is the result of unchecked power and unsupervised will. I'm sure that if this is indeed Spider-Man, he's most likely prepared a hit list of those he's perceived to have wronged him. Dear listeners, I can only assume I'm high on that list. If this animal decides to exact his vengeance upon me, may my story be a lesson to you all. Do not let my life be in vain. Band together, and we can stand up against these formidable powers, once and for all. But until that day comes, I'll be fighting alongside you for the good of our people and the good of our nation. Yankee? What's up? Hey, Mr. Parker. Um, you've been dealing with those fire cult guys, right? The followers of the flame? Yeah. I'm seeing reports on social media say they spotted a few of them on a rooftop in Brooklyn. I'll send you the details. I'll check it out. Thanks, Genki. Is the Crimson Hour about to start? Looks like they're keeping watch on that scrapyard nearby. And there's some burned up papers about Oscorp. I better get down there. Great, they're still setting up. But this doesn't look like an Oscorp property. What are they- The Crimson Hour won't be long now, my embers. Can you feel it? Soon enough. <laughs> All those innocent people. Gotta disable these bombs before they can hurt the civilians in those buildings. I can do this. So this is the Crimson Hour. Burning Brooklyn and everyone in it to the ground. One down. Too many left. In their apartments, their houses, walking the streets, ignoring the signs that we all see. The men that we know are in God, sick of being around. Hey, get up. Detonate the bombs! There. Now to save the rest of the neighborhood.
blind. Great. Yuri. <laughs> I take it you haven't changed your mind. About taking lives? No. Nope. Still not a fan of killing people. Didn't even warm up. You've stopped trains before, right? Gonna have to make up a new prophecy. <sighs> Before you and I met, one of my embers told me about his work at Oscorp and this treatment that they had discovered. Who cares, right? Fancy suit that can make you big and strong is just another case of the unworthy trying to cheat death and play God. That's what I thought, too. But... When devils attack the city... Like I prophesied! Oscorp sent out some of this treatment for safekeeping. I knew. 
It was meant for me. That's what all this was for. And when the crimson hour rolls over this earth, it shall bring truth. Judgment. And carnage. underground just like last time but I'll find him you could have killed him but you saved me instead I told you I'm trying to save the most lives and you still do that pretty well you gonna turn me in now I'll let you know when I find him We stopped him from taking innocent lives in the process. Hey, Yuri, do you want help tracking down the flame? Thanks, but I need some time to myself. Besides, we've taken down a good chunk of his operation, so he'll be going back to the drawing board. I'll start checking his old alien. Archie Abel, Walter Wackman, Cletus Cassidy. But this could take months, maybe even years. I'll be ready when you've got something. Thanks. I couldn't turn her in after she saved me. Maybe I... Ugh. Maybe Harry's back at his place. Can't hurt to check. nest. You better check it out. Two hearts on this nest? As if it wasn't horrifying enough. Calming breath. 
I'm ready. You can't let up. You gotta save these people. nest.
Mr. Osborne, are you okay? I'm worried about Harry. I have no one else to talk to. He's, um, not himself right now. And it's all my fault. It's mine, too. Harry told me about his treatment. I knew something was off, but I was just happy he was back. I should have told him that more. You still can. I'll let you know if I hear from him, Mr. Osborne. Okay. I appreciate it, Peter. Another nest. Last one was rough. Not gonna give up! Spider-Man. Whoa! That was messed up! Are you a doctor? No, an EMT. Spider-Man was hitting you pretty hard. Hey, if that's what he had to do to get it off me, I'm grateful. Nest. Sonic bursts ready. I'm sort of. Ugh! <laughs> 
Good news, bad news, folks. Good news. OG Spider-Man looks to be finally back to his senses, free of that black suit. <sighs> bad news. Seeing reports that whatever that black suit was may now be spreading through parts of the city. The two connected, maybe. But right now isn't the time for speculation. It's the time for action. We're getting scattered reports of folks going missing. Our favorite subway worker, Dennis, is running a database of missing persons. Check the description for details. Let's crowdsource this, everyone. Get as much data in there as we can. We can't leave the protection of New York just to the Spider-Man anymore. Let's be heroes. Another nest. Last one was rough. This is gonna get loud. Stay focused, Pete! No sign of Harry. What's that? Happy birthday, Em. They say time heals all wounds.
That's a lot. Every day without you is worse than the last. If I lose Harry, I, I don't know what I'll do. Norman's really hurting. I need to find Harry and save him. Haven't heard from MJ in a while. I should give her a call. Hate this. I love this. You do? <laughs> You've hit the nail on the head. Finally! Top story. Everybody's talking about it. This is editor material. Editor? Congratulations. Your first assignment, write more juicy stuff by tomorrow morning. Drama, controversy, just like this. Like this. Get writing! <sighs> MJ. I, uh, didn't get fired from the Bugle. In fact, I think I, I got a promotion. Hey, that's what you wanted, right? Yeah, I, I thought it was. Then that's... Great. Hey, listen. Something's gone wrong with Harry. What? What happened? Well... well hang on, someone's at the door. It's kind of hard to explain. Just promise me you'll stay away from him, okay? MJ? Come on, MJ, pick up! Hey, it's MJ. You can leave Damn a message, it. but why would you? If it's important, just, you know, back. Please be okay. Spider-Man, how are you feeling? Anxious? Panicked? I meant, uh, physical symptoms. Soreness? Fatigue? Yes. Wait, symptoms? I've been looking through years of research notes. The symbiote channels a collective consciousness. That hive mind I was in. Was, is optimistic. It may still be inside you. What? Nothing to panic about, but perhaps you should come to the lab for some tests. Can't, Doc. Bigger problems. Gotta go. We need to talk. You must get tired making the world a better place every single day. But I can help. All you have to do is let me. This isn't you. Wrong. This is the real me. I finally have the power to realize our vision. Are you giving up on me? Harry, we need to get that thing off you. Do not call us a thing.
can have her! Too late. MJ. I'm sorry. MJ, just talk to me! I'm done talking! Done begging for validation from you, from anyone! Validation? This is about your job! It's about me! Yay! Not my job, stupid house! For once, it's not about you! About me? MJ, what do you mean? You stay out of this! I'm finally in control! I don't want to hurt her! I can't leave MJ like this! Just talk to me! No more! Patronize us! 
I need you! Don't lie to me! Pete! I need you too! I've been trying to be something I'm not. I'm glad you're back. Sorry. It wasn't you. And I wasn't me earlier. Pete, I... Pete, it... it was like some kind of hive mind in there. I saw you. And Harry, he, he was going after this... 
rock. Miles is at City Hall. Go. I love you. I love you. I just saw him in Queens. He turned MJ into one of those symbiotes, but worse. What? She's okay. She broke out of it. Luckily, faster than I did. Connors thinks I had the suit on too long, and now some of it is left inside of me. You really meant it when you said things were complicated. One thing at a time. See you soon, Miles. I hear that. See you. Reminds me. I owe someone else a call. Hey, Ms. Morales, you, uh, make it home safe? I was just, you know, I, I wanted to make sure... We're fine, we're fine. And Peter, we're fine, too. But next time, answer my calls. Trust me, I'll be on my best behavior. You'd better be. Now go help my son.
are you doing here? Are you alright? Spider-Man! He said there was still some of this thing inside him. I see. I think I can clear it out of him. But only if I go to the source. I'm going in with you. Plan here, Lee. Find Spider-Man. All of this dark matter should lead us toward him. All right. On my way. Where are we anyway? We are inside Spider-Man's mind. We've seen what those creatures do to people around the city. They get in your head. Twist your desires. Mad they stole your routine? I know you're joking. You're making my point. This thing fears my power for some reason. And I... We... are the only ones who can find where it lives. So we clear this thing out at the root. And Spider-Man's free? That's the plan. Alright then. It has a stronger hold on him than I thought. All right. Weaken the symbiote, take back control, use our powers to save Spider-Man. Where do we start? We have to find the source of his pain. Follow me. I'll try and lead you to where it's darkest. But I can't promise what we'll find. <laughs> Solved. That's not what Pete thinks. No, but it might be how he feels. All these villains. He really thought the suit could solve it all. Is that me? You caused a lot of pain, man. The debt I will spend the rest of my life repaying. There's something up ahead. You're close. Pete about her in a long time. What's 
wrong with me? When you get caught up in one part of your life, it's easy for the rest to fall away. Look at home. Come here. Oh, man. All I see is a process, not a destination. Does have the same effect in here. Yeah. I guess it does. <laughs> Looks like Red Feast. I built my life around this place. This will probably be the closest I'll ever get to seeing the inside of it again. Not that I deserve to. Lee, why did you do it? What did you want? Revenge. Norman Osborne's the reason my parents are dead. So I dedicated my life to making his hell. I'm sorry, Miles. Up there. That's the source. If we clear this out, we just might be able to save him. I can transfer all of my power into the symbiote. I think I can neutralize it. And free Peter. What'll happen to you? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> well, well, if this is my last chance to say anything to you, forgive you. It's just not in me. But I can't carry this hate for you anymore, man. So let's set things right. You and me.
this is all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. this again. <laughs> I thought we lost you. Guess I should thank you. Years of my life consumed with vengeance. I lost everything for it. You two reminded me that that's not who I am. When you help someone, you help everyone. Where are you gonna go? To set things right. Your way. Wow. Reforming your greatest enemy. Can't say I've ever done that. Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? <laughs> I don't know. This city still looks like a two Spider-Man job to me.
any sign of Harry? Not yet. Ran into a speed bump. I think Miles just saved my life. What? What happened? There was symbiote left inside of me. It started taking over, but Martin Lee gave me his power. It feels different. Like the voices are gone, but the power is still there. That's incredible. MP, I just wanted to let you know. I got my byline pulled off that article. And gave my landlord notice. Does that mean? It means the world is going to get turned into an alien wasteland. And there's no one I'd rather be gooed up with than you. Ah, the feeling's mutual! <laughs> Keep an eye out for Harry. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay, while I look for Harry, I should see what else needs some spidey help. Better check out that nest and get ready for some clear dark. Let's clean this place up. Can't let up! I gotta save these people! Spider-Man. We were... Trying to move the gallery pieces when they attacked. That artwork may be valuable, but not as valuable as your lives. Stay safe. Bursts ready. I'm sort of.
seconds! Another nest! These things freak me out! Where's the heart of the nest? We have to move that car. Okay. Calming breath. I'm ready. We move that car. Thanks, Spider-Man. Take care of yourselves, okay? Another nest. This is gonna get loud. Ah! <laughs> 
Thanks, Spidey. You got it. Find an indoor gym till it's safe out here. Where to go? Ugh. As if these things weren't creepy enough already. I'll come back later. Dr. Connors? Hello? He's here in my lab. Gotta call Miles and get over there quick. Miles, meet me at Connors' lab. I think Harry's there, and it doesn't sound good. On my way. Should be a shortcut to Connor's lab near Central Park. I've got to find a way to get through to Harry. He's in there. I know I can reach him. I just hope he doesn't hurt Connor's. This never gets easier. Take a breather, and when you're ready, get inside. That's the last nest. Time for the city to start healing.
doing? What are you gonna do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and Symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the Symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please, save my boy. you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now he can heal the world. This isn't what we meant. Just to be safe, I recommend going home as soon as you can. Oh my god, thank you. I swear, I'm moving to Jersey. Those civilians are in trouble. I'm coming!
The people in that bus won't last much longer. Hey, uglies, how about picking on me? This area's not safe. If you don't have a place to go, Beast is open to anyone. Thank you, Spider-Man. That was the scariest thing ever. Miles, we have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. Got it. Watch yourself out there, man. This is something else. Harry, I'll find you, buddy. I'll find you... somewhere. That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. <sighs> what happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we have to... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw May when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May... my dad... If they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people. To fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. Call the play, coach. Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. Where's that voice coming from? 
I can't let them get to the heart. How's it going, Spider-Man? I think I'm almost done clearing this nest. But Pete, I'm hearing these voices. I hear them too. Keep looking for that meteorite. Don't let him get in your head. That's not Harry talking. You're right. You're right. Call me when you finish up. Stay focused, Pete. Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now! Wait for me though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up! What happened? I got sucked into the high pine. Saw this vision of the meteorite underground. But I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? Serious, Pete. Just give me ten minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. There's the subway entrance. Miles has to be right. That's where the meteorite is. I'll just have to clear out this bridge. Everyone stay in your cars. I won't let them hurt you. Harry! Venom! I know you're here! You found us. Yes, I'm here, buddy. Hello. I know. Just hang on. I'm coming. Come on, come on. They're coming out of the subway tunnel! Ah! Ah! 
Doc, the meteorite has to be underground. Venom! Please talk to me! I have to get underground. I can't leave these people behind. Subway tunnel. Hey, everything all good with Haley? Not yet, but you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight. Haley, no. What are you doing here? I was... I was trying to save... You. You're incredible. I, I like you so much, and I think you like me. Do you want to go out? Hey, on a date? <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> well, it's a date, Ben. After all this is over. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. I was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. Harry! Harry, talk to me! Please. 
Please help us, Peter. We need you. I'm trying, buddy. I just need that meteorite, okay? Miles, I'm not seeing a rock. No? Hold on, I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. MJ, we all need to meet up at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. It's time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes got out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. 
fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? Theoretically. Pete. What Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? <sighs> Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Oh, come on, bro. We're the spider team. <sighs> Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? You and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Our gift will finally be yours. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> You're gonna have to catch me first.
like the meteorite's connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. That can also end the world. Your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry!
left over after your mom got sick! Feel like that. <laughs> That day on the football field! I was there! Always have been! Until we got sick again. After you abandoned us while we were fighting for our lives. Dropping in. Not working. To free Harry with more anti venom.
soon. Doesn't matter what you do to me. I'm never gonna heal the world with you. Not like this. The meteorite. You took it from us. You took 
took him away from us. Took him away? What the hell are you talking about? In the forest, we remember what you did. Harry! Man, that's the symbiote talking, not you! You were jealous. That's why you pushed us apart. Maybe I was. But Pete wasn't Pete. You think you're better than us, don't you? This ain't about who's better. I just prefer you without the psycho alien on. Thought I clipped his wings. Like me or not, I'm here for you. You can't see now, but we're not so different, man.
I'm done. Either way, P. We still have time? No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, P. Together. Give me some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try.
Harry. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. <sighs> he 
You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you there all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you... Are you sure? It's... It's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but... There'll come a time. I'm here for you. Always. Hey, bro.
What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. Good. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter.
Hi. I hope you're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Some guy in Harlem probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. Time's over. MJ. Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. What's this? Lance and a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I know Norman, I think. Peter! <laughs> I put this together for you because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these. And I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, we might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay.
me you could do it, Pete. Now, you know those little bee drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and, of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? Oh! One last thing. I... got a little something for you. We're in good health. 